And we are live. Welcome to the Whatever Dating Talk podcast. Thanks for tuning in tonight. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. We're coming to you live from Santa Barbara, California, every Sunday and Tuesday at 7 p.m. Pacific. I'm your host, Brian Atlas. I'm joined by my co-host, Kiki. She's somewhere back there. She's a bit shy. Guys, a few quick announcements before the show begins. This podcast is viewer-supported, heavy YouTube demonetization, so we make nearly nothing from ad revenue. So please consider donating through Streamlabs instead of super chatting, as YouTube, if you don't know, takes a 30% cut. So if you super chat, excuse me, wow, okay, don't drink an energy drink before the show. My bad, guys. Um, didn't sleep much last night. If you super chat 100, YouTube takes 30. If you donate 100, Streamlabs only takes three. Donations and Super Chats, $5 and up, will be displayed in Stream Overlay. All Super Chats, 50 and up, will be read. $100 and up triggers instant text-to-speech, and that's Streamlabs only, guys. Check the description for all the triggers, all the details. Um, it's in the description. But yeah, TTS triggers only through Streamlabs now. Other triggers, we got air horn, fireworks, mute a microphone, and, and making it's complicated, put on the World War I uniform. I'm sorry, I, it's, it's legally binding. If they donate that much, you have to put it on. Um, guys, please keep the Super Chats donations TTS respectful. Playful roasting is okay, but if you go too far, we reserve the right to not show or read it. Guys, we also have channel memberships. To become a channel member, hit that join button below. You get a cool badge next to your name in chat. We have six different tiers of support, Eric, you're in the video tab, go to the window. Um, six different tiers of support, tier one is just $5 a month, you can also gift memberships. 50 gifted gets a fit check, 100 gifted gets fireworks. That's an overlay, not actual fireworks. Okay, we are also live on Twitch right now. Guys, do me a favor, pull up another tab, twitch.tv slash whatever mods, if you could just spam twitch.tv slash whatever in the chat, or yeah, in the chat really quick. Uh, go over there drops a prime, drops a follow. Basically, if you have Amazon Prime, you link it to your Twitch. Uh, so if you have Amazon Prime, and this is totally free. So it's a quick, free, easy way every single month to support whatever your favorite, hopefully your favorite podcast. Anyways, okay, uh, that was whatever. Um, let me shout out, wait, what, hap what happened to all the, uh, did all the primes just disappear? <laughs> Were they there previously? Oh, that's weird. Anyways, Outer Craw, thank you for the prime. Haruka, thank you for the follow. Young, thank you for the follow. Tim Deletes, thank you for the follow. Nerdy Kraken, thank you for the follow. Yeah, guys, twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a prime, drop us a follow. We'll check back in here in just a sec. Rogue, thank you for the follow. Jay, thank you for the follow. Super Daddy, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it, guys. Also got merch. Guys, go to shop.whatever.com and check out some of those. Yep, those are some t-shirts. Uh, that's something you can wear into restaurants, I guess. Um, okay, follow us on Instagram, at whatever. Sorry guys, I'm, I didn't sleep well last night, so I'm kind of out of it tonight, today. Any girls who want to be on the show, send a DM to at whatever on Instagram. Over there, give us a follow too. Um, my Instagram is linked below, at BD underscore Atlas. Should I grow the beard back, yes or no? Let me know in the chat. Uh, if you guys can't catch the full, the full shows, we have a Clips channel. Link for that is in the description. We have two Clips channel. Whatever second, and then never mind. Never mind is that pink haired one. Mods, if you can just spam uh, youtube.com slash never mind. We're trying to get it to 100K subscribers so we can get another YouTube plaque. We've got some good videos on both those channels, but try to help us get to uh, 100K. Link is below. And uh, let's see, last thing here. Um, trying to think. I think that's it. Okay, cool. So without further ado, we're going to have the guests introduce themselves. So please tell us your name, age, and occupation. Go ahead. Hello. Uh, my name is Giselle. I am 22, and I stream on Twitch. What's your, uh, what do you stream on Twitch? Video games? Just chatting? Um, what I like to do is kind of more therapy. So if anyone is having any problems at home or in any type of relationships, they can come and talk to me. And you said you were 22, right? Yes. So you d you're a therapist? I'm not certified therapist, <coughs> okay. but what I do is basically like therapy. You give relationship 
advice ish. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay, very cool. What about you? Um, my name is Rihanna. I am 21 and I'm just a waitress. Just a waitress? Mm -hmm. No content creation? Mm -hmm. <laughs> just a waitress? Yeah. Okay, got it. What about you? Hi, I'm Destiny. Um, I'm an artist, so I do music and I'm also on TikTok. I'm basically on all platforms and I'm a lash tech and I do OnlyFans. Okay, wow. You wear many hats. Um, Got to. I'm age? To oh, 21. 21. Okay, where are you from, by the way? I um, was raised in Oklahoma and I stay in San Diego. Okay, I detect a bit of an accent, so. What is it? Are you southern? from like the sticks yeah, in Oklahoma? Yeah, basically. Okay. It's the country. There we go. What about you? Um, hi, my name is Jen. Um, I'm from Long Beach, California. But the LBC? Yeah, but I okay. stay in Ohio. Are you affiliated? Right now. Huh? No, but I got is a that the word? people that you? are. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, how old are you? I'm 19. And then your occupation? I'm a travel nurse, and I do OnlyFans. Wait, and did I'm you just say, wait, hold on. Travel nurse? Yeah. Are, you're an RN? No, um, I'm working. Closer to the mic? Yeah, I'm working towards my OPN, but I'm a travel, like, phlebotomist. So I that's a little like, different than a travel nurse. Well, I categorize it kind of the same. Well, phlebotomist, field. I mean, it's the uh, entry level to become a phlebotomist is substantially lower than a nurse. Right. Um, so you, could you look at my veins later and tell me if I've got like. Yeah, good? for sure. OK, cool. Yeah. OK. And then you also do OnlyFans. Yeah. Have you ever thought of combining the two? Um. Phlebo phlebotomy yeah I never thought and only of fans. it so I, I don't really know how I can kind of put those together um, I'm sure maybe there, I there's can something figure for everybody. out later <laughs> okay um, how long have you been doing OnlyFans um, probably about four months now four months okay got it cool what about you hi I'm Kelly I'm 21 I'm a student and I'm a branded stylist through Nordstrom and I also do content creation and social media for them for Nordstrom mm -hmm. oh cool okay uh, my name is Apolinaria. I am 25 years old. Uh, I am studying um, in Santa Monica College for my prerequisites for a master's uh, and also working at a startup. Okay. Hey, my name is Ksenia. I'm from Russia, but I've been traveling a lot and I also moved to different countries. I've been living in Austria and now I'm here. I just finished UCLA in application programming, so I'm in tech and in the future, I want to start my startup as well. So age? I'm 25. 25, OK. How many languages do you two speak? Mm, I speak three. Oh, three. by the way, we know, we've been knowing each other for 17 years. So yeah, we're both from the same city in Russia, apparently. Smolensk? No. Is no. that Russia? It is. Or is that Poland? <laughs> it's very random that you know Smolensk. Smolensk. <laughs> it's Russia, but yeah. not, not so You're not from, from Smolensk. Yeah. Uh, it's just there's this famous painting by Polish painter. Anyways, um, what about you? My name is Lauren. I do content creation, and I am 29. 29. What kind of content creation do you do? Um, I'm on YouTube. My YouTube channel is called Lauren De Laguna, and I just graduated law school, and I just passed the bar. So um, I Congrats. do. Thanks. Um, so I do like some legal stuff. Um, and our, we also do morning news. We do interviews, but our crown jewel of Lauren De Laguna is our like Judge Judy type show where I'm the judge and it's called Lauren Order. So, yeah. This is, so you're like hearing like, are you arbitrating small claims type stuff or what? Or well, you know, if we do have people who are actually in real life court, we put their issues their real life issues over our content creation. So we try to wait for real life issues to wrap up. For instance, we had um, this award winning journalist, uh, Aiden Carney, AKA Turtle Boy, um, and he was accused of harassing a person. And uh, they had a whole hit, the pers some other person, other content creator accused him of harassing someone. And they had the whole debate on my show, but they did it after the legal decision was already decided in real court, and he won in real court. Hmm. 
So. Okay. Um, and are you currently actually practicing law? Or? So you have to wait for something called character and fitness, and I just passed the bar in Florida. Mm -hmm. So I'm just waiting for all of that, and hopefully all of that finishes soon, and mm -hmm. then I could get sworn in, and then I will be working. Yeah, I'm very excited for that. What kind of law are you going to be practicing? <clears throat> um, previously, so right after law school, I went into public defense work, and I really enjoyed that. And I'm currently speaking with a public defense um, office in Florida. And I really, I've spoken to a lot of the employees there and they're just so wonderful. And so I hope to work in that office as soon as I'm certified. Okay, very cool, mm -hmm. very cool. Hello, uh, my name is John and I am 44 years old and I am the creator of the It's Complicated channel on YouTube, also known as the Rules of Modern Dating and Understanding Women. I uh, frequent the Las Vegas Strip and I just interview random people and ask them questions about dating. It's a really good channel, guys. Go check it out. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, how long have you been doing the channel, by the way? I think it's about over three years now. What, what was your uh, occupation before that? Uh, I would sell collectibles on eBay. Uh, I worked at a music venue. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much. OK, got it, yeah. got it. Okay, cool. Um, so we're going to go around the table once more. Current relationship status. So are you single? You got friends with benefits, talking stage, situationship, relationship, engaged, married. And also, what is your uh, longest relationship? Go ahead. Um, I'm single, and my longest relationship was a little over a year. Okay. Uh, how, how long ago was that relationship? Um, over a year ago. Over or a year, year ago. ago now, yeah. Okay, so that was your most recent relationship too? Or you've had something in between? No, 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 okay. So my longest one was like three years ago, and then my most recent one was a year ago. Okay, got it. Yeah. What about you? Um, I'm single. I, the longest relationship I have, I think it's, it was a little over a year, but then that, Um, complicated, and <laughs> my longest relationship was like six years. Damn. Complicated. Okay. Well, what do you mean? What do you mean by it's complicated? Go like, subscribe. I mean, it's like it's kind of just stuff happening like now. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're like, saying. Like it was cool Tell me up what you're until saying. like the past couple of days. So it's like it's recent. So it's kind of like complicated. How long have you been seeing the it's um, complicated guy? Not. Yeah, like five months. Five months. But recently, as of a couple days ago, there's been some conflict. Mm hmm Did, Did you, you cheat on him? him? No. What? Huh? Wait, what'd you say? Would you consider him your boyfriend? Oh, yeah. No, we was living together. Like, we lived oh. together and everything, so. Okay. We're like, so you're in a relationship. Yeah, we're just like. Are you, are you guys on a break? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> we're in, literally in the process of basically, like, splitting up our apartments and everything, so. So you guys are. The breakup but it's is toxic because we're like staying together right now. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? So the breakup is imminent? It's, yes. Okay. But you're living together. Has either of you brought someone else to the, the pad? No. What would you do if he did? He definitely wouldn't. Cause he wouldn't do that? Cause I would you definitely. Would, what would you do? Tell us what would you do. I mean, You'd you said I can't cuss? I would beat a bitch up. <laughs> You'd beat the bitch up? Yeah. A bitch up. But then I'd have to beat him up too. You'd beat him? Which, but he who'd you beat up that. first? <laughs> I, um, it just depends on the situation, you know? Okay. It's like, Tell, what that would, could, that could what, happen a lot of different ways. It could go down a couple different ways. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a patio. There's a patio I could like, you know, toss him over. Toss him over the patio. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Domestic violence, good times. Um, <laughs> so... Why is it, uh, has it been on the rocks for a while, or? No, it's like, it's really recent. That's why I say it's complicated, like, it's just, it's kind of Infidelity involved, or no? But you guys are going to break up. It's kind of like, in between. That's the, like, the Do best Do you want to break up with him? I don't, but it's kind of like, we're two different people. I see, like, two different paths, and it's kind of, you know? Okay, interesting. That's um, why I say it's complicated, because, I don't know. How old is he? He just turned 21. Huh. Okay, complicated. In the process of 
who um, was there? Has there been like a definitive breakup conversation, or are you guys just fighting right now? It's really just like right now. Like it's. Um, I don't know how to explain it. Like, what do you mean? Well, I mean, like, has, has there it been, been like, a topic of? Has like, there has been a, a conversation where like we're done, or have you? Are you guys just in conflict right now? It's in conflict, but okay, we're like back and forth. Because it's like, we live together, so we try to work it out. And it's like, no. Nah. Is he watching the show right now? He might be. What's up, what's it, what's up babe? Uh, what's his name? Jalen. Jalen. Yeah. Jalen, is there a chance <laughs> of reconciliation here? You know, just, um, you know. no? No. She, she did threaten to domestically <laughs> attack if, you in the event, if, yes. in the event have to add that in of infidelity. So That's, be careful, Jalen. Mm-hmm. She'll fuck both of you up. Okay. Exactly. Uh, okay. What about you? Um, say, what was that again? I'm sorry. Yeah, relationship status, the longest yeah. relationship. Um, so I'm currently single. Um, my longest relationship was two and a half years. Okay, currently single, two and a half years. Uh, when was that? It was uh, over a year ago. Okay, got it. What about you? Um, I'm in a relationship, and this is... This is probably my longest one. It's like a year and four months now. Okay, got it. Uh, yeah, I'm also in a relationship and this is my current longest one. Uh, for two and a half years, we've been official. All right. Um, I'm single and my longest were around two and a half years and it was around a year and a half ago before I moved to Los Angeles. Okay. I'm single and I just me. Oh okay. yeah, just go ahead. <laughs> All right, <laughs> and um, and I don't think I've ever really had any very long-term relationships. Yeah, okay, that one that's fair. Is that at eight? What's the audio at, Eric? <laughs> oh, that's weird. Okay, um, you don't think you've had many any long-term relationships yeah i've had like situationships that were long-term on and off again but nothing that i would consider a legitimate partner what, what's the longest period of time that you've uh seen somebody uh like two and a half years you've had a two and a half year situationship it was very on and off again i wouldn't consider that was it a legitimate was it long distance it was long distance how long distance he was in new york and i was in california oh damn why okay but um <laughs> uh so a bunch of situationships, you had the 2.5. Were, were you dating other people during this on and off again, 2.5 year situationship? Um, a little not, closer to the mic. Not seriously, I'd go on dates with people, but like get dinner, see if it worked. But I wouldn't have like a boyfriend during this time. Because you were still caught up on no. 2.5 year men? No, just it never happened. Oh, you just didn't meet a guy that yeah. you liked enough, I guess. Yeah. Were, and were you living in Florida during... California. Oh, you were in, you were in California. Okay. He uh, was in New York. I was in California. How did you end up in Florida? Uh, For him? I'm moving to Florida because I just passed the Florida bar. Yay. Right. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. But you're not currently living in Florida, but you passed the bar in Florida? Oh, yeah, because I'm waiting for character and fitness, so I figured it'd be easier to move in with family, save that money, save that Skrilla. I'm content creating, yo, I'm not a lawyer yet, so okay. I'm not making no money. <laughs> okay. Um, I have a YouTube channel, but, not but, an OnlyFans. <laughs> sure. So you've never, but you've never had someone that you would consider a boyfriend? No. Have you ever been in love? Probably no. No. There's time. Yeah, maybe. maybe <laughs> Did you just day. think of someone's name? There's, uh, there's a person that I really liked, but we, we dated for such a short period of time, it would be ridiculous to call that love. So I don't really know who. I have some idea of some person, but I'm sure that person is not the man he really is. Wait, how long, how long of a period of time like was less that? Less than a month. I just really, really connected with him very strongly. And then so you I were definitely wouldn't call that. But that name came to mind. Would you call it lust? Maybe, oh. probably. Closer to the mic, by the way. So that yeah. was that your, you would say, your strongest connection you've ever had? Yeah. 
in a month. Okay. Yeah. So did you have stronger feelings for Month Man than 2.5 Year Man? Oh, absolutely. After Month Man and I broke up, I like called 2.5 Year Man and was like, "Can I just like make it work? Can we just like try to make this work?" And we tried, and then it, it because he was just kind of like a he was always there. Month Man or 2.5 Year. <laughs> I, I like that we've we've uh, uh, assigned nicknames to them based yeah. on the, the length of these uh this is great situations okay um huh all right yeah 2.5 year man might be watching he's still friends with me so why why do you think you've not had a boyfriend um i'm i'm picky and then also when i meet a guy that i like i could be a little bit Um, expectations. I have high expectations of people. Yeah. What are your, what are your high expectations? Why are you picky? Uh, like, okay. If you closer, say closer if you mic. say you're gonna do something, I really expect you to do it, and that's for anyone, mm -hmm. females or males. And it's just I find when, especially with dating, like you tell me you're gonna be at a restaurant at this time, do it. Why are why do men struggle with that so much? But well, besides, sorry. is that really a man struggle though it's not yeah. just a man struggle it's a woman struggle too it's a societal struggle that i think that all of society is i my girlfriend the other day faith i love you i'm gonna call you out girl um she showed up like two days and like she kept postponing our lunch date and then when we finally had the lunch date she was an hour late that girl faith so then if that's your friend that's doing that, how come you don't have the same expectations for your friend? I do. I oh, I absolutely do. But would you dump a guy? Do. I told her like, if you keep doing this, I find I, I'll show you our text afterwards. I was like, I find this really disrespectful. We had a conversation about it, yada yada. But if you try to have that conversation with your like a guy that you just start dating, excuse me, sir, sit down. I'm finding the way that you treat me very disrespectful. Yada da. You're, you're not gonna be in a relationship much longer. Mm. I don't know. I'm not someone's mom. Okay, so being late is a major problem for you. Yeah. Just I, I just I agree with you justifiably. So, um, you said you said you were picky, and then you also said you had high expectations. So yeah. Besides punctuality, what? Okay, what I else? want you to be closer to the mic. I don't. I suppose I don't care if you're highly educated as long as you are pursuing like something worthwhile. So, for instance, if you are starting a business, like. Plumbers do a great job, like anyone going to trade school, uh, welding, stuff like that, that's awesome. Or high ambitions with education. I need to see that ambition, and I'm seeing just such a lack of in just society in general. It, it sounds like you want somebody who follows through. Accountability is follow through. Yeah. That's big. Anything else? Mm. No. Oh my God, these are all people from uh, that love and hate me. All my haters and my fans are in chat. Hi, y'all. That Chloe, why are you hating me right now? You used to be a fan. You have haters? Oh, I, I have a lot of haters. It's fine. Okay. That's why you're a lawyer. <laughs> okay. Oh, soon to be. CNF. <laughs> uh, what about you? Relationship um, status, longest relationship? I am currently single. My longest relationship was over just over three years. It's probably been about six years since that relationship ended. Um, I still, you know, am friendly and fond with that person, um, but, you know, it just, uh, irreconcilable differences, I guess we would call, I don't know. Were we you just, married? No, 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 I, okay. I, don't, I don't know what that means, honestly, I just, uh, we're just, you know, but, you know, it, it, no hard feelings, basically, so. Do you want to get married? Um, while I do believe that uh, families are very important, uh, I believe that marriage is kind of the worst contract a man can sign. I think that it's just extremely dangerous uh, to do that, and I think that there's real no, there's really nothing that a married couple can do that an unmarried couple can't do. So, it's overrated. I, I think honestly, uh, relationships are are almost, in my opinion, stronger when either one can leave at any time, and the only reason you stay together is because you want to be, and not because you're obligated to. Word question. So you do this your YouTube show. Mm -hmm. How often do you post videos? Like once a week? About uh, it takes a while sometimes, but uh, I try to get them out at the most, uh, or sorry, at, at the latest every two weeks. But mm -hmm. um, if I could get them out, you know, multiple times a week, I would. Question for you: Have you ever dated any of the women mm -hmm. or girls you've interviewed? Uh, 
or not, keep not it strictly business, not dated, but there was, you know, a time where I kind of, you know, just hung out and spent some quality time with somebody. Sure. Um, but not like, you know, I mean, a lot of people are tourists, so they're kind of like in and out of town. So. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. So I, I do want to go around a bit here again, because we had a lot of people here who are single. So uh, what does being single actually mean? You know, uh, so because I, I have a sense of what being single means, but uh, so are you currently talking to somebody? No. Nobody. There's no one in the no. picture. No. Not like uh, friends with benefits. No. Nothing. No. Zilch. Zilch. Zero. Zero. Nothing. No. Nada. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> All right. You sure? <laughs> yes. You sure? Positive. Okay. All right. S there's somebody. Come on. There's someone in the picture, right? Oh, no. There's somebody. Not. I used to. Well, I I had a little bit of a bump in the road with somebody, but like. What What do you mean like, a bump in the road? I mean like I was seeing this person for a couple of months, but like I, I tend to do things that like I shouldn't be doing, you know. So like. S what do you mean? Just like um. Like, homeboy would be like, oh, we're together, you know, da 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 da. Or, and then be like, acting like I'm crazy if I find something out, you know, like, of him going and doing something with somebody else. And I caught him doing it one night and I, like, chased him in the car down the road and stuff. I didn't, like, run him over or anything like that. Like, I would just, like, want him to see, like, I see, you know? You should have. So you were trying to run him over, but not really. No, like he was driving his car and I was driving another car, like side by side, like, huh. you know. Can, let's reenact. So, okay. um, what, what's your name again? Giselle. Giselle. Giselle's your boyfriend. Uh -huh. I want you guys to like put your hands on the steering wheel. <laughs> let's reenact what you were doing. I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna look so crazy. Wait, by the way, was your... What, is he your boyfriend? Well, I don't know what to call what, what, him. No. What was his name? It's like a little, oh. Uh, just make up a name if you want. We'll call him, um, like, Jose. Okay, Jose over here. <laughs> this is your situation ship or whatever. Yeah. He's, he's being a fuck boy. He's driving his yeah. S-Class Mercedes. Well, he had a girl in what his What kind of car did he, was it a Hummer? No, what it was a Dodge Challenger. Humvee? Dodge Charger? Yeah, it's always Charger. <laughs> One of those cars. What color? What color? It was black. Okay. All yeah. Right. But he was like, it was like he told me he had went to bed, and I was, it's so crazy. He lives down the same road as my sister, right? So he had told me he, like, went to bed, like, an hour before, and I just so happened to, like, be going to my sister's, and as I was driving past, like, this plaza area where, like, in and out and stuff was, this lady was, like, stuck in the side of the road, so we turned yeah. around Jose. to, like... Hands on the wheel. Yeah, so well, well, I turned around and went and parked in the plaza because we we're going to push this car out of the road. As soon as I'm, like, backing up, I see him. I lock eyes with him, and he just, like, kept driving because there's, like, a stoplight, so he has to wait. So I'm, like, getting out of the car. I'm, like, running up there. I look crazy because I'm, like, ready for bed, like, and everything. What, what, let me just interrupt you. Jose, does he... Is he both hands on the wheel, or yeah, is he like a he, one? Well, he's usually. Is he a one one hand? Well, kinda, he's like he's a pretty buff does, dude, he's so like, he's like always like this. He thinks. Jose, he's all please chilling. adjust. Yeah. Please adjust. Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, something like that. Exactly like that. Actually, that's the angle I saw him at. You know, and I saw maybe running. other hands. Let's see other hands. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, something like that. And just look more like a fuck boy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Okay. That looks just like it. But yeah, it was just like. You know, after you see something like that, I'm like, oh, crap. Like, get in the car. I was telling my sister, like, get back in the car. And she's like, no. So we pushed it out, and then I, like, whipped around and drove all the way to his apartments. And he pulled out at the same time. So we're just like, she's here, and I'm here. And he tries to, like, duke me out at, like, a stoplight or whatever. Like, he thought he was going to turn quick. Well, he ended up turning, and I was on the other side of him because, like, you know. But then I, I know. Just, like. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Has yeah. any of this resulted in criminal prosecution? Oh, yeah. Okay. And what? Any court processes? No, no way. He didn't call. No, this is just like normal. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, he knew so, he was wrong. He's like gaslighting. So me. were you? You were chasing him. Yeah. This is like some Fast and Furious shit. Yeah, what? that's what it I is. felt like. I felt like I was in a movie. Like everything was slow, but everything was so quick. 
I had to like snap back and be like, oh crap, I can't be doing this. Like I'm crazy. Like <laughs> no, not like I'm Did, crazy, but like yeah. it's pretty stupid to do that over like a man. You know what I mean? But Did, he's not your boyfriend. Was he but trifling? He was trifling for was sure. Was he trifling? Yes. He Can't believe trifling. he was trifling. I know. Yeah. Can't believe it. I Wait, know. so was there a woman in the car with him? Yes, huh? there was. There was a blonde girl. See, at this time, I had brown hair. Oh. So I that's what popped out to me because if he was Because it wasn't just, you in the car. No, I caught him. Because if you had brown hair. Yeah. And you also weren't in the car with him. Yeah. <laughs> so I knew it wasn't me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. For sure. Wait, so blonde chick. Yeah. I don't even know who she is to this day. Is that why your hair's blonde now? Oh, no. I always dye my hair. Uh, you can see, like, all over my page. It goes from, I dye it from, like, brown to blonde all the time. Okay. Depending on my mood. Like, it's summer, it's going to be blonde. In winter, it's going to be brown, you know? Changes what what were your thoughts on the woman that was in the car with him? Who is this bitch? Who's this bitch? <laughs> Describe her. Well, I can't get... Li- Did so she have a face a, tattoo? I couldn't even <laughs> see that quick. Like, face I was, tattoo? And no, no. Teardrop? I don't know. Okay. I couldn't even see her. Like, was she cute? Hmm? You couldn't see her? I could see like her head bobbing and tinted? stuff. Like, this, yeah, he has a tinted, tinted car. What do you mean bobbing? Dodge like, Charger, like, by the way. You know, like when you're driving a car and it's like... Oh, okay. Sorry. Was he listening to me? Did he see you? Yeah, he definitely saw me because I was walking Wait, up to his just car. Just question. So you were in your car and yeah. he was in his car. Yeah. When you first saw him, correct? Yeah. Were you guys like crossing paths like this? No, like, it- like I had just backed into a spot. So yeah, he was coming like this and I had just parked and he got out of the car because I wanted to make sure that it was him. Yeah. I saw like running up to the car and he's like rolling up his window. I'm like calling oh, one, him. One request. Can you pop your, your uh, oh. it's just clanging on the table it's all good so continue you you saw him with trifling yeah with this blonde woman this blonde woman i can't call her a bitch that's rude because i don't know you know but um yeah i saw that so it's just like you know when you see something that really bugs you and you just like have that quick what if it was like a cousin or a sister or a mom oh it definitely was not he has no family here or a friend, or a coworker, or, or a prostitute with blonde hair. You don't know. Yeah, you know. No, but see, it, I know. Was it a? It was a prostitute. It might have been. Could have oh, been. No, I, that's. I know. It seemed no, like you would have. You, a you seem. He's, oh my God! Uh, hold on. Beaten cheeks donated one hundred and five dollars. It's complicated. John, cook this panel, please. My ears are bleeding. Guys <laughs> on stream, do not simp and sub to these Twitch slash I think it's okay. Bonds. I think it's okay. Save your money it for be. Brian. Is it okay? It's complicated channel and my rumble. This blonde thought is making me dumber by the moment. Wow. Okay. Do you want to? Do you want to respond to beaten cheeks? <laughs> no, not really. I don't really care. You just get money. You do you want to? You can roast him back if you want. No, it's cool. His name is Beaten Cheeks. I know. He probably doesn't First name, last any. name. That's actually his legal name. Oh. He proved it. He showed me a birth certificate. Oh, my God. Wow. And his Kazakhstani passport. Whatever, Because he's from Kazakhstan. Oh. He okay. actually is. Okay. They have weird naming... Right, you guys are from that region. Well, we are from mm. Russia, which is a completely different country. Cheeks is a common Russian, not like uh, Slavic last name, isn't it? Um, not nope. really. Well, maybe a little bit, some somewhere, yeah, but not okay. in Russia. In Russian, Kazakhstan. Cheeks. Wait. How would you say? Li- okay. Well, what was your question about surname I don't or know. about looks? I'm not sure. Okay, <laughs> Go I ahead. Don't know. I don't your remember. Story. You're telling. You're you're driving. Yeah. You see trifling boyfriend. Yeah. Prostitute. Situation shit. Yeah. Prostitute. Drug oh. dealing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Was there drugs involved? No, definitely not. No drugs? No, I didn't. No, 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 no but like, he's got a black Dodge Charger. Yeah, but he's it's in the military. kind of a drug dealer. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's more of a military car to be yeah. honest. They, they buy the, the Mustangs and the it. Chargers. Okay. Good times. Um, so... Single? Yeah, most definitely. Have Have you had a rebound since, dude? I mean, yeah, but like a couple rebounds, nothing. just one rebound. Um, because if my boyfriend was trifling like that, I might be tempted to. Well, I, I didn't have trifle a, myself. Yeah, but I didn't have a rebound like right away because I was more like, um, I guess like man, I had to take a step back from, you know, like everything going on, but. 
I ended up having one when I went out to North Carolina, but that's it. Okay, got it. Oh, you have your complicated situation. You're single. Yeah. Yes. But come on, there's a guy in the picture. Come um, on. Yeah, there's one. What's going on? How long you been seeing them? Um. Well, well, there's a couple in the picture. A couple in the picture. Yeah. Why don't you? When you say a couple, are we talking a baker's dozen? Got what like are we talking four. about? Four. Four. Yeah. Good Question: Do you have like a main piece? Keep, yeah, keep and then the like rotation. you got the rotation. Mm -hmm. You got a roster. Like the yeah, but so it's like. You, did you say girl? There was a girl in it. No. Oh, okay. I All mean, dudes. Girls All guys. are cute. Like I get down with a girl, but like relationship-wise, um, I'm not there yet. Have okay. you been with a girl? I have. Yeah. You more than one? No, it was just one. Okay, so currently four yeah. guys, and you said there's just, oh, hold on. Black Socrates Thank you, man, appreciate it. $99. Nowhere in your rambling, incoherent responses did you come close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and my God have mercy on your 304 souls. It, it's me. a quote Billy from Madison. a movie. <laughs> Billy Madison. Don't worry, girl. It's, Was that for me? Don't. Damn. Girl, no, don't take oh, that not, serious. It's tripping. from Billy Matt. You've seen Billy Madison, right? The, no. Okay, it's dumb. It's a dumb movie. Yeah. Well, at least he donated money. Like. Yes. I, I don't know if who. I. It might be. I don't think it's don't know addressed who it's towards, towards you. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, what was we talking about? I feel like I have yeah. that on my yeah. soundboard yeah. somewhere. I think I've heard it before. Well, I swear I have it. You were talking yeah. about your rotation. Yeah, I like girls. athletes. So mm -hmm. it's um, a little difficult for me. Oh, hold on. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response. Okay, we get, uh, okay. <laughs> thank, thank you for the uh, TTS, appreciate it. Thanks. So you like athletes. Yeah. What and how? Which athletes? Mm, like, I used to really like mess with um, football players, but um, I'm leaning a lot towards basketball players right now. They're You're leaning towards the basketball too. players? Yeah. Okay. And so how many? So you, there's four. Yeah. Are they all basketball players? Yes. Same team? <laughs> no. Um, I don't want to name drop nobody. NBA? But, um, yeah. Huh? God. Oh, wow. Good for you. All right. Uh, I mean, if you want to name drop, you can name drop. I can name, like, teams. Okay. Um, somebody from the Cavs. Cav Cavaliers? Yeah. Okay. Um, the Milwaukee Bucks. Milwaukee Bucks, okay. Uh, the Detroit Pistons. Um, I think that's it. Because there's, there's two from the same team, but I'm not going to say that. And then, like... The one you rarely see is, is playing college ball. Um, <laughs> I got two that's playing college ball, and then I got another one. I got two that's about to go into the draft this year. So. Wait. So there is there more than four? Yeah, there's more than four, but there's oh. like a four that like. Wait, closer I to text, the mic. Closer. To there's the like mic. a four that I text on like a daily basis, like hi, good morning. That. You text you you send it. Well, like they either text me or I text them. So. You know what? There's a thing in your phone where you can actually automate text messages really? to go out. Like at a certain time. At a certain time every single day. It's oh, I forgot it. It's in the automation setting. So you might want to look into that just yeah. so you can automate the good morning text. Yeah, you know. Um, I think they could also automate it based off when they leave their house. So that could change every time. Sure. I did not know that. Yeah. Wait. So okay. So there's how many? Total is it? There's none. A, there's no football players in there. Just basketball um, players. There's a couple football players. I don't think I've messed with anybody in the NFL right now. Maybe in the past, but previously yeah, there was a, yeah. some NFL. Um, I forgot that one team, the Jets. The, some, is that something the, from the like New York, New, New Jersey, I think. New York. Something New like that. Right? Wait. Okay. It's so, but it's so currently you're seeing yeah. three NBA players. Yeah. Do they buy you stuff? Um, they buy me plane tickets. That's it. For the most part. You don't get a bag or anything? I mean, if I ask. Girl, you need to get a bag. I know. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. Like, for me, like, 
I make money my other ways. Mm. Um, what, but what if do you you're mean? fucking with somebody that right. m- makes that certain right, amount Right, that's of money. what I'm saying. Um, I just expect a good time whenever we go, like, whether it's vacations or they fly me out to their house and we do whatever we do there or wherever they're at, like, they're in Chicago, New York, like, spend time with them for a week. Can I ask uh, something? Yeah, go ahead. Um, I, I want to know... Um, is there an ever? <coughs> oh, sorry, we'll, we'll have this. Big donated one hundred dollars. I don't think she knows the difference between a football and a basketball. Well. Hey Nick, can you pass me the rugby ball over there? <laughs> it's on the top of the chair. Not the rugby um, ball. Any rugby players? Th- thanks, Nick. Uh, I've played female rugby. Here, catch. Oh. No. <laughs> um, no rugby players in there? No, no, no. Okay. You, uh, I mean, I, I'm not opposed to it. Like Rugby players who are watching, her DMs are open. Okay, so um, go ahead. You. Had oh, I, I wanted to ask you a question about yeah. that. Uh, is there an extra level of expectation when somebody does some grand roma- romantic gesture? Uh-huh. Um, what do you mean? Like, if somebody set up, like, a nice date for me, like, is it, like... Do you believe that men initially do really nice things for women because they want sex? I think it definitely plays a part, yes. Like, the further a man goes for you, um, he's definitely trying a lot harder to get to that point than somebody just not doing nothing. So, if so, why would a woman ever accept an extravagant offer from a man if she wasn't interested in having sex? Mm-hmm. Well, that, would that be leading him on? Right. Um, I think accepting the offer... And then even like change your mind later. It really just depends. Like you can see how the offer goes. Maybe she's just giving it a try. Um, but like, how would you feel about reimbursing a man if a relationship didn't end up happening? That's not my fault. If he wanted okay. to pay for whatever, do whatever. That's I didn't ask. So okay. But don't you feel like if you um, once you once you're like talking to somebody, mm-hmm. I feel like you already know if you're gonna have sex with them or not. Yeah, like straight off the bat. So it's mm-hmm. like at that point, are you really just leading them on if you're accepting everything that they're giving, knowing that you aren't gonna have sex with mm-hmm. them? Well, wait, just one thing. Just yeah. when you're speaking, I do need you a little closer to the microphone. Go ahead. If I keep accepting something from that man, then you think, um, then obviously I have some type of intention towards him. But more than likely, if I really don't like him, I'm. I'm gonna just let him know. Can I can I ask you one more? Um, yeah, yeah. When you first meet a guy, how do you know whether he's going to be a friend or more than a friend? Mm-hmm. And more importantly, when do you decide? Because it's often said a woman will know right away. Right. Um, it's really based off that first conversation, um, just how their vibe is. If they're like quiet and like just kind of like, hi, how are you? How was your day? But like they don't know how to like really have a conversation with me, then I it's probably not gonna go no further. Um, but if they're like kind of comfortable with me, like talking, like like cracking jokes, like just being comfortable. But I'm but I'm saying if most women would mm-hmm. know right away, and then they're willing to accept an extravagant offer from a man, mm-hmm. isn't that almost like, you know, in a way, consenting to the possibility of of I'm I'm interested in yeah you know why would you accept the offer right if you wasn't interested okay how do you um. Did you have more questions or? Oh, that, that, that's that's as far as that goes. Sure. So, yeah. uh, how did you how did you um, meet them? Was it in person? Was it did um, they message you on Instagram? It's Instagram, really, like. Yeah. Did you message them? Did they message you? I personally, I don't like to message nobody because if you don't like me, then you don't like me, and that's just that. Mm-hmm. Um, I've played a game though, like you know, you like their photos or like. I don't comment on nobody's stuff, but like if they have highlights, you like like their highlights. And then, okay. but why waste time? Mm-hmm. Like, why not to just talk to them potentially or make the first move? Well, you never know what somebody got going on. Like, not everybody posts their like significant other. Um, so, if they're putting that like effort towards me, um, then I'm gonna go for it. So okay. Um, Sorry, could I just one more question? Go ahead. So for you, it's mostly to make sure that they are single. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. But guys, don't just because they're yeah. You just never know because they be DMing you and they're not single. Right. And a it, lot it's of the time. It's happened before. Um, Closer to the mic. Yeah, it's happened before. Um, I'm not going to out that one person, but they are currently in a relationship. Um, one of the basketball players. But they're also seeing you. 
Her lips are sealed. <laughs> so you're, you said you're currently seeing four. Yeah. Well, I'm not having like, I'm not having sex with all four, but like currently talking to and like interacting, like calling, texting, snapping, FaceTiming on yeah, a we'll daily. Fly you out. How many, how many are um, you, you said you're not sleeping with all four. How many mm -hmm. are you hooking up with? Well, their schedule's busy, so it's not like I could just go hook up with one of my little things. Um, Eric, can you close the door? Um, so they, do they fly you out? Yeah. It, is the potential to hook up with all of them on the table? Yes. Okay. Okay. So there's how many currently? Because you said there's more than four. Well, there's like, that's just like NBA, and then like you said, like, Four in the NBA yeah. that you're talking that are already in there, but there's two. Wait, wait, like, that yeah. you're. The, what do you mean you're already in there? Like they're already drafted. No, no, but four. You've met them in person. Yeah. All of them, mm -hmm. multiple times. No, some of them I've Just only once. gotten flown out like once, and we met that time. You Did know, you hook up? Still text, yeah. Okay. But that's it. Like. Got it. Okay, and then. <laughs> oh my, hold on. Ross Khan donated one hundred dollars. Hello Lauren, Ruru, Anna Kick It, Hello Starlight, Super Rebel City, Taryn Dixoff, the PDF Elves and whatever. Panel and chat are interesting. Thanks. Oh, and Anarchy Sheik wants her super chats acknowledged. <laughs> hi Anarchic Chick. Those are all the people from my like YouTube community. So awesome. hi Ross Hey, good to see the uh, Lauren is it Lauren De Laguna? Yeah. YouTube community, welcome guys, thank you, appreciate the uh, big TTS, thank you guys, appreciate it. So, you said that was just the NBA. Yeah. Let's talk about um, badminton, badminton? Yeah, no. how many, you got any, no. any no bays, sports, really. badminton bays? Mm -mm. Soccer? No, I wouldn't mind Cricket, though. any cricket? No. No cricket? No. What about, um, any gamers? No. Like any esports chads? No. League of Legends, World of Warcraft? No. But I'm not Counter Strike? Opposed, I'm not opposed to none of that, but no. Like, what if they have a really good, like, micro? Like, would you be attracted to a dude who's just like, Ch -ch -ch -ch, micro? Like just going in. Like, like, boom, send a tech, like, Command and Conquer, send a technical yeah. rush. I mean, GLA. If, if it pays USA, the bills, then yes. China Inf? What if they, like, play China Inf? Okay, so hold on. That's fine. <laughs> but so you would date a gamer? Yeah, I would. Okay, but you primarily prefer like proper athletes, not like, you know, game, gamers, you know. I don't really mind. I'm not particular Baseball? Picky. You got a baseball? Yeah, Wait. I have talked to people. What if you players. found out that gamers actually made more money than ballers? I doubt that. It well, mm. no. Asian gamers, are you getting in Asia? Like the, the computer game players? They make hella money, millions. Well, the top of the top. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they can't. Some players. of them, the top guys, can make a lot of money. But okay, so you're currently also seeing a, a baseball player or multiple baseball no, players? No, I'm, I'm not seeing no baseball oh, players. Oh, previously like, though, you I've had. I had like a couple like in my DM. What What is the uh, league for the? Uh, what is it the? What's the league for baseball? MLB. MLB. Mm -hmm. Any MLB players? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so there's football football players. Yeah. How many football players you got right now? Um, just two. Just two. Just two. Okay. Just two. Yeah. NFL. Just one in the NFL. And then one college player. Yeah. And then for basketball, any college players? Um. Yes. Okay. All right. You're you're successful with the athletes. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. Okay. So. Um. And you said you meet most of them through Instagram. Yeah, all of it is okay. through Instagram. Um, is, is there any reason, like, are you not wanting to date just one? Mm -hmm. Well, if one showed me that he was, like, really pursuing me, like, because I'm a little picky, too. Um, I mean, right. clearly. Yeah. <laughs> you um, like uh, exceptional athletes. Can I, can I, do you think that women have the privilege of being more picky because they have more options? Yes, yes. Why, why do you think that so many women today are so reluctant to admit that they have privilege? Um, All right, going for it. I feel like some girls just don't want to be perceived in a certain light, 
so they just try to keep things open okay. instead of just if they feel some type of way they just stand to it mm -hmm. plus there's a different re uh, difference between privilege in dating and mm -hmm. privilege in life but definitely girls have privilege in dating mm -hmm. okay. I mean, how is isn't dating a Hold huge on. aspect of life it is yeah, go ahead. I was just going to add on that I think a lot of women do unfortunately have trouble with taking accountability and they do <coughs> also... Oh, hold on. What, what? So Fulich donated $104.20. Love you guys. Why do women choose the male role while also resenting the less salaried man? Men traditionally are providers yet 47s 50ks often won't look down on her. But if a woman provides, she often resents the man when she forcibly switched the roles. Word, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, why do women choose the male role while also resenting the less salaried man? That's, uh, I'm not sure the answer women to that question. Tend to be more Here, um, maybe, go ahead. Oh, um, I think that there comes more of a, a victim mindset. Uh, maybe because women tend to lead more emotionally. I think that's kind of my thoughts. Mm -hmm. So just being emotional goes hand in hand with claiming <laughs> claiming victimhood? I think not necessarily, but I think that they don't take too much of the time to logic, like step back and logically think mm -hmm. to proceed, if mm -hmm. that makes any sense. Do you think there's a, a level of power and privilege that comes with victimhood? Yes. So, so could that possibly be linked to it? Yeah, I, I think that they want to be seen as not privileged because it kind of intertwines with also being less than victim. I mean, mindset. is it possible for women to be strong and independent but also victims? Yo, Eric, I um, think you need to boost her microphone a little bit. It's I think it's number ten. Strong and independent in the sense of you know they're taking care of themselves, maybe financially and everything like that. Sure, and they can also play the victim. I think you can be both. Isn't that a contradiction? I don't think so. Okay. Hey guys, is the volume a little better? One in the chat if the volume's a bit better, or two in the chat if we still need to boost it a little bit. Um, are you dating any civilians right now? Um, yeah, I'm talking to a, just a couple other regular guys. Couple of regular guys? Yeah. What's a regular guy to you? A regular guy is just someone who's not in the NBA, somebody who's not a rapper, somebody who's not in the industry. Are any of, but are they like, are they wealthy? Um, just not famous or yeah okay I try to be with somebody a little bit more well off like. sure okay um, well first off I'm like I appreciate just your forthcomingness and yeah. honesty sharing all that um, that's certainly pretty impressive to me uh, although I think it it's uh, it's not uncommon uh, especially, you live in Los Angeles, correct? I don't. Oh, where do you live? I live in Ohio right now. Wait, oh, right. Okay, you're in Ohio. Yeah. I thought, wait. But I LBC? Come, Is that? So I come back here almost like every other month because majority of my family does like still live here. So I'll yeah. come and like kick it with my family. Okay. Um, Interesting. Okay. Um, just, I want to ask everyone else at the table here. So she's dating or has dated multiple NBA players, NFL players, some other athletes, a any uh, musicians, actors? Yeah, yeah. Producers? Um, mainly just rappers. Any, any names we would know? I wouldn't put it out You there. wouldn't want, okay, no. of course, of course. Um, but would we know the names? Yeah, you would. Most of them do stay in LA. Do, does it start with a D? And end with a rake? Uh-uh. No, no, no Drake, not but yet. But I love that man. It's Ooh. in the works. Question, if Drake slides into your DMs, man. hell yeah. are you, are you on, on it? it? Let everybody go. They're all gone. The rest are gone. Everybody's gone. Ooh. Can, can I ask but a question about that? Do you think he would do that for you, I though? Care. You don't care? I really don't. You don't care about the like a loving relationship with I mean, a man? I mean, okay, listen, though. Like, it's Drake. It's Drake. Drake. Exactly. No, no fucking crap. loving relationship. <laughs> So, so I have a question about that, right? So I'm sure each of you has a celebrity crush, right? Yeah. Uh, I'd like to pose a question to the panel. If, if each of you had the opportunity to hook up with your celebrity crush, would you take it? Yes. Like, that's my crush. So when a woman says, I'm not that type of girl, mm -hmm. is she really saying I'm not the type of girl with you, but I am that type of girl 
with my celebrity crush. Yes, but you. So wouldn't that mean that women will make rules for the wrong guy but break rules for the right guy? Yeah. Okay. Modern dating 2023. Sorry. Okay. So yeah. there are the rules. There are no rules. <laughs> um, so, okay. I want to open this up to the rest of the table. Mm -hmm. So, and I know Instagram recently, anyone can get a blue check mark now, so it's not a big deal. But like before that, have any of you here been contacted via Instagram by someone with a blue check mark prior to the recent changes? So we're talking a famous athlete, musician, actor, whatever it may be. Yes, however, if I do not feel a connection with them, I do not take it further. Have you taken it further with a blue, ch blue check mark person? I guess I've dated someone, um, but that was a serious relationship. It wasn't just a hookup. You ended up dating them? Yeah. And he DM'd you? Yes. So you guys met on, online? Yes. Through Instagram? Um, no, not through Instagram. Twi through Twitch streamer? Twitch, yes. He's a Twitch streamer? Yes. XQC? No. <laughs> okay. Um, but a Twitch streamer, okay. What about you? No. No blue check marks? No. But you, you've, I'm sure you've gotten a blue check mark in your DMs. No. No? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. What about you? Mm -hmm. Some blue check marks? Yeah. In the DMs? NBA players? <laughs> you guys might be Eskimo sisters, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Me, I'm going to be honest, you really never know. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to say they're easy, but they are. They if, get around. Yeah, like, if they they're like they get they around. Like, they yeah. just... I mean, they're athletes. They're if athletes. Good, like you can get them. exactly. That's all it takes. It's easy. Okay. Um, <coughs> you said you got some blue check marks. Yeah, but it never went anywhere. This was like. Did you meet up? No. Okay, but they were it was just like games. conversation. It kind of led to nothing. So yeah. Did, like... And just I, I want to add one thing to this. Um, have you ever had an offer to be flown out to? Yes, and usually I decline. Any fly out offers? No. Yeah? Yeah. Take it or no? No. Okay. I should have. Okay. And you've been flown out. Yeah. How many, if, if you had to put a number on it, how many times have you been flown out by a guy? Um, Close to the mic, please. This, this trip, I actually got flown out. To California? Yeah. By an NBA player? No, he's put his name in the draft, but. He's an athlete? Yeah. Okay. So he flew you out because you're in Ohio, but he flew you out to LA. Yeah, because he, um, a lot of them are in LA right now for like workouts and stuff. Um, What's up? I have a question. Do they know that you're on here and do they know about each other? Um, I hope not. Um, <laughs> but if they see me, we probably gonna talk about it later. Um, I, I doubt anything would change though. I had a block one though. A what? You had a block one? I had a block an NBA player. An, you you blocked an NBA player. Yeah. Why is that? Did it he was, he didn't score enough points <laughs> in his last game? Uh, to be honest, I don't really watch their games much um, oh. unless I'm there at the game. Um, have you have, has a guy ever who was in the NBA flown you mm -hmm. out and then you go and see his game? Mm -hmm. That majority get, of the time. Do you time. get courtside or you're like in the um, back? No, I just way be in the, in the stands. I mean, I, I could ask him for courtside, but I'd rather not make anything too obvious. Yeah. Especially if they got other stuff. Yeah. It's okay. Um, yeah. Has there ever been a situation where an NBA player, how many games <laughs> have you been comped? Um, just two. Oh, just two. Yeah, just two. Question. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been seeing a guy from both teams and they're playing against each other. I've had um, guys from, I actually, yeah, I have. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh. From the Indiana Pacers when they was playing against the Bucks. Playing against the Bucks. Yeah. So you're seeing I wasn't seeing them at the same guard. time. I don't know their positions. Well, okay. I know their okay. positions, but I don't know them off Were the top of my head. Were they both starters? I don't know. <laughs> One of them was. She from doesn't the date people on the bench, okay? Mm -hmm. She only dates I, that's starters. That's a lie. Can, I mess with can one I ask this also? He didn't play much. Um, a, lot, a lot of you talk about you know wanting this this high value guy. Mm -hmm. uh, would you be more interested in sharing a high value man with another woman or having an average man right. all to yourself? Right. Mm, good so question. here's my take on that, um, and you guys can. And yeah, we'll have everyone yeah, answer this one. Yeah, let me know. One. But for me, 
dating now is definitely different. Um, I guess as long as I'm taking care of um, my like tuitions, taking care of um, car notes, taking care of living. Sorry, hold on just one sec. Okay, Yo, Flan Life, thank you for the uh, 50 <laughs> gifted memberships. Uh, we'll do the fit check here in just a sec. Let me write that down. You were saying that your tuition is paid for, your car note yeah, is paid for. Yeah. So you have the guys who you're seeing, the, is it the NBA players that are paying for this? Nobody's paying for oh. nothing right now. Oh, okay. I thought. I was I'm a just saying, confused. like, from that point when he asked me, like, okay, are you okay with, like, sharing a dude? Honestly, as long as he's not all up in my face, like, he just brought another girl over and I'm there, I'm not about to go look through your phone and make something of something if I'm taken care of. So as long as you don't know about it, you're okay with it. Yeah. And that she's being provided for. Yeah, and now I'm obviously being taken care of. Okay. Okay. And so the question is, would they rather share a high status guy or get commitment, right. monogamy from, from and more of an like average, a right. normal guy? Do you want average. kids? Um, it's. I'm not opposed to it. Well, let's go around the table on uh, his question. So, would you rather have a really high status guy? Say you're the, let's maybe in this example, uh, she's the main chick. Is that fair? Sure. She's the main chick, but there's going to be side chicks. Right. Or do you get monogamy commitment, but from like a normal, normal guy? So, so yeah. you're celebrity, let's say you're celebrity crush. You're the main chick for your celebrity crush, but he's going to be, uh, there's going to be some other chicks involved. I'm super into monogamy. I find it really special because it is a choice that we make. So I would go for the average committed relationship. Guys, how's the volume? One in the chat if the volume on her microphone's okay. Is it not peaking? One in the chat if her audio is okay or if it's too low. How's the audio? Hello? Chat? Audio's good, looks like audio's okay. Okay, cool. Guys, if it's peaking, let us know. Um, Eric, keep an eye on that. Uh, would you rather share a high status guy or get monogamy from a, like a normal average guy? I think I would. Closer to the mic. I think I would definitely share like, like if it's like a high status guy. I mean, it's different though, it's like, um, like, yeah, if you keep it on the low, don't tell me about it. It's whatever. But, like, if we we have to, like, be able to discuss that, though, and say, like, this is what that this is, you know, rather than being bi blindsided about it, even though it's, like, you know. You'd want him to be upfront with it. Yeah. Okay, sure. So some people want to know and some people don't want to know, which I think is interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It just depends because it's, like, if you're dating a more valued man or high valued man and he has like like y'all have no connection like are you saying like you would have a connection with that person and they're talking to other people and doing sh yeah. like stuff with other people you're the main chick mm. he's high status your celebrity crush whatever. yeah i would definitely have to be like i don't know communicated and i'd have to be taken care of for real if i was but. sure like is uh, emotional taking care of a factor at all is it just financial? that is because it's yeah. like if I don't feel no connection with that person I'm not gonna be there and be like yeah I'm with him just so that he takes care of me like yeah. gotcha. but what if you had kids with this person would you care then I don't think I would let it get that far like if I I feel like I would know before it got to the point of children mm -hmm. if I really had a connection but with that person why date anyone if you're not like eventually trying to get to it's true, but you're also, like, trying to learn people. Like, nobody's going to show you who they truly are at first, you know? Like, it's kind of like you learn more about people and then make the decision as you go. So you want to go from, like, polyamorous to monogamous eventually? So, like, for instance, if you like a man, but you're in a, some sort of polyamorous relationship or noncommittal mm -hmm. relationship, and then you want to turn that into a husband, you just plan on him switching to monogamy now? Mm. I don't know. No. Well, a lot of the time, I'm gonna be honest. If you doing that with that man, you know he already got his other things. Sorry about that. Um, it's not gonna work with him. You are gonna have to find somebody else. Unless like y'all really talk and y'all really like. Okay, like I'm messing with you. Like I've tried all these other people and it's just not working. 
uh, I keep coming back to you, then you guys can have that talk. But more than likely, if you are trying to really settle down and you're with somebody like that, it's just not going to work. So just to continue going around the table on this, would you rather share a high status guy, you're the main chick, but he's going to have side chicks, or get monogamy from like average normal dude? Well, I already, I already said it. I would rather be with somebody who taking has care their of all your together. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm not. Some people don't date for kids and like, oh, I need him to be all about me, like marriage, marriage, marriage. Like, if I'm looking for a good vibe and he give that to me and he's respectful, because a lot of them are respectful, to me at least. Okay. Um. You, you don't want kids? or If they come into play, then I'll have that conversation sure. when I have Do kids. Do you want to be married before you have kids? Yeah. You have to be married. Yeah. What about you? <clears throat> Share or? Well, if it's like, what, what, is the, what is the sharing? Am I, sharing him, am I sharing you with another woman all the time? Or is it that my husband went on vacation, he fucked a bitch in Brazil mm-hmm. and came back home to me? Never going to see her again. Let's, let's say like El Salvador. Let's not say Brazil. <laughs> it was in El Salvador, so it's a little... Okay. Uh, but, uh, Peru, but, maybe but Chile. He, but, he, but it's not like it's a mistress. Am I sharing him with, an, with somebody else like that? Or am I the, am I, am I the queen and then he... Ha, he guys are going to get horny anywhere they go. He goes on vacation, some big booty bitch is on him, and he fucks up. But it's like, if we were married for 20 years, is that, and we have kids, that's not really fair of me to just, done, go away, if it just happened once and you're never gonna see this woman again. Do you wanna, would, would you see that almost more of like emotional cheating versus just sexual <laughs> gratification? I, that would just be like sexual gratification. Right. So it's like, it's just more logical to not leave you if that's the situation that happened. But then it's like, if you're, if you're allowing another woman to feel the same way that I'm feeling, and you're letting another woman feel this, like she's in the same position as me, then that's completely different. That's having a mistress. Mm-hmm. That's, so, so let's say yes, there's a mistress. There's a mistress, then no. no. I'll, I'll settle for the loyalty. I don't need. What about like once a quarter? He's, he like hooks up some chicken once a quarter in like Luxembourg or once some a shit. Year, like once a year or like huh? like a couple of times a year. Four times a year, like once a quarter. That's a little like much. Like Q1, Q2, mm-hmm. Q3, that's Q4. That's a little much. Right. If we're married, that's a little much. If it happened like if it happened in t- like t- we were married for ten years and it happened, it would be uh, really easy. Hold on, just oh yeah, yo, AB check. Thank for the uh, twenty gifted. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Flan life, we will get the fit check here in just a sec. I just want to finish going around on this table, so. Like, it's just, if you have kids with that person and you have a marriage with that person and you have, like, you know, you've built your life with this person already and they cheated because they were horny, men are gonna cheat. Men are animals, they're literally, you guys are just gonna cheat, it's just in your nature. Erroneous, <laughs> erroneous. There's, men are, there's a lot of men that are loyal. There's a lot of men, of course there's a lot of men are, that are loyal, but like, it is in, it's in a lot of men's nature that's like, they're, it's hard to have them commit to one person, commit to one woman. And you know, it's hard for one man to go 20, 25, 30, 40 years with one woman. And I, I, I like, I'm, I'm not gonna say, we're not gonna say the same thing. We're gonna think other guys are attractive. I'm pretty sure we have more control over that as women. Mm-hmm. But you know, a man, it's really hard for, I, I know that it's gonna be really hard for one man to be having sex, just sex with one person for that long of a time. Are your parents together? No, but my mom's married with my stepdad. Do you think your stepdad cheats on your mom? Uh, I don't think my stepdad cheats on my mom. So why can your stepdad do it? What do you mean? I didn't say he could do it. Like your dad, like I'm saying your stepdad is able to remain in a monogamous relationship with your mom and he's not going around if my mom had kids with my stepdad and he cheated on her, she wouldn't divorce him. If they were together for that long. Based? Based, huh? What? Are you by any chance Vietnamese? Yeah. How did you know? Uh, well, slightly bloke, but also the talk about divorce, mm-hmm. uh, because Vietnamese culture doesn't really... Uh, divorce? <laughs> yeah. Uh, hold on. Yeah. Robert, Robert Thank you. 
Girl in red, what's your end goal with NBA players? Let's be real, you're being flown out for sex only. Those players have busloads of women lining up for them for the same thing. Why do you think they'll do more for you besides just running through you? Your response to Robert Wait. Mugabe. Okay, Robert. Um, let me read that real quick. To be honest, rather than just getting... I'm going to just be a little vulgar here. Rather than just getting fucked by some random who don't have nothing to him, I should, I'd rather be fucked by a baller. But why Why get fucked at all? Why like, not? Like, can't you just, like, chill at, at home and why not? pet your cat can or I something? Not? Like, pet? Pet I, mean, I, I just mean, like, like, can I not euphemism? fuck too? Like, <laughs> just like, why like get fucked at all? <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, like. Sure, even yeah, like, like, euphemism, I just don't understand why mm-hmm. you need to, like, do you actually gain that much from, from having sex with these right. men? Do you enjoy that so much? I that mean, you it's need not more get... so like, oh my God, like I'm gaining so much from fucking this dude. It's not that. It's just like, I mean, how many it's times? How many times do you get to a fucking NBA player? How many times do you get to flown out, go to games, and do all this extra stuff? Like, well, it sounds how they live. Like, kind of frequent though. Yeah. So. Like you, you got that shit on lock. You right. got that shit figured out. Right. And I you just, called them easy. Yeah. You, it out. you said a lot of them are easy. Yeah. So easy to get attention wise. Like yeah, on so Instagram. Apparently, uh, it, it, a lot of times mm-hmm. you'll have that opportunity. It's mm-hmm. not a rare opportunity. It's my. P- mm-hmm. Well, it it really just depends on how the, the, the girl looks. That's what I mean by it can be easy. I'm not saying anybody can just like have in a DM or start liking everybody's pictures and somebody going to talk to you. That's not always the case. In my case, I just get lucky to be noticed. So Sure. Um, let's just continue with the question. So would you rather share a high status guy or get monogamy from normal guy? Well, if I was not in a relationship, definitely a normal guy. <laughs> oh, sorry, hold on. Big donated $100. Thank you. I think Lauren is too smart for the rest of this panel. She is growing on me and making something grow on me, LOL. I would let her litigate all over me anytime. Thank you. Have a good sense. I love my sense. Litigate all over me anytime. Okay. Um, Go ahead. Uh, Yeah, so if I was not dating my boyfriend, then I would definitely choose an average guy that was loyal. But I am lucky, and I got a high-value status man all to myself. So. Well, you're hold on. You're 21, right? 25. Oh, excuse, okay, I got that mixed up. 25. Uh, when you say he's a high-value man, what do you in mean? In my eyes. Sure. To me, for me. Okay. What and what does that look like to you? Um, definitely. Okay, so like a high-value man or him as a high-value man. What's the What's the difference? What's the difference? More well, closer to the mic. Well, because I could be just describing him, but it's not necessarily that 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 what it takes to be a high value man. Well, what does it think? take? What do you think is? What a, does it? Okay, okay, is he a high earner? Uh, for his age, I'd argue. Okay. Is that the only high value man? No, th- I mean there's <laughs> other there's other metrics, right. but that's that's one potential component of it. Go ahead. W- would you say that looks, money, and status are part of that equation for most women? Uh, for most women, for sure. I think one of the most important things for me is his intelligence. But for most women, I agree. So, so, okay, so for most women. So if, if most women, if a man typically has to have looks, money, and status in order to attract lots of beautiful women, how is the man not considered the prize? Oh, I definitely think I won. Like, well, right, but I'm saying when you ask people when it comes to dating and relationships who's typically seen as the prize, the man or the woman, most people will say the woman. Right. Why is should, it? Should we go around the table on this? <laughs> I mean, really quick. Yeah, yeah, we can. Just who's the who's the prize? Who who do you think is the prize? I I don't think anyone in specific is the prize. Okay. Yeah, I don't. Are you the prize? Okay, are you the prize or is the man the prize? I don't really know because sometimes it's it's just different on different like standards and sure situations. Okay. Um, just be honest. You can say it. You can say it. Yeah, I'm the prize. Okay. A little closer to the mic, though. I don't know if they heard. Yeah, I'm the prize. Does Does her mic need to be boosted too, chat? Hello? Um, we do. Okay. Uh, the red Russian. Go ahead. 
Logically, I think the man is the prize. Okay. Um, I think that my man for me is a prize, but I hope that I am his prize. So. Mm, I think that both are prize of, for each other because men choose women and women choose men. So, yeah, they both for each other. Lauren. Yeah, same. Okay. Both prizes for each other. Ha- Do you want to continue with? I, I'll, I'll just say, happy spouse, happy house. You know? Right. Mm-hmm. Word and it goes both ways, so it should. Yeah. Bringing it to you, um, high status man, but you're sharing him, normal guy, but oh uh, well, I'm actually into monogamy, so for me it would be very difficult to share someone. I would be very jealous, um, even though before that I didn't think that I'm jealous. I mean, not before that, but like when I was younger, I didn't think that I'm jealous. But yeah, for real, just one man, and I also think that every man can be successful in life. Um, especially if they have goal and if they have brain, they can definitely be. So, and if they want, yeah, of course, you're, they want to be successful. You're both from Russia, right? Isn't it somewhat common, at least this is what I've heard in, in Russia, for there to be a mistress? Is that common in Russia? Are you talking about France? Yeah. Are you maybe mixing us up with France? Uh, France. No. You sure? I think I'm thinking about Russia. Um, I mean, I would not hope so. <laughs> mm. I would yeah. not know, probably, but I, I, not as far as like the people that I know. Okay, all right. Uh, so, Lauren, what about you? Share or monogamy? Monogamy. And also, I kind of take issue with the question because you're talking about high, high-valued high man, and I just don't value people. I think you could say high-earning man, maybe. So are we just talking about... Does a man have a lot of money? I feel like essentially the question is, if a man has a lot of money, would you let him fuck a lot of women? And it's like, no, it doesn't matter how much money my man makes, I want my man to Mm -hmm. be. It's not even so much about being um, loyal to me, it's more about being a good role model model as a father. And I don't want to be with a man who I don't think would make a good father to my kids. So, and I wouldn't want my kids to see their dad running around with other women. I just think that's gross, so. Yeah, by the way, Flan Life, thank for the uh, extra gifted subs. We're, we'll get the fit check here in just a sec. Um, did you have a string that you oh. wanted to continue with? Well, I was, I was just gonna say, I, I'd be willing to share myself with multiple women. No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, uh, I'd like to, um, <laughs> all right. Uh, let's try this one. Have any of you guys ever used Tinder or dating apps before, and what was your experience? Hated Tinder. <clears throat> yeah, Tinder is like sucky, but like Hinge is not bad. Okay, I've heard a lot of people talk about Hinge. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, okay. I'm on the right stuff. Do you? Um, why do you think that uh, women typically get far more matches than men? Mm-hmm. Uh, go ahead. Uh, well, I just wanted to say that men probably just swipe right and then see who swipes right no, on them. I think yeah. it's because men are on there and it's a lot easier for men to find a woman attractive than women to find men attractive. So we're all going to say it, it's a lot more it's a lot more probable for a woman to get more people that are finding her attractive than a, a random man to just get, um, have women constantly finding them attractive. And I also feel like you're not just looking, at, at least for women. I- uh, hold on. Robert Mugabe donated one hundred dollars. Okay, Should so let me get this good. straight. Girl in red is happy to just her back blown out, but NBA players <laughs> for now. But what about the long term? Do you want to get married eventually? How do you think your future potential husband will feel about that? Your answer quickly. Yes. So, um. Hopefully my husband can accept me for me. Um, I'm still young now, so I'm gonna use that as my excuse. Um, but everything I do, I definitely think about um, whether it's sex, protection is used. Um, Protection's used? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. You sure? A lot of them wanna use it. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, the hot sauce thing. So. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them wanna use it, so I'm not against it. Okay. Apparently, in the NBA, even going back to the 90s, they would send out these memos instructing these new NBA drafts who are perhaps a bit naive and young that 
not only should they wear, wear condoms when sleeping with these women, they should also be sure to like tie a knot in it and, thro and flush it down yeah. the toilet because yeah. what these women would do is like, and I think this happened to Drake, Drake recently or some shit, mm -hmm. the women would like get the condoms and like yeah. try to inseminate yeah. themselves yeah. so they could get a yeah. baby so that they could get child support from presumably, yeah. well, athletes tend to make a good amount of money, so, and they're also athletes, so that's... I mean, genetics, yeah, you gotta guess, think, but... like, I'm not saying I do this, but I'm... <laughs> oh, my God. Pussy Magnet donated $100.69. <laughs> Great names. Ever had bad vibes with a high-value man? Are vibes synonymous with good looks? Yeah. Thank you, Pushy Magnet, for the $100.69. Appreciate it. I mean, like I said, I've I had a block of NBA player before because he was just... Every time we would talk, it was always about sex. And then when I would like defer from that topic, he would like he would low key trip on me like, and I was not going for that. Oh, so he just wanted you for sex, basically. It was it was yeah, and sometimes it's like that. But if I can't even have like a regular conversation with him, I just can't like. Sure. If you always sending me your dick like. Huh? Yeah. Sending like, the the like D. Snapping, like yeah, picks? throughout the day. Like, They'd be, be like, sending. 6 p.m. Dicks? and they in their bed just the fuck yep see I wouldn't I, I can't I mean I guess they do it but to me it's just like you know why would you if you're uh, out there in the public you know mm -hmm. why why would you because it could get leaked right well the, I, I've never sent a dick pic yeah a I wouldn't send a dick pic I'm not trying to get that shit out there mm -hmm. you know don't I mean that's Thank what you. I've been like thinking I, I think women should send pussy pics though I'm in favor of pussy pics. Women should start saying pussy pics. Revenge. I think it's revenge for all the dick pics. This has been sliding around for. Hold on. Mike Davis donated. Yo, thank you, Mike Davis. What's good, shorty with the red and dark hair? I'm no NBA player, but I probably got more bread and brains than those bench players. I earned my way. If not for athleticism, they'd be hustling a mixtape on the street corner. Let me slide in. Well, you By got the way, my Instagram. That, if you want to take a look at the screen here, this is Mike Davis. We have a photo of him in the studio. He's one of our longtime patrons. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, he he works. Oh, that's him? That's Mike Davis. That's okay. the guy who just super chat. Handsome guy, right? <laughs> um, he owns like 331 Burger King restaurants on the East Coast. Oh, shit. Could, he's trying to, he's trying wait, to fuck with me? Wait, question. Like Mike Davis? Yeah. I've known Mike Davis for a very long time. He once, we were on a camping trip, and believe it or not, it was like in uh, the, uh, what, what, what's the uh, mountain range in California? It's the, uh, it was the Appalachian Trail. Mm -hmm. Me and we were camping together. There oh, y'all are close. Like. We're close. Uh -huh. Platonically. Like, there's no yeah, romance or yeah, anything. Like, we did share yeah. a tent once, though, like on the Appalachian Trail. Bromance. Uh -huh. It was a bromance. It's okay. Yeah. He's a patron of mine, so I fly out and we, we okay. talk and. But um, he rescued me from a bear. Oh. And so I'm like forever in his debt. So like, can I connect you I mean, he with got, Mike Davis? He got oh. my Instagram. Huh? Like, How did he rescue you from a bear? Yeah. So he was on the night patrol because it was the Appalachian Mountains. So we didn't want like any meth heads like trying to fuck us up. Mm. So he was like standing guard outside the tent, right? And I'm like, I, I need my beauty sleep. So I was like fucking knock the fuck out. So he was like, you know, Chilling, and there's a fucking black bear. How did he? I mean, because we left some like, food out accidentally. Mm -hmm. Like, there's some Burger King wrappers and shit, just like strewn across the mm -hmm. the campsite. Uh -huh. So like, he fucking like he had some bear mace, like one of those big canisters. Oh my God. So he like this black bear and comes charging, fucking charging at him. Boom! Sprays the fucker. He saved me. Did from, you wake up? Or was you just yeah, playing? I woke up. The black bear was tripping the <laughs> fuck out, and Mike Davis was like, "Fuck off!" So he saved me. So like, can I? I'm like kind of his his he wingman. Is, yeah. Are you down? Like, could I get you guys linked up? He's a good dude. Linked up? Like, what you mean? Like, is he trying like, to go He's on down to fly you out. Can Where I, he stay? Like, he's in on and he's on the east coast. Oh, he's on the east coast. You down? Like, can I get you guys linked up? Huh? I, we could talk about that. And he's a gentleman too. He owns a couple of birds. He'll comp whatever you want at Burger King. Why would you choose NBA players or for somebody who's like actually worked hard, made a living, like, have like, like Mike Davis. Like Mike Davis. I mean, he's, he's handsome, he's a handsome man. This is, I mean, I'm gonna be honest though, I'm not knocking nobody who work hard for their money. Like Mike look cool. Like 
I'm not knocking nobody for their money. I don't care how you get the money as long as you got it. And these aren't prescription, by the way. He has perfect 2020 vision. He just it's more like an perfect. aesthetic. Mm, very cool. It's an aesthetic thing. He, he his vision's good, so his genes are good. Uh-huh. Are you down? How tall is he? Uh, six three. Is he a basketball player? Yeah, six three. I'm pretty, uh, can so. After the show, can I get you guys? Can yeah, I, we can? can talk about it. Mike, or uh, you know what, Mike Davis? <laughs> yeah, no. I got it. Mike Davis, just slide into her DMs. Yeah, you got my Instagram. Okay. So, anyways, what were we talking about? Yeah, you well, 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 I wanted to ask a question. Also, <laughs> what are your thoughts on like that? There's a common per- perception about modern women today. Yeah. I've heard uh, they say modern women today don't care about a man's struggles. Mm-hmm. They just want to show up at the finish line and pick the winners. Mm-hmm. Do you think that's true? And if so, why? Well, I'm gonna be honest. Um, I've messed with a couple guys that have been through stuff like more challenges in life than somebody who was just born into money um and honestly they're a lot more down to earth um yeah like they i can have a conversation with somebody who slept in a car before or had to sleep in a car before wait question is six three too mm-hmm. short no six three is fine because you kind of scoffed when i said six three i know you date nba ballers but is that too short for you the tallest i had was like seven two and I'll be honest, like, it's kind of It's hard. a wrap. I'm sorry, Mike Davis. It's, it's over hard. for you, bro. No, like, 6'3 is perfect. It. Get some help. 6'3 <laughs> is perfect. I, need, I think anything over, like, because I'm a little taller. I'm, like, 5'6". I think anything over, like, 5'8 is fine for me. Do you, oh, anything more than 5'8. Go ahead. Yeah. Do you think you're more likely to meet a beautiful woman who's down to earth or a high-value man who's down to earth? Oh, a, a beautiful woman that's more down to earth. Which one was more likely to overcome hardship? I'd probably say the woman. Can you compare the ugly duckling woman to the high value man who had to earn his status? Wait, why are y'all shaking your heads? Am I missing something? You really think that a pretty woman has a harder time throughout life than a man who has to work for his wealth I mean, and I'm, strive to get to the top? I'm just like, okay, like who has it harder? Heidi Klum or Mark Cuban throughout life? Okay, you're going to have to lower them numbers. I don't know. Oh, you don't know about. those people? Okay. Uh, who had it harder? Haley Bieber or I'm trying to find like Gen Z people. <laughs> like, um, <Right>. What? <laughs> what the fuck is this question? Okay. Um, here, let's do a fit check because Flan Life has been. Okay. All right, so fit check, everybody. We've got to do a little stand up. We're going to check everyone's fit, you know. Um, so if everyone wants to stand up, you can say, you know, where your outfit's from. You know, uh, are we doing a group stretch? Mm-hmm. Hey, if you want, you can. Oh. Join us. All right. Uh, is, is this uh, Balenciaga over here? What you got? Oh, no, I just bought this from Korea. Korea? Yeah. Like the, the so government? Like the government sold it to you? No, like, that's. North Korea? No. It's like just bulk. I traveled to Korea and I bought it. North Korea. South You're tight with Kim, Kim Jong. No. What are the tattoos on your, uh, what are those, what does they say, angel? Uh, one says angel, another one says devil. Is there something in between angel and devil? Like a fallen angel? I don't know. Okay. Um, there's the fit check. Does everyone want to do a little spin so they can, you know, we got to see the, the, you know, the spins. Full spin. Full spin Okay. We got some jeans over here. We got some Balenciaga. We got... I'm not sure what, what do you call those, these pants with the, 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 the sides really sure. visible? Is there a name for them? Mm-mm. Did you rip them yourself or did they come no, like that? No, they came like this, fashion over. Okay, like thank you, Flan Life. <laughs> and uh, this is, um, this is um, Teespring t-shirt, right? I think yes. So. It's actually Teespring. Um, it's complicated. That's his YouTube channel. He's got the Nirvana, mm-hmm. smells like teen spirit, um, white um, thing, you know, under, you know, Rocking that and um, some black jeans. He's got the New Balance. Yo, guys, sh- show the New Balance. Oh my God, we got Steve. Oh, he's taking it off. Are you gonna? Super. I dare you to smell it. Okay, that's okay. Okay. don't do that. Um, okay, everyone can sit down now. <laughs> Thank you, Flan Life, for. <laughs> okay, where were we? We were talking. Oh. Um, I want to finish off on a previous conversation we were having. So we were talking about blue checks, mm. blue checks. By the way, guys, I have OCD. Um, is can you guys see the screen flickering? Is his screen flickering? Actually, I, I don't really see it anymore. Maybe it's the angle. It's fine. Um, okay. 
I think we left off with you. So have you had any blue check marks slide into your DMs? Yes. How many? A lot. A lot. Mm. How many? What are we talking here? Break it down. Well, when I was single, it used to be a lot, a lot more. But Did you um, post your boyfriend? Hold um, on. On your Instagram? Not like that. Not like his face, but like, you know, like. Uh, wait, Eric, can you pull up her Instagram? We'll, we'll do a little deep dive here. Right. One point five, one point, wait, one year relationship. Wait. Yeah, like it's been like a year and four months. Year and four months. Mm -hmm. That's kind of post your boyfriend territory. Well, like I don't like post him. Like I like don't, I'm not gonna like make like a whole post about him and like oh hey baby I love you so much like this is why I love you like you know like happy birthday like I'm not gonna do that but like I post like my dates that I go on with him and, you to know, your stories yeah which disappear which disappear yeah but I put it on my highlights. Eric, can it's you pull up the highlights. Instagram? What, what's your name? Um, hey Kelly Lou. What? K E L L I. It's it's in the uh, description of the video. But so, okay, you get blue check marks in your DMs. Um, have you ever met up with any of them? Yeah. I mean, but this is when I was single. Well, yeah, when, I'm talking when yeah, you're single. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you're in a relationship now, but prior to your current relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's like the baddest mf -er that slid into your DMs? NBA player? Well, it's like a bunch of, yeah, it's a bunch of those and a bunch of, like, you know, athletes. Um, yeah. Or just like random guys who like, I don't know. Okay. Oh, here it is. Ooh. Okay. So we're going to we're going to just take a look. Um, scroll down, Eric. Let's see. Let's look at the Instagram. Okay. Keep going. Keep keep going. One uh, where's where's the boyfriend? I know I told you I don't post him on there, but oh. if you go on my stories. Oh, oh, the stories. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. 1.4 year Relationship. He don't post me. By the way, there. I told he doesn't post you. No, I told him that he doesn't. Oh, well, he'll like you know I post a story too, but like all every single thing like I post on my story is like usually with him. He knows that. Okay, how many DMs do you still get though, from um, guys, even though you're well, in a relationship? So I'm a stylist, so I. Ro well, I'm talking romantically. Like it's clear that you're stylist for men or for women. Both. Okay, how many? DMs, it's like where it's kind of evident that the guy's sliding in there where there's a romantic um, interest. A lot of the, it's, I would say maybe like out of all the DMs I get, like definitely like 80% of them are guys who are trying to like, you know, get at me. But then the other 20% is either like a client who's actually serious about working with me or just like my friend, like just friends, guys that are just. How, you know, how many DMs a day do you get? Um. Like from different people? Yeah. Uh, maybe like six or seven only. Okay. And how many are like romantically uh, like are, shooting their shot? So are like, am I talking back to them? Because if no, it's no, no, no. Just, 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 them, in general. just them hitting you up. I don't reply. I don't really reply at all. But how many are hitting you up in a day um, or in a week? In a week, I would, I would say like 10 to 15. Okay. But mm -hmm. like that's like in the re like requests and everything. I'm not replying to everything. Sure, sure. Everything. Okay. Um, did you have something related uh, to this? Or? Sort of. I mean, obviously, we were talking about dating apps earlier, but I think a lot of uh, people almost use Tinder as you know a dating app, right. a form of dating app. So I was wondering. Um, they use it, Instagram or they use Tinder? The, well, they'll, they'll use Tinder, but I think also a lot of people will slide into your DMs on, on Tinder. So Tinder's, I sorry, not Tinder, Tinder, uh, on Instagram. And so Instagram is almost like another dating app for someone. It is I a dating app. I would say that for sure. I okay. think okay. I would definitely agree. But like, honestly, like I prefer, if I was using it as a dating app, I prefer to use Instagram over Tinder anyways, to be honest. So, so where I was going with this is if a woman has lots of sexy photos on her dating profile or maybe her Instagram and no bio, should she be surprised if guys are only contacting her for hookups? Of course not. That's S what she's, that's, you know, that's why I don't get, I'm not getting mad or, or I'm not texting these guys back. Like, don't talk to me. I have a boyfriend, you know, it's like. I'm not gonna get mad at you. I, I don't post my boyfriend. I already know that, so it's like I'm, people are gonna assume that I'm single. So you, right. so you feel like she's kind of putting herself out there in that way. What do you like? Who's she? Uh, just in other words, if, if she's got you know a dating profile, no bio, yeah. lots of sexy photos, you feel like she's kind of sending a message like I'm just open to hookups. Mm, I don't think it's just I'm open to hookups. It's just 
I'm po- this is what I'm posting. <clears throat> this is okay, but I mean, should she be surprised if she's getting no contact from? Why not? It's not surprised because that's your. Like I said before, like women are gonna get men to, that are finding you attractive. Men, uh, men are gonna find women attractive. Like any one, every single one of us in this room have men in our DMs who think they're attractive. So it's like, how? Are we, but why are we gonna get mad at somebody who's just complimenting you? Because these guys are coming out of their way DMing you because they think you're attractive. Brian, you are you getting DMs from guys thinking that you're attractive? From dudes? From guys. <laughs> Actually, yeah, there's been some dudes fucking okay. hitting me up and shit. Not a lot, but... I, I'm, 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 I'm trying to ask... Oh, sorry. Hold on. Robert Mugabe donated $101. Bruh, she oh justified God, getting run puppy. through by NBA Wait. players by saying I'm young now. I'm going to use that as my excuse. Brian, John, and Lauren, I am disappointed in you for not pressing her enough on this. <laughs> Age is not a good yeah, excuse yeah, for yes being that. a 304. Isn't Robert Mugabe like some fucking... Uh, isn't that like some guy in Africa who's like a dictator or tyrant or some shit? Confirm or deny, are you a, the fucking president of some... Where should I say to that? Like... Old dictator. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Mike Davis donated $100. Brian, I'm not gonna lie, I was about to let that bear pounce, but then God came to me in a revelation and said, <laughs> It's not your time yet. You still have work left on this earth, gatekeeping these streets. Praise the Lord, not me. Hallelujah. Yo, Mike Davis, thank you, man. Yeah, um, I appreciate you, uh, you know, being there to defend me against that. I think it might have had rabies too. Like it was frothing at the mouth. So like, yeah, they had a tet. He got he had to go to the hospital after because he got a little he got cut. So if you actually meet him, he'll show you the scars from the bear. Dang, I didn't know the bear got that close. Yeah, he has he has battle scars. Shit. So yeah. You owe him a lot. Like, I I am indebted to him for life, right. big time. That's why I'm trying to get a little connection between... Okay. All right. Um, we were going around the table. Blue check marks. Uh, you, you've, had a, you've had a bunch. What about you? Any blue check marks in your DMs? Uh, yeah. No, actually, Into the mic, never please. no any blue check marks ever. And in fact, the fact that um, Instagram could be used as a dating website, I found out about three months ago, four months ago. Mm-hmm. I don't get contact. You? Ah, not really. No. No. Maybe like longer ago, but not really now. No. Okay. What about you, Lauren? Um, in the past. I don't really post on Instagram, so. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, let's do a couple super chats here. We need to get caught up on them. Thank you to everybody who became a member. Yo, Eric, can you um, can you go ahead and pull up Twitch? I need to shout out everyone on Twitch. All right, yo, um, smiles, thank you for the prime. By the way, guys, oh, X out of the, uh, sorry, Cheeks, I'll message you back later. Guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Mods, if you can spam it in the chat so they can go over there. The, it's also, the link is in the description. Twitch.tv slash whatever, drop us a prime sub, drop us a follow if you, have, if you have one. Amazon Prime, link it to your Twitch. Quick, free, easy way every single month to support the show. Smiles, thank you for the prime. Beer, thank you for the tier one. Fox, thank you for the prime. Think for the bits, uh, light. Clarissa, think for the prime. Sense, think for the prime. Embrace the chaos, think for the prime. Mycon Music, think for the prime. Funbag Fondler, think for the prime. Gatling, think for the prime. Mad T, think for the tier one, appreciate it. And then Brandon, think for the follow. Sergeant, think for the follow. Ghost, think for the follow. Jekka, think for the follow. Mega, think for the follow. Sled Lord, think for the follow. Revolution, big thank you for the prime. Twitch.tv slash whatever drop us a follow in a prime sub cold stream thank you for the follow appreciate appreciate it thank you guys so much for all the support over there on twitch kenneth thank you for the tier tier one on uh, youtube membership okay uh let's di- let's get some super chats here um let's see here oh have you had have you gotten any blue check marks from some babes in your dms or what uh not quite yet but um, i'm thinking that uh i could nowadays everyone could just buy their blue check marks so does it really well, have any value before, like oh, before. oh before oh yeah. no yeah no but I'm looking forward to it. I, I actually, I had a month ago, I had my first blue check mark DM from a chick. Mm. And, 
Bro, girls have no fucking game. You'll have zero fucking game. Holy shit. Oh, if I was sending that exact same message to a chick, bro, she ain't responding. But I mean, is a, is a blue girls. check mark going to make that girl, you know, more attractive to you, you know, as far as, I mean, we, guys don't really care about status. No, actually it's about, worse. Yeah. It's actually worse. Wait, what did she say? So, okay, I have this thing where like I've said that I like, I, look, I don't really care about height, but I, I like short women. Like four, four feet, four eleven. You know, if her height doesn't start with four, she ain't the one. That type of shit. <laughs> well, w women have height preferences, Not huh? Yet. It's all, it's wrong. Oh, if no, a dude no, no. has a height preference, like, hmm? Are you into really tiny, tiny? I would, women? bro. I would be so down for a dwarf. If anybody knows any dwarves, can I you do. hook it up? Oh really? Yeah. Get can, hook it up. I'll put you on. Like real? female, female dwarves. I don't, I don't know. know if they go by that term. Like I'd be down to be friends with like a male dwarf. Oh okay. No dwarf. Dwarf is the. It, well, I guess now it's moving towards little person. Yeah, yes. I thought that's what it was. Like his sister. But I think dwarf is still like appropriate. <laughs> it's still appropriate. But yeah, if you guys know anybody, hook it up. Do you, you know somebody? Who's a dwarf? Who's a dwarf? How tall are you? <laughs> I'm 4'11". Oh. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, fuck, it's not work. God damn it, the Romeo sound. Eric. Do you have a blue check It's not mark? your fault. <laughs> I do not. She doesn't have a blue I only mark. have a check mark on Twitch. That's oh, okay. it. Um, That's a blue check. There you go. I'm um, purple. Purple. Uh, purple. purple check. <laughs> Wait, H Jose. Blue will, it. will you marry me? Jose. Can I try it on? Yeah, oh, sure. Hold on. She's keeping the ring. Hold on. Oh, oh, good catch. Ooh, bad throw. If it doesn't fit, it's a no. Rest in peace. RIP's in the chat. <laughs> Preemptively. Probably too big. Where did you pull that? Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> rip. RIP's in the chat for Brian. Okay, here I'll take it back. She's got dwarf fingers. Yeah, she's four eleven. Um, I don't know where where was I going with that? You got a DM from a blue check mark, and she said oh, something. Oh yeah, yeah. And she, she, she was like, I'm five one. That's it. And I was like, I was like, oh sorry, too tall for me. In the, <laughs> like in a joking way. Wait, that's so cute. How do you say that's bad? Wait, is that the first she, thing she, she said? She just said I'm five one, and then she shucked the rest of the conversational burden on me. Like she had eleven million followers, mm -hmm. by the way, and I'm like, okay. I think that's kind of cute. Like she, she knows. It would have been cute if she continued the conversation, okay. but she's just like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Girls have no game. Okay, here I'll I'll take it back. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're divorced. Thank you. Just, just give me it. <laughs> All right, cool, okay. Maybe just the girls you interact with have no game because some girls do. Not many, not many, but some do. Women don't, well, here's the thing. Women don't need game. Sometimes they do. No. At least from personal experience, there's, there's no, I can tell you I do. Lesbians? Okay, so if, if you well, woke up tomorrow as a man and you wanted to get laid, like a lot of guys do, how would you do it? Uh, I don't think I would have that desire one morning that I wake up randomly. Uh, but I have definitely had to make the first move. I had to write to a guy. Like, I, I actively made into like, the mic. myself... Uh, put myself out there. Here, pull the um, mic closer to you. Just put it at the very edge of the table. Um, so, yeah, um, I just think personally, I do make the move, we, but I do know that not most people do. Well, the exception doesn't make the rule. And generally course, speaking, like definitely. women, Many, women don't need game to get a guy. You just, I mean, it, it sort of ties into the whole, like, a lot of you receipt getting DMs, right? You kind of just have to be out in the ether, and guys will come to you. Again, still you don't, not the case for everyone. For, I just said I most, have no blue well, check marks. What do you mean? Well, just well, just an example, right? Yeah, so, but if you were to download a dating app, for example, like you would just be getting matches, boom, oh, boom, true, boom. True, on a dating app. They yeah. would be messaging you. They would be asking you for the date. They'd be asking you for the number. They would be setting up the date, planning the date, paying for the date, moving things forward on the date, going for the first kiss, moving things forward sexually. So guys are expected to pretty much do everything throughout the entire early stages of a relationship. Again, would be nice for sure, but there have been so many times that I had to do that. What Which I actually don't find a problem with. I just think that like there are different women. All I'm arguing here, so sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, just to finish Brian's point. Uh, Brian, um, that, yeah, um, to say no women have game, that's just incorrect. Some women will have it. Most women Okay, not. sure, I'll, I'll, I suppose I'll refine my statement. Women don't need game. Oh, and sure. most women don't have game, though, because they don't need it. 
fully agree now with the statement. But yeah. now I wanted to ask you, a, a lot of women, uh, I ask them why don't they typically approach men, and they will often say because they're afraid of rejection. So I ask them, if a woman chooses to approach a man and shoot her shot, is she more or less likely to be rejected than if a man approaches a woman? I'm probably less likely to be rejected, yeah. Why do you think women are afraid of being rejected when they're far less likely to be rejected? I think it's just like a mental thing. Like you just think... So what advice would you give to men who fear rejection? Oh, well, to both men and women, I would mm. give the same advice, which is just go for it. If they will reject you, they're not meant for you. And so mm. don't waste your time. I on, always you say rejection is simply redirection. So if that person does not want you, then mm. you are being directed to another pathway that's better for you. Mm -hmm. I don't oh. think... Hmm? Yeah, I don't think you should. I don't think you should go somewhere where you're not appreciated. Obviously, right. so. Yeah. Um, but I didn't like your premise to that. Um, something about can you closer to the mic? Can you reread that question again? Oh, that was in my head. Can what you, was? <laughs> this is in, in his brain. Yeah, in my memory bank. Which, you, okay, you said that women approach men because uh, they're, or sorry, women don't approach men because they're afraid of rejection. But that's not the reason women don't approach men. What, what would your uh, reason? Women don't approach men they because don't have they want to. masculine men and they want the qualities of a man who is going to be the type of man to approach them. They don't want the type of man who is going to accept a woman. And there's this, there's actually a dating book. I wish I remember the name of it. But a woman says, if you are reaching out to the man, that relationship will not work because you are acting. Fake news. Disavow. Okay, I have a question about that. I, but go ahead, go ahead, continue. Why do you, I'm curious as to why that's fake news. I actually, I think that the instances where a woman is being a bit, not like pursuing in the same way that the man is, but she's actually like putting in effort, those actually tend to be the ones that I, in my experience, are the strongest. Mine as well. Like, <laughs> not these ones where she's like playing that hard to get, Forex like, donated $100. Thank you, man. Rickson, on behalf of the military homies, can you ask the panel why most modern women say or think a dude being in the military is a red flag? And can they provide insight on why? P.S. Big ups to Mike Davis. Based. Based. Um, sh yeah, we can go around really quick on this. Um, well, I'll just ask a question. If a guy's in the military, current active duty military, red flag or no? Just a... No. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. Guys, please. Yeah. You have to be speaking into the mics. I really don't know. Mm, no. Can you repeat the question? Yeah, sorry, I missed that. Uh, red flag if a guy's active duty military. No. No. Okay. Sorry. You two no. said yes. Just why? Why do you think that is? I don't. I don't think you're wrong. I mean, well, necessarily. Well, it's because like I'm very, I'm very like you know, men or women, they could be very like a red flag because they end up going on these deployments and stuff like that. And usually, like when people join the military, they're really young and they don't really know what they're where they're going in life and type. So let, let's say they've been with somebody, and they go get deployed and they're there for so long, people are gonna want the other physical connection with somebody else, you know. So there's always the opportunity for them to be able to cheat on you, like. I don't know how to explain. I just feel like if someone's in the military and they're not older, then yes. But like if they're a little bit, if they're like over 25, then no. I think I've, I've actually heard the reverse is that it's more often the case that the men will go off to deployment. Maybe they're married or they have a girlfriend and the girlfriend or wife cheats on them yeah, that's while they're I'm, yeah. getting fucking well, either way, I feel IED'd like, and shit. Yeah, <laughs> either way, like... It's either the woman cheats on him because he's gone, or like he cheats on her. Like either way, it's just not really. What is like it? What is it called? A depends apodomus. Like basically, they get their the military wives and spouses. They get their military benefits, and then they fucking divorce the guys and cheat. And Has bullshit. Anyone here been in the military? No. I dated a guy in the military. Yeah. That saying, counts. Um, You're pretty much yeah. in the military. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Like these military wives are like, I'm basically in the military. Because you married. hear everything. Because I'm married to well, that a private means, first class. Well, it's because then they come home and they're like, they talk about everything. Like, my sister's in the military, so like a lot of things like I know and understand because of that. That's well, her. thank you for her service. No. Wait, you're, who are you thinking? Her sister is in the military. 
you're thanking her for her service, but I mean, she's family. not even here? I, okay, like, I, I did military for two years. Mm. Oh, you were in the military? Yeah. For Which two years. branch? Air Force. Does that really count, though? Mm -hmm. yes. I like to see you go to the academy. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm teasing you, but. <laughs> Uh, I'll do basic. Andy I thought Air Force here. were the coolest ones, no? No, oh, it's the Marines. Chair Force, oh, okay. yeah. Chair Force, yeah. Um, it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, um, let's, what, I'm trying to remember where we were at before, but uh, here, we have a question here from Stifler. Ask the ladies to rate their looks on a scale of one to 10. Um, I would say four. <laughs> oh, sorry, hold on. Oh, uh, I'll read it. The military is literally protecting your asses from crazy MFers in North Korean China, and y'all think a man being in the military is a red flag? Well, what the actual F? Thousands of dudes did not die in Normandy Beach for y'all to say that. Do you guys have a response? No comment on that. I don't think it's necessarily wrong for someone to not want to... I don't know if it's a red flag, but... I don't think it's wrong for someone to not want to date someone in the military in the same way that it wouldn't be wrong for someone to not want to have a long distance <laughs> relationship with somebody because deployments, you know, they might be gone. Thank you, man. Lauren and Tony Hawk been spitting facts for the 304s on the other side of the table. These thoughts are beyond the streets. They're for the forest. One forest. plus year relationship and no couple pick. Run away, King. Oh. Where is based Chase? We need him back. Your response? No. No response? I have a question. What is, what is he's saying, he's saying, you 1.4 year relationship, no photos of your boyfriend on Instagram, public profile, posting stuff. I don't know why that's such a big deal if my, me and my boyfriend don't care. No, I, I think that the thing is, is that Instagram is to some degree a dating app and women are primarily the ones getting attention on Instagram, so you're basically, by hot take of the night, you're basically keeping your options open by having an Instagram if you're in a long-term relationship. If you're not- Especially if you're not posting your boyfriend, bare minimum. But what if you use that for, what if it, your social media is for work too? Mm -hmm. Is that how you procur procure most of your clients? Um, is through Instagram? What, what do you mean? Well, you say you're a stylist for Nordstrom. Mm -hmm. Is that the way in which you procure most of your clients? Well, I prefer to give them my Instagram to talk to them rather than um, giving them my phone number, my personal phone number. Okay. Um, so that's, that's, that's where I direct them to first, is Instagram. Are you monetized on Instagram? Mm -hmm. Would you call Instagram your portfolio? Um, your business portfolio, your professional portfolio? Not really, because I have like other, it's, I don't just do stuff for, on Instagram. Like, I do like Instagram posts on like social media. I'll give them, I'll give them content and stuff like that. And then they have like other things that go with that. Gotcha. Is that I guess what I just wanted to say in your defense? Uh, I feel like Instagram nowadays is used as like a business card. You know, nowadays you don't give out a printed business card. You give an Instagram, and especially for artists, having a big Instagram and like having like the type of Instagram that you have is actually quite essential just for business and But why career. exclude her boyfriend oh. even in business aspects? But I don't exclude him because I still post, it's oh. not like I'm not posting pictures of him. He's in every, every, every single time I go on a date, I take a picture with him in the picture. I think what people are saying is like, they'll go to your Instagram page and then they'll see all of these beautiful, you look beautiful in all of those pictures. Um, and then you're going to appear single, so it seems like if you're not doing it for the money, what are you possibly doing it for? Why are you having all of these beautiful pictures of you and none of your boyfriend like readily available? Yeah. Well, I just don't think it's that serious if you're not entertaining it. So, but what's the purpose, I guess? I can't post pictures of myself. It could right, be for right. someone's self, like if you see yourself in a different light, Maybe you're just trying, like you could really love yourself and just want to post you and people like that. Like people fall in love with people on the internet. <coughs> you know, they like. Black Socrates donated $99. That's magicopium. You don't post pictures of your boyfriend because you know it'll make men more likely to slide into your DMs, which in turn will make it more likely for you to rope them into business. Posting someone on a 24 hour story doesn't count. Bro, I would literally post a picture of my boyfriend right now, but like, 
There's do it. Do it. If your if your boyfriend bought mm -hmm. OnlyFans content every week from the same creator, would you consider that cheating? Mm, yeah, but my boyfriend would never do that. My boyfriend would never spend money on. But I'm saying, like, if somebody you know has like a online relationship with another creator, does that at some point become, you know? Yeah, I mean, that's like, weird. It's a little bit weird and stuff. Yeah, like that's that. That, that, that's weird. But I don't I don't do that. I don't I don't have relationships with these people that are DMing me. I don't even reply to them. Oh, you don't? Okay. Well. <clears throat> the most what? I'll do is tap, double tap the picture, like the picture. I mean, like the response. But what what do you gain from your Instagram? Not that you can't have one. Well, I, I, I hear you shake. I see you shaking your head because I don't mean it to be. Yeah, like because a, I mean. But I think it's funny also because you do social media too. Right, because I and you're single. Things, right, and I gain so. things from it. Like so, I'm trying to promote my YouTube content, and I am trying. So like for me, it's all 100 bit cent business. I'm trying to make money from it, and if I had a boyfriend, I don't. I could understand if it's a hundred percent business and I'm making money off having like simps give money to me. I can understand in that case why you wouldn't <laughs> post your boyfriend. But if I'm being honest with my fans and I had a boyfriend, I feel like an Instagram is really just kind of a story of your life, just like Facebook was. And you would want to include important people in your life, your friends, your boyfriend, yada, yada. Yeah. And mm. I do do that. <clears throat> okay. Like, yeah, I do do that. Like, everyone pretty much knows that, I, like, everyone important to me knows that I have a boyfriend. When guys hit on me at work, I tell them straight up, I have a boyfriend, and then they don't try again. Of course, well, sometimes they will try again, but then it's always just like, period, I have a boyfriend, I'm not, I know that I'm not going to do anything else with other guys, so. And he knows that as well, and he knows that I use social media as a way to keep connections. I don't like giving people my number. I never give people my number. So, into what the other, mic. Into the mic. What other um, what other way, what other better way to do it is from Instagram. Here, we're gonna pull up something that's kind of related to this. Then we're gonna get into the soup chats. Um, Eric, can you pull up the uh, Twitter page? Uh, you're gonna have to uh, control mouse wheel up. Okay. Yeah, that's good. So women run passive game. They don't approach men, but they put themselves in positions where they could be approached by men. They won't DM a man, but they'll post pictures to lure him into DMing them. Mainstream media doesn't want you to know this. Scroll down, Eric. Men are salesmen, women are marketers, but most guys are too naive and lack the capacity for nuanced thinking to be able to identify this distinction. In a committed relationship, a man should stop pitching and a woman, a woman should stop advertising. Fair proposition. But most men are fooled into believing that just because their woman isn't also initiating conversations with other men, then everything is good. She was never initiating conversations. That's now not how she operates. We utilize different strategies to get similar outcomes. You stopped talking to women and gave up your edge as a man, but she never stopped putting herself out there. That's why she already had a replacement for you after the breakup, because she never stopped marketing. She was generating leads the whole time. A lion and a rhino are about to fight, and the lion tells the rhino, take off your horn so that we can have a fair fight since I don't have a horn. The rhino foolishly agrees. Fight begins, and he gets torn to shreds by the lion because the lion used his teeth and claws. You're, fo you're the foolish lion, or excuse me, you're the foolish rhino. Women are the lion. A lion and a rhino are not the same, so they can't play by the same rules. If the rhino takes off his horn, then the lion will need to remove its teeth and claws. You both have to give up your edge to even the playing field. In regards to the situation with my ex, I know you may be thinking, so what if she was at the, gro oh, the I think this is related to something else. Um, okay, grocery store that's totally different from her intentionally walking into the lion's den, the club. This is a little different, but and, to, and just to further clarify what I told my ex, it was a euphemism, which basically was me saying that we'll both be single because if she's putting herself out there, in turn, I'll start talking to other girls, which means we're no longer in a committed relationship. Scroll down. That might be the, re the end of it. Yeah, so those first few tweets are kind of the, the crux of it, is that because you as women are getting initiated upon at the bar, at the club, on Instagram, you're keeping your options open. Whereas men don't really be getting DMs like that, and you're not even you're not posting your boyfriend, so, and maybe your boyfriend's fine with that, but you're generating leads while he's probably cut off all his options. Mm, well, his job I wouldn't say is like because 
I would say he has the same kind of job where he has to keep his he has to keep his Instagram um, the same way because he is always he's always talking to other people too. He has all he has connections to other people as well. So he uses Instagram as um, a way to connect with people to, as uh, the same way that I do. Okay, sure, sure, fair enough. I mean, maybe I should have asked this question before I gave that uh, read the, from that tweet. But would you think it's a red flag or an issue if a guy you were dating who wanted to be monogamous with you said, "I'm I'm." prepared to commit to you, but I don't want you going to the club anymore, I don't want you going to bars, and I, I, let's say he wants you to private your Instagram. Agree or disagree? That's fine. Hold on, let's go around the table, go ahead. When I'm in a relationship, I fully dedicate and devote myself, so if he thinks that that's the best decision for me, then I will listen to him. Wow, okay, not bad, what about you? Um, you can be honest. I think it really just like depends like if I want to have a girls night <clears throat> and actually like at least like keep them updated like what I'm doing like what time I'm coming back and like be like honest and truthful I think there's no problem with that but they like ask you to do something that's a little more like you know I agree with the fact that like the woman is a lion and the the man is what what was it a mm -hmm. rhino like, Don't worry about the but, rhino. But but you know what I mean. Shit. Like like that's part of like why a man would want you to go private on your Instagram and stuff like that though. So you're not advertising yourself like in a way. Okay. But I don't about like doing that. It's different though. What about like okay? L let's talk about clubs though. Clubs, bars, parties. Yeah. You want to be monogamous with your. You want commitment from your boyfriend. He says, "Cool, I don't want you going to bars and clubs anymore." Are you going along with that? You're saying you're not going to control me. I'm going to do what I want to do. No. Like, I'll let you know what I'm doing and where I'm at, but I'm not going to just just because you don't want me to go out. No. Here, we'll go around. Let, let's get everyone to okay, answer. Okay, yeah. um, so you, w you would still go out? Yeah. Okay. What about you? I would um, definitely still go out. I don't think that has anything to do with, like, if we're gonna start dating, I think trust is a big thing. And if you're saying that, it's probably because you can't trust somebody. Okay, I'll respond to that. I want everyone to answer first though, go ahead. Um, I think if I've gotten to that point where I really like mess with a guy. LeBron James, he's like, look, <laughs> I, I wanna be I monogamous would, with you, but. I wouldn't use you, you wouldn't. He's I too would, old for you? I would do like. <laughs> Not even Steph. Like anybody married, I, I'm cool Steph on it. Drake. Yeah, Drake. Um, Drake, what? <laughs> no, that's but okay. Yeah, it's not. It's not a fair scenario. Let's just say like some dude who's prepared to commit to you, and he says, "Look, I don't want you going to the bars and clubs right. anymore." Yeah, do you, I mean, do you if accept I'm, that, if or I'm do you say that point? I'm kicking it with him every day. I like him. We're texting, and like I'm dating him. Okay, like that's fine. Sure. I'm, um, what you want to go to the club together like if I want to go that bad I'll ask him yeah. but it's I, I'm not going to die if I don't go out Like, sure what about you yeah I would do it I don't care whatever he wants well with your current relationship do you uh, do you guys do you go out to bars clubs mm -hmm. with him by mm -hmm. yourself girls um, both I go I can go by myself and I go with him he doesn't mind no a lot of guys are well, cool he, with it he also he like he, he'll just like pick me up so he doesn't have a problem with that either. Oh, it stings. It hurts. Okay. Um, what about you? I barely exist on Instagram. So if my boyfriend was to prohibit me from using it, I would definitely raise how. Um, You'd raise how? Well, no, no, no. I would raise how um, like uh, controlling is he if when a girl mm. barely uses her Instagram posts once a year if he would want her to shut that down like I, I think it would be a controlling sign sure however i don't even like clubs so that's d totally down with that one sure what about you um i'm the same i don't like clubs and to the bars i can go with him the only thing is uh, that i think that sometimes pe people need their own space so girls need to go out with their friends at the same <laughs> guys need to go out with their friends but here comes but they can go out to the restaurants, for example, and okay. not to the clubs. So, yeah, as for Instagram, I don't care. I can make it private. And we chill most of the time out of my apartment, so I don't know what she's talking about, but. What about you? My Instagram's only public today so that I could be here. Okay. And, um, what about bars and clubs? Bars, 
I hate bars and clubs. Fair the enough. only time I ever go to the bars and clubs is because I'm like, maybe I'll meet a cute guy. Oh, and then I go home. No, no, I'm not. I'm going Bad to meet trash. Forex donated one hundred dollars. Thank you, man. Appreciate Men it. don't get mad. You are going out because they are insecure. They get upset because they aren't there to protect you in case something happens. It's because they love and care for you. Because men know some men SD8 dirt bags. Yeah, that's definitely not. 100% another component. Bads underscore EXE. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Go ahead. I, 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 I'd like to ask a question about uh, going to clubs. Why are there women who say they go to clubs only to dance and not be approached by men? Can we say it one more time? Why are there women who say they go to clubs only to dance and not be approached by men? Um, I think that's just being approached by men is just, that's being a part of it. You're going outside, like, it's not just, oh, I'm going to go dance, like, hopefully I get hit on. If I'm going outside, period, I'm probably going to get hit on. If I go to the gas station, I get hit on. Like, it's not necessarily, like, I'm going to go dance and get hit on. Do any, any other responses? or? Well, I agree. Women, I feel like uh, the, the thread that you were showing earlier, mm -hmm. like, women get hit on anywhere. You don't have to be right. on Instagram. Well, you don't have to be, like, anywhere. Well, it, there's a difference. For, oh, for sure, for sure. What, what I'm wondering is if women don't like being approached, mm -hmm. why not just go to gay clubs? Oh, we do. Yeah, but there do. are actually straight men pretending mm -hmm. to be gay in those clubs. Mm -hmm. Facts. Okay, but I mean, I'm just saying, like, wouldn't that put your boyfriend's mind at ease? Like, if you have to go out and have a girl's night then at least he doesn't have to work. It would be like, you know, if, if your boyfriend said, I'm going to go out to the strip club with all my guy friends, you know, you might have a problem I, with that. Actually, I mean, let's not sugarcoat it. Women go to clubs and bars to get attention from men. I, I do know no. women. Some, very few. Let's, I know let's some be honest. married women who go to gay clubs no, to dance. Definitely. Just well, I'm not talking about gay clubs anymore. Okay, in that, in that scenario, then. Or, or even just following up on this point, why are there women-only gyms and various safe spaces, but no women-only nightclubs? Would that even make sense? It would be cool Should we a start bit. one? That's a good idea. Yes. <laughs> I mean, isn't that the environment women complain about the most? Um, and they ha there are some like women-only clubs. But I mean, how would it make money? Who's who's women getting to the club for free? Who's <laughs> spending the money? True. The women who spend money at the bar, like. Unless it's yeah. a lesbian I mean, club, I don't see if the there's logic. There's nobody paying for drinks. Obviously, I know I'm at the pay, like. Right. So, I'm so can we conclude that women go to bar. clubs because they get attention from men? What do you mean? Can we conclude that's the purpose of women going to clubs is to get attention from men? I don't think it's the sole purpose, but it. But is then, can you understand why a, why a man might have a problem with his girlfriend going out and taking a girl's night? Of course, night? yeah, I understand. But <laughs> okay. It definitely feeds into it, though. Sure. Sure. Do you, do you guys think it's controlling if a guy didn't want his girlfriend going to a bar or club? No. Is it controlling? If she wants to do it every single day, then no, I don't think it's controlling because he's just trying to moderate her. But if, you know, it, if it, she goes once in two months, then it could be controlling. Is, is or like in once a year. Sorry. Uh, what is, is jealousy a turn on or a turn off for you? In other words, like, what is the difference between protecting your woman and being possessive? Is that a personal question? Yeah. Oh, or just, uh, you know, anyone who has an answer. Um, I think possessive is more like, or like controlling is more like, you can't do this, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. And then possessive is like, what are you doing? Who's going to be there? What time are you going to be back? Like, you know, asking questions about what you're, what you're doing rather than like telling you you can't do that. But I mean, is there good jealousy? Is there jealousy that um, kind of is a turn on? Well, I would say, yeah, because when my boyfriend asked me, like, oh, what are you doing? Like, where are you at? Like, who's there? Who are you with? Like, I like that because it's like you're, you're wondering, like, you know, you're thinking about what I'm doing. But then it's like he's not going to. But I, I wouldn't I would, I would not like if he told me, no, you can't do that. You can't you can't do this. You can't do that. But I would still just comply because that's my boyfriend. Mm. I would tell him I don't like it. But then I would just have to comply because that's my boyfriend. Well, that's part of Wait, qu question for you. So your current boy boyfriend, you've been dating him for a year and four months. If he just shifts all of a sudden after watching the show because he's like, oh, that's not a bad idea. He's like, listen, Gertrude. Kelly, right? Yeah. Kel it's Kelly, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Gertrude's your middle name. Sometimes you go by Gertrude, right? No. Agatha? No. Okay, never mind. <laughs> 
he's like, look, I don't want you going to the club anymore. And I want you, your Instagram to be private. Yes or no? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wait, but so going back to my question, does anyone here think, and it's okay if you do, do you think it's controlling or insecure if a guy doesn't want his girlfriend going to the club? Controlling or insecure? You can, it's okay to disagree. I think it just really depends on like what the reasoning is of it. The reason well, huh. they could do it for themselves, or they could do it out of like they're saying they just want you safe and they don't want you to go out because that can put you into a situation. I mean, I think the primary thing is they basically don't want you getting hit on and flirted with and approached by other men, primarily. I mean, there's a, some, I think a safety component is part of that, but I'd say the primary reason but is you're like kind of Walmart. keeping your options open by <laughs> going to these environments. Oh my Sessions God, good to see you, man. It's been a while, thank John you, man. John from It's Complicated. I wish I could shake that man's hand and buy him a beer. Excellent questions, content, but minus the cigar smoking lesbian and few others, the bobbleheads are the same across the board. Cheers to you and Brian. Hey, Zentians, thank you, man. Cheers. Do you have anything to say to thank you? you. Uh, he's, he's a longtime supporter of the show. Thank you, Zentians. Good to see you back, man. Thank you for stopping by the stream. Um, okay, let's move on from this. Let's do some super chats here. You never get the number. Oh, the rating one, yeah. All right, we have Stifler here. Ask the ladies to rate their looks on a scale of one to 10. You were about to answer this. Go ahead. I would say maybe a four or five. Stop the cap. Okay, come on, come on. No, that is, I have a lot of, I guess, past trauma due to my parents, so. Well, he's asking rate their looks. Right, my, my looks, yes. You, your self-assessment, okay. Yes. Well, I think you're, you're, uh, underselling yourself a little bit but what do you think it would take to make you a 10 like what would you want to improve about yourself or your looks just out of curiosity uh, there's a lot of things I dislike about myself so I mean I'm not sure but if I were to be able to change things I would mainly change maybe my face that's okay. all <laughs> you're so pretty yeah I think, I think, I, I, I you're, think you're beautiful so yeah. Thank you. okay um, but you, you mentioned I mean I don't know if you want to get into it I, but you mentioned past trauma um, how is that related to your physical appearance um well growing up my, I had a sister and she was the one more complimented than I was when we would go out or by I'd, your parents um by yeah by or my just parents other people and in general? all together and on top of that growing up I did get bullied for a little while I did look a lot different when I was younger mm. but to me I still see that little girl that I was and you know who people bullied have you have you had any plastic surgery? No, but okay. I, I have had um, something done with my chin because it was uneven and I fixed it. Okay, gotcha. Okay, um, got it. What about you? What do you um, rate yourself looks wise, one to 10? Probably like, like a five or like a six on like a good day, you know? Okay. You gotta stay humble. Sure. Eight. I would give myself a nine. Eight. Uh, could I withhold myself from answering? Unless you want to make it a discussion, which I would love to. But Unless I want what? Uh, if you want to make it a discussion, then... We can discuss. Okay. Let's discuss. Okay, why do you object to answering okay. the question first uh, off? I just think it so heavily depends. Like, if you were to ask, let's say, what do I think men in California would, on average, rate me, let's say... You know, that would be different from, from Smolensk, like, myself. Like well, your rating in Smolensk? Or over, like, another different places, for sure, yeah. Okay. Like, so uh, it just depends on the Siberia? area. Siberia? What's your rating in Siberia? <laughs> I would probably be on a higher upscale in Siberia than in L.A. Than in L.A.? Okay. What's your rating from 100 years ago? You know what I mean? It's like different time periods. The beauty standards have changed. The Renaissance. Well, so. There's the no, Renaissance. No, 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 no. There's the. the uh, okay, but it's not just about the time I can hop on the plane and be in the country where I like my status all of a sudden like drastically changes. Okay. Based on the way that I look right now, like two more I will be in another country. But what would you rate yourself? Right, but that's why I have the problem with this question. You know, like it's a very general question, but. Since you're asking on the look, like, yeah, it just so depends. I could be a two one day, and then the next day I could be a nine. 
How Sorry. about we drop Ooh. you? We're not going to put you in LA. We're going to drop you in in like Columbus, Ohio. Is that where you are? Yeah. Okay. I would say probably really? an eight, eight. Are you a nine in Columbus, Ohio? I'm a ten over here. Oh, ten in Ohio. Yeah. Okay, I see. I see. What's up? I'm probably going to be like an eight or a nine in Ohio. In Columbus, Ohio. Yeah. Okay. What about like Idaho? I don't know too much about Idaho, so I would not know. West Virginia? Would not know. It's a sliding scale. Louisiana? <laughs> What's it in Louisiana? No, even less of Nantucket. Louisiana. Nantucket. What about Nantucket? <laughs> okay, let's try Canada. What about Quebec? Um, Le Qu Quebecois? Again, also slightly Quebecois? on the higher than, let's say, in the life. Okay. Sure. All right, fair enough. Um, Moving on, what about you? What do you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? Well, for me, it depends on mood, because sometimes I also feel different, but I would say it's going to be like 7, sometimes 8. Sure. But for me, it's also important how I don't just feel like when I look at myself, but also I f what I feel inside, because it's very connected. Sure. So, yeah. Lauren De Laguna. Uh, Idaho 3, LA 7. Uh, wait, wait, wait. How, how, I don't know how is it... What? Yeah. So you're more attractive in LA are versus. Are you saying Idaho? Idahoans are? I don't know if that's the what right. What if you word. can't? Use are you seven? saying Idahoans are unattractive and that Los Angeles Hollyweird freaks mm. are attractive? No, dear but sir? there's there's definitely Middle more. America? That's a fair point. Models and like point. very attractive people in California <laughs> that I'm sure Idaho simply because there's more Sorry. people in California. So there's probably going to be more attractive people in California. And more homeless people. True, true, true. I'm not, I'm saying not like... You're hitting you, up those homeless you, women. Are you, are you comparing yourself <laughs> to homeless women? I'm seven in California, and then okay. the alcoholism. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. What about, your, you said you're moving to Florida, so w w mm, are you going to good Miami? Good point, good point. Miami's going to be tough. Uh, I'm looking at all, all parts of Florida, not really Miami, though, kind of. Fort uh, Lauderdale? Yes, yeah. And... Um, and Treasure Coast, Treasure Coast or Cove, I don't know. Uh, Jepson Beach, Jepson Beach, Jepson Beach. Jepson. I feel like I this question that. really isn't all that hard, but okay, you guys want to make it about geography. <laughs> what, what, what about like uh, your rating and fucking? Uh, it's more of a joke, but I'm trying to think of a like small European Wales. country. Luxembourg's pretty small. What's the one that's like super small? Is it Luxembourg? Cro Croatia. L L no, there's like a really small one. Liechtenstein. 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 The Vatican. The Vatican? Technically, it's <laughs> but in Liechtenstein, um, <laughs> girls are blonde and pretty tall because it's basically German-speaking country, and they all come from like mountains, I would say. So it's definitely not the country for you, Brian, to look for a girl. Because they're too tall? Yeah. Well, I heard the tallest people are in uh, the Netherlands. In Scandinavia. They tall, yeah, Netherlands Sweden. is like the so. tallest people, so. Which is unfortunate because I really like Amsterdam. Um, okay, moving on from that. Thank you guys for the lovely ratings. We have Ross Khan here. Hi, whatever. Hello, Lauren. Other panelists in chat. Hey, what's up, Ross Khan? Is that, has he got a mullet? Fuck Ross yeah. Khan, she. That's a she? That is a she. Yeah, there's some awesome um, videos. She is a content creator as well. Mm. She is named Ross. Ross Khan, yeah. Is Ross a I common Ross female Khan. name? No, I just know my. I just know my. I see my people. Okay. Chat. Well, I apologize for misgendering you, Ross Khan. I sure. You have a lovely mullet. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh my, Roman. Oh, this is. Uh, shit, I wish we got to this sooner. Sorry, <sighs> we're getting to this like two hours later. Uh, Romy, Cl wait. Do you know this girl? No. Why did you? I, I saw the comment earlier on the. He they wanted me to shift gears oh, in, the, in the car. Were you were you shifting or? No, because no, I saw it too late. <laughs> Shoot, hey, uh, I believe this is Roma Army. Um, sorry that we're finally getting to this now. Now simulate shifting gears manually. Thank you for the uh, big uh, three hundred Canadian <laughs> dollars. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for your uh, big super chat last show too. Really appreciate it. I don't know if you're still in the in the stream. I know you sent this like two hours ago. We're finally getting to the super chat. Sorry for the delay, guys. Um, we're going to try to, I th I'm pretty sure this is Roma Army, Chloe, uh, so we're going to try to get her on the show eventually. Um, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Do you want to show us the little shift? You didn't see it. Do you drive a stick? <laughs> no, but I know you like, there's a switch pedal, isn't there? Yeah, demonstrate. You, like, switch. Wait, can you make the noises too? <laughs> no. You were you were about to make the noise. 
<laughs> like the driving noise, I was just like, going to go. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's good enough. Wait, can we hear it? Like, like what I just did into the mic, though? <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm being cringe. I'm being cringe. You can do it if you want, though. Brian, what number are you? What do I rate myself as? Yeah. Like 6, 6.9 on a good day. Okay, do you feel like a lot of the times, not this panel, no one called themselves a 10, but I do feel like a lot of the times this show will bring in, like, kind of sevens or above, and then they call themselves tens, and we scoff at that. Sevens and above? You sure about that one? Most of the time. I don't know. Sometimes they'd be lower than sevens, claiming ten. But go ahead with your point. What's your, wait, 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 go ahead. I just, like, and we scoff and make fun of that. So just, like, what makes you a six? Like, what makes you the level of a six? Like Me personally? Like, yeah. my own self-assessment of my, are you wanting me to articulate yeah, like what makes you better than over 50% of men that are available and some? You're six. You're not just five. Well, You're I mean, six. I, and I could certainly be wrong. How I, I think uh, that's just my own self-assessment. I think I'm, I, and I'm not saying it to be cocky. I don't think I'm a 10, but if, if five is the average, I think I'm perhaps maybe slightly above average. Do you go to the gym? Do I go to the gym? Um, uh, I've been eating kind of shit, so I, I need to lose like 10 pounds. I got, got a little belly here, you know, so uh, how does, rocking a bit of a dad bod. But. How does the beard factor into that, that number? The beard? Yeah, the beard. <laughs> got to know. Into the number? Yeah. You know what? Isn't there some YouTuber who like does like face ratings, wheat waffles? Do you know? Oh, didn't you do something with wheat? Wait, I, I'm trying to think. I, I didn't, but I've, I've seen what you're talking you, about. You know like who I'm the, talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does like the face like breakdown. Yeah, like this, the fucking, this symmetry. The epicanthal folds. and sh or <laughs> What does he fucking talk about? He talks about like, he's, he's a good guy, but uh, I'm trying to think what he talks about. Um, I think it was like facial symmetry or bone structure or something like that. Or oh, you know. I, okay. So I'm, I, uh, I still, my, my hair isn't totally gone yet. So I, that, I guess that's good, for, at least for my age, I reckon. Uh, Blue eyes, got the baby blues, got the long eyelashes, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I don't, I, I don't think I'm an ex exceptionally good looking, but I think I'm, I'm, I'm decent. I'm okay. Okay. Yeah. I just, I big, don't know. Big nose probably, I, I got big nose, so that probably takes off, um, I don't know, a point or two. And then I'm pale, super pale. And uh, I've got, my hands kind of shake because I, I haven't eaten anything today, and uh, or I, I didn't eat much today, and uh, I have I have dainty hands. If I think if I had big muscular man hands that were thick and fat, it that'd be like an extra point five. But I got these gamer hands, you know, fucking you know my micro. What's that? You know how you get muscles though. Sex. The gym. Huh? The gym. <laughs> That's how you get the muscles. Yeah, but like some people yeah. just genetically. For example, my dad. He's a software engineer. Okay. He doesn't exercise, he doesn't lift. He's got fucking man hands, like big, fat, meaty, strong man hands, and I got these dainty, what? Okay. <laughs> I got these dainty gamer hands for like playing the piano and shit. Like I could bust out some Chopin, but I ain't about to like do nine hours of physical labor in the fields. So, okay, so my point of being is a lot of this show is scoffing at women who think that they are prettier than they are, and then I rarely see us turn it around on the men, and like, I'm sure you're, you're a nice guy and you have a great show, but I, I wouldn't say like... Can I give you the, the guy's version of that? Sure. The delusional women thinking they're a 10, the man version of that is men who declare themselves an alpha male. I think that that is comparable. They were asking about looks, though. Well, but well, I think Lauren, Lauren was about to say that I'm, I'm actually not a six, but go ahead, Lauren. No, that, yeah, that you got it. You got the point. You well, go ahead. Say it for I yourself. I finished it. I finished my thought. But well, you didn't because John came in, but go well, ahead. Okay. Thanks, John. You saved me. Saved by love, John. Go well. ahead. I finished my... Okay, my point being, I don't know if I would... Yes, I don't know if I'd qualify you as a six, and I do feel oh. like why would you scoff at women who are incorrect about their beauty? Like, I don't understand. What, what do you rate me, just out of curiosity? Oh, gosh. If I'm not a six, what do you, what do you? I mean, we could also ask the chat, too. Chat, do you guys want to rate me? Go ahead. Yes, let's let the chat. Let's you let want some... me to rate you? Yeah, what do you rate me? 
I think, okay, first of all, I think you're very kind, but we have to go based off just looks. Just right? looks. Like a four, three or four. Three or four. And what do you rate yourself? I said a three. You were a three? I, I don't think you were a three. I said three in Ohio, and I said a seven LA. Okay, just forget the fucking it's bullshit it's geographic geogra shit. Bullshit what geographic? do you rate yourself on a scale of one like to ten? Like a five or a six. Okay. You know what's funny is actually I would say, you know, there's, I don't know if any of you have seen this on TikTok. There's this app that like makes you like the male version of you. Mm -hmm. And it's something like if you wouldn't date, like, and often mm -hmm. you see girls doing this. If you wouldn't date the male version of you, your standards are too high. Yes, but that app, the face changing is literally, it's not even altering your features to make you look like a man. It's like a stencil app where it's just like applying another man's face over your face. So that app doesn't even actually turn you into the male version of yourself. It just turns you into some random guy. Because have you ever tried like the male filter on yourself? Because I know the female filter on myself doesn't make me just look like a more feminine woman. It looks makes me look like a different woman. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's not just mass. Let's ask the chat. Who's more attractive, me or what's Lauren? Yeah. Who's more tr physically attractive? Ooh, or are we looks equivalents? Because I was gonna say, just looking at you, I actually think there are some similar, to some degree, I mean. Are you Irish? Are you Irish? No, but I, I would say we're to some degree, I would, I would consider us. Brother, sister? No, no, I would say we're kind of, to some degree, comparable looks wise, mm. I think. Okay, interesting. But you, but you think you're more attractive than me, that's totally fine, fair enough. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not for everybody. So but, uh, is well, you know, hot. Sitting next to me, everyone looks better. <laughs> yeah, of course, chat. You know? Are we on? No, you're Tony Hawk. No, I'm Tony Hawk. I and love Tony, Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk. What would you rate Tony Hawk? Tony, Hawk, he was like a child. I loved He's like, like watching the skateboarding growing up. I was really into him. And then I also had the Tony Hawk um, video game thing that was like on my PS. So I just I love Tony Hawk. I, I, huge. There's a reason I don't show my face on camera. <laughs> No, I haven't been reading the chat, but what's the what's the chat been you go saying? Seven. It's been saying Brian. It's been saying Brian. Seven. Yeah. Brian. Yeah, your beautiful Brian man looks apparently. good. Brian's a ten. But okay, so your your original question is, and and so did you're. Did we even ask but, him what number he is? Did we even get into that, or did we just completely well, we can, skip I, over him? Like, do men not matter? Well, the the original question was ask the ladies to rate themselves on the look to, looks to ten. But if you want to try to deflect from where I'm about to go with this conversation, we can. Pass it to John really quick. If uh, mm. what do you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten? <coughs> well, I mean, if you want to whatever. delay, if you want to delay my rebuttal, but go ahead. I mean, wh what is Tony Hawk? I mean, we, Tony apparently Hawks. he's my he's my doppelganger. So I mean, you know. Do you have a skateboard on you? You know what? I I don't have a skateboard on me, but I would say, you know, above average. I would think. I mean, six, seven, something like that, possibly. But you know, I mean, I don't show my face on camera for a reason, you know. Okay, so, so you're, I think the difference is though, and your, I guess your qualm is, is because you think I've rated myself higher than w how you view me, I just, and and perhaps you're right. Perhaps I'm out of six. Hold on. donated ninety nine dollars. False equivalence there, lawyer. We don't scoff at women who this merely rate themselves inaccurately. We scoff at women who default to saying they're 9 or 10 purely based on this self-generated notion they have that they're inherently high value. Sure. So, I mean, let's give, by the way, Black Socrates, thank you for the uh, donation. Great. Appreciate it. So, I think there's a difference between someone being within the margin of error of a rating, so either plus or minus a point. So, perhaps I'm a 5, right? My self-assessment is a 6. I think that's within the margin of error. Now we're getting kind of, hold on, we're getting fucking a little nerdy with this shit. Hold on, with the fucking maths and shit. But uh, it, the difference is when a girl who's like a six or a seven, she thinks she's a 10. Mm. Because if a girl says she's a six and I think she's a five, I'm not like, I'm not calling that out. Mm -hmm. But if a girl who's a six sh says she's a 10, who says she's on par with the most beautiful women in the world, that's where I'm like, you're delusional. So I think there's a difference there. I think it's the degree, you know, if you're within, again, the margin of error, that's one thing, but if you're, we have below average women come on the podcast saying, I'm a 10. I'm on par with the most beautiful women in the world. I'm on par with lingerie models, runway models, magazine models, the most beautiful women in the world. That to me is delusional. That's where we scoff. 
I don't scoff at a girl who's a five who, who says she's a six. Go ahead. I, oh, sorry, hold on. Yeah. Bad Zoneless Corex donated $100. It's a scoff because a lot of women that come on have a self-inflated ego because of makeup, angles, lighting, and filters that thirsty simps in the DMs gas up, when in reality they are very mid or lower. If I said I was a 10, that's like, <laughs> bro. That's like me saying I'm on par with Brad Pitt when he was in his mid-twenties. And he's also been a fucking babe and like, he's still a fucking babe, but. T tens get modeling contracts. If you're a 10, why would you even wear makeup? I mean, I, I've done this uh, interview on the street before and uh, many women have said they're tens and I guess they conflate it with confidence. If I am super confident, then that makes me a 10. But then there's also a beauty standard. There's obviously, you know, just because I think I'm a billionaire, does that mean that my, you know, my, my bank account reflects that? You know what I mean? There's certain just things that have to back up what you're saying. But did, you, did you want to respond? Oh, go ahead. Um, no, I just wanted to say like maybe for someone uh, who really in love with her, she's a full 10, you know, and That's for him, she's 10 and she's better than all others because he's in love with her. That's beauty is in the eye of the beholder, yes. but that still doesn't disprove the fact that we do have certain uh, um, opportunities that come along with certain yeah, uh, levels of beauty. All right, in the chat, boys, for Brian. Okay, um, let's move on from that. Did you want to respond, Lauren, or? No, I mean, that, that really does make a lot of sense. Like, I, I get where you're coming from with the saying, okay, I'm a nine or a 10 and I'm in the, that difference. However, I do think that we could experience some nuance and recognize that we that at least few on this podcast do avoid asking the men that question and then also um you know what i already said also what oh did you want to come in oh no no oh, yeah did you finish yeah I'm okay done. uh i just wanted to point out um i think you're talking about almost like self-awareness because um like if a woman let's say she thinks she's a 10 She's actually a seven, but it doesn't even matter what, you know, just like she thinks not the reality. And then don't you think that the world, the reality will kind of slap her in her place at some point? Like she will realize that she is not as like old as she thinks she is. And if she doesn't realize that that's not so much like inflated ego, but I, at least I, I would view it more as um, not having self-reflection. Um. I mean, I, I definitely think, I think it's perhaps harder for women to have the self-awareness of their own physical attractiveness for a couple of reasons. One, if you look at, and some people really aren't active on social media, but for example, if you look at a lot of girls' Instagram profiles, their friends are in the comments gassing them up. Even like, let's be honest, even average, below average women, their friends are saying, you're a fucking slay queen, you're a babe, you're a hot. 10 out of 10, you're perfect, blah, blah, blah. So their own female friends, their own peers are gassing them up. Guys really don't do that to their male friends on social media mm. or in, I mean, some guys do, but like guys really aren't gassing them each other up in that same way. Guys typically are gonna like call out their friends more so like men and women kind of interact differently. Like men will bond by basically fucking roasting each other to death, whereas Whereas, uh, and then saying really nice things about them behind, like behind their backs, and then I think it's almost the reverse with women. Women will say really nice things to a girl to her face, and then talk mad shit about her behind her back. Not not all women here, but um, I, have, I, have, I have a question about this. Basically, do you, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Oh. has met two hundred and nine. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. One hundred dollars. This is my first time commenting. Not to sound like a simp, but the girl on the end with low self-esteem, please don't change a thing. You are the prettiest girl on the panel. And quick question, are you of Korean decent? Beautiful either way. Are you of Korean decent? Descent. <laughs> decent. Decent. Are you Korean decent? <laughs> no. Or I'm, indecent. I'm not of Korean descent. I am Latina, Dominican, and Cuban. Okay. Just uh, picking up on your point from before, do you think it's true that men will insult each other and not mean it, while women will compliment each other and not mean it. 
Oh, I, I believe a bunch of delusion is fed to women, yes. And I believe that women come across as like, they'll compliment a woman to try to be their friend, even if they don't mean that compliment. Mm -hmm. Do we still have Kelly's Instagram pulled up? Yep. Can we just pull it up really quick? But okay, but like. Well, and I'll come back to your point. I, I will respond. That, okay, that key. Let's pull, uh, go, go down, go down. Um, here, do the, the most recent one. Maybe the, I guess the pinned one. Let's see. Baby, stunning. How is this even possible? Yes, queen. Mm -hmm. Hot. You're such a hottie. Body, okay, fire look emoji, at that heart. Picture. She is hot. What? Granted, Kelly, you are very attractive. Yeah, go However, find an ugly girl and then try to show me that chat. Like, like this isn't a fair. She's hot. That should be the comment. Sure, sure. Granted, yes, Kelly's very attractive. Oh however, <laughs> however, however, like I've seen like th that same exact comment section. You can copy and paste it to like an average girl. Okay, like, okay. That girl that usually chicks. sits yeah. where Giselle is sitting. Uh, Kiko. Yo, pull up. Hold, who's that um, Kiko girl? Pull up Lizzo's. Pretty, right? Pull up Lizzo's uh, Instagram. Let's okay, but Kiko, that's not fair. Kiko, that's who's not here, she's she, she usually sits there. She's very pretty. What about her? And she calls herself a ten. And I just feel like it sucks because everyone's like, oh, oh, and it's like Holy she's pretty. Shit. Sorry. Did you guys see the spit? <laughs> just fucking. Oh lying. my god. Good times. You <laughs> touched <laughs> it. Why did you touch it? Got it. <laughs> Oh, don't. Don't you don't touch it. I'll clean it. Okay. okay, anyway. But everyone's just like scoffing and like spitting all over the microphone and everything. And like, oh my God, she's not, she's not a 10. And it's like. She's not though. Okay, but she's like an eight or a nine. Why are we losing? Go ahead, John. I, I have an appropriate question for this, I think. Okay. Is the pressure greater on men to be successful or on women to be beautiful? <laughs> sorry, sorry ahead, one more time, one more time. Is the pressure greater on men to be successful or on women to be beautiful? I think there's more pressure on men only because for women that's more of a choice if we like want to try to be beautiful, whereas a man he kind of like has to be successful to get anywhere in life. So the average man's salary in the U.S. is 40... Oh, oh sorry. sorry, hold on. Hello, underscore Joe, underscore 69, donated $101.69. Brian, you're a king. Respect to girl Thanks. in gray skirt for keeping her hands folded on the table. Good manners. Other smooth brains on panel can learn manners from her. Hashtag Christ, Christ is, is Lord. Lord. Uh, Slow Joe 69. Thank you for the $101.69. Much appreciated, my friend. Do you have a response to Slow Joe 69? Not really. Do I say thank you? I don't know if that's a compliment or not. I don't know. Thank you, I guess. Question mark. Okay. Um, so I was going to continue here. The average man's salary in the U.S. is $40,000. The average woman in the U.S. weighs 170 pounds. Why is there a fat acceptance movement for women, but mm -hmm. there's no broke acceptance movement for men? Um, I don't... <laughs> I don't believe that um, maybe the whole body positivity thing. I believe that we should be taking care of ourselves as best as we can. So I'm not sure why that happens, but I don't agree with it. But do you think that plays a role in overinflating a woman's self-awareness self or you know, perception? Delusion? D yes. Delusion, basically. yes. I do believe that it plays into why a lot of women are delusional. So... But, so then do you make an argument potentially that fat people don't know they're fat? Or like what delusion part, like what? I'm I, just not. I think, I think being fat is a bit different than just going off of like, I think fat people know that they are fat, right. but they don't do anything about it. Or and women and men, they're a bit different, right? I'm sure men get a lot of pressure to work out and everything like that. Whereas women don't get as much pressure, like I guess society puts that pressure on them, but there is a lot of like, oh, it's my body. Like I should be happy because it's my body mm -hmm. instead of forcing them to like more so actually take mm -hmm. care of themselves. Like they're told that they're stunning, beautiful at any Right, size. without working out. Whereas a guy will mainly only get compliments if he does work out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a double standard. That's, yeah. yeah, yeah, it is. There are a lot of double standards out there, yes, for sure. Yes, there is. Mm. Really quick on the rating thing, just to kind of address your point. Um, and so can you just quickly paraphrase what your original question was in terms of 
self-awareness when it comes to rating? Well, yeah, so I guess my um, hypothesis is that uh, an average person, if they're not like what they think they are, um, reality will come in and let you know at a certain point, like slap you in the face. <laughs> um, and if you are unable to see that reality, if you're unable to see those slaps, then you're just not self-aware. And if you are able to see them, then you like eventually start wondering, okay, maybe it is me. And then, you know, you Yo, AB Check, big thank you for the uh, 20 gifted memberships. Thank you so much, man, appreciate it. Go ahead. So it just seems to me that women that think that they are a 10 and will keep struggling in life because they will never, you know, understand the reality are, are not self-aware women rather than like... Yeah, I, I understand. I think I understand your question. I mean, my response to that is, I mean, I... I Women are certainly capable of self-awareness. I think, however, where women get into trouble and where a lot of them don't receive the so-called slap in the face is that women can sleep with men that are more attractive than them, who are higher status than them, who either, so, who are it's basically higher pergamy, so who either socioeconomically are higher, so that could be status, it could be money, or it could also be looks. And here's why, because men welcome the easy access, Flan Life, thank you for the 10 gifted. Women welcome the easy access, excuse me, women welcome the easy access, wait, sorry, getting, am I having a stroke? Um, <laughs> men <laughs> welcome, yeah, I got it, I got tongue twisted. Men welcome the easy access to sex. So a guy who, let's say, and look, in common, like obviously we're having an intellectual conversation here and like common conversation, I'm not like, referring to people's as tens and sevens, but because we're trying to like get to the truth of things, I am trying to have like a rather, to some degree, shallow or superficial approach to this, but for conversation's sake, it's very easy to say, she, looks wise, she's a six. Looks wise, he's a seven, whatever it may be. So a girl who's a six could sleep with a dude who's a nine because he's like easy access to sex, cool, but he's never gonna give her commitment. So that's, I, I think women don't really get the slap in the face because it's pretty easy for women, and let me just finish my point and I'll have you come in, John. Okay, sorry. Women can sleep with men that on pretty much all levels are more attractive than them, whether, again, that's status, wealth, or looks, or even personality. A lot of women want a guy who's funny, charismatic, confident, all these things, even if they don't have those same qualities. So basically what you have happening is women are gonna, <laughs> hold on. Spencer, thank you, man. Donated one hundred dollars. Body counts, including the men. We'll talk. We'll, we'll we'll get to body count. Thank you, man. Spencer, appreciate it. So, here's the difference, right? A guy will gladly sleep with, hook up with, keep a girl around for. That's this is basically what situationships are, um, casual sex, right? With a girl who's less physically attractive than him because he welcomes the easy access to sex, he'll never commit to her, she'll never be his boyfriend, she'll never get the ring. Look, it happens occasionally, let me just finish my point. And so, here's the difference. A guy will sleep with a woman who's not as attractive as he is and he'll never commit to her. But for women to sleep with a guy, he needs to be at least, at he. For a woman to be able to sleep with a guy, he needs to be at least good looking enough to be considered for a relationship. He has to be at least attractive enough that she would be in a relationship with him, but the same is not the case for men. Men will sleep with women of a certain physical attractiveness that they would never commit to. Mm -hmm. They just welcome the easy access to sex. So women can sleep with these guys who are really high status, who are really good looking, and they might, they'll never get commitment, so they think, if I can get a guy who is a nine, thus I must too be a nine, because for me, for me to be able to do that, he has to be like, on my, he has to be good looking enough for me to commit to him. But it, men and women, we don't play by the same rules, so, like, yeah. I actually absolutely agree with everything you've said. Uh, the, the part where I would just kind of like rile back. Uh, so the moment you even said it yourself, the man will not be dating that woman. He will have sex with her, right? But we also know that women prefer 
relationships. They don't prefer sleeping around. Uh, now, we could, of course, go into the argument that that might be different and now we're in the age. However, what I'm trying to say is that woman that the guy had sex with, she will, mu- she will want to have a relationship with that guy. Mm-hmm. He will not give her the relationship. And that's the slap that she will get. Like, she will think to herself that, oh, I can get this guy. We must be on the same level. But the guy, potentially, when she'll be going for the relationship, he will let her know, like, dude, we can have sex, but you're not on the level. I think some, some, perhaps a few women will make that connection, but I think there's going to be a lack of accountability and they're going to, instead of being like, mm, I was sleeping with a guy outside of my league, I was sleep, sleeping with a guy with way too much status compared to where I'm at in life, they're going to say, he's a fuck boy. They're not going to say, I'm just not that attractive. So I, I think some women might get the slap and, and you're right that women get rejected on the back end. So men get rejected on the front mm-hmm. end. Like we go up instantly. The girl's like, no. Women tend to, women don't really get rejected typically on the front end. Like, cause women really aren't the initiators like that. Women are the selectors. So they're gonna pick. Um, Sal, the text thank you, man. $100. Intelligence and humility are what makes a person attractive. I've seen tens be fours and fours be tens. Let's save the planet. Let's plant more trees. Once again, thank you, Brian, thank you. for the amazing content. Your guest is a legend. Much love from Houston, Texas. Thank you, man. Really appreciate it. Um, yo, Vi- Ville Rontala? Viol? Thank you for the 10 gifted memberships. Appreciate it. Did you? Uh, I just wanted to add, though, that the lack of self-reflection is due because of the delusion that has been implemented in them. It's going to be harder for them to reflect when that delusion has been food, you know, spoon-fed to them. I totally, I 100% agree with what you're saying. And uh, uh, Ryan, like, uh, um, to your point, I see what you're saying. I, and I will, like my point to your, both you guys, is gonna be like, yeah, self-awareness is one of the largest humanity problems nowadays. I don't think it's just women, I don't think it's just men, but I do think that that is one of the key issues of a lot of like dating relationships, relationships in general, is that like lack of self-awareness. Can, can I pick up on that self-awareness for a minute? Okay, question for the ladies. A man has two women, li- <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Martin related 101 Good to see you, Mark Quavius. Thank you. This tiny Latina, you seem uncomfortable with compliments, which in itself is delightful. Let's make it simple. You're attractive, polite, demure, articulate, based. You are the standard men should be seeking. Brian, make a move or I'll be very disappointed. <laughs> you know what? That ring didn't fit, but... <laughs> oh, here, hold you on. Want me to try that. One. Yeah, try this one. Oh my! Oh my God! Jesus Christ! You should say no just because he can't throw. That was a great he... throw, <laughs> bro. Get it together. Hello. Your hands are too powerful. I was, I was aiming for her head. By you have the these way. powerful hands. You clearly played video games and not sports in high school, Brian. Look, it, was, it was an underhanded softball throw. Oh, okay, <laughs> screwed it up. No, it's still too big. Oh my God! Four eleven hands. Wait, okay. I, no, if oh, I move. Rip. Oh, oh Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. You tried. Attempted. All right, Marquavius. Um. <laughs> oh all right, we'll just leave it there for the rest of the show. Thank you, man. Um, appreciate it. Um, oh, I just wanted, you, I, yeah, I, yeah, I just wanted ahead, to finish ahead. this one question, get, get the ladies' yeah. input on this. Okay, a man has two women. He lies to one. He tells the truth to the other. Which one does he love? Truth. The one he's lying to. Yeah. Yeah. No. The See, one this he's is, lying to. This is the one he's telling the truth to is like has to be a side because like if mm-hmm. he's lying to his main person, he's gonna like tell the side chick like what what's up so that way he she's not like ratting him out in the tough way if you know what I mean. Um, I think like. <laughs> Is he protecting her or is he yeah, feeding like, her delusion? Well, the one that he's lying is trying to per se protect her, but like the one that he's not lying to is the one that he just doesn't want to get like a feeling feelings attached and stuff like that, you know? Because it's more like a side piece. Mm-hmm. I, feel I feel like a man is going to lie to a woman that he loves because he's going to want to try to keep her. If he's cheating on her, he's not going to he's not going to straight up tell her I'm cheating on you because she's going to leave. Mm-hmm. So it's like 
you're gonna tell, but you're gonna tell the truth to your side. You're gonna, men are gonna tell the side bitch, you're the side bitch. You're yeah. gonna, they're gonna say, they're gonna tell you, I have a girlfriend, you know you're the side bitch. Should, so. should a woman get mad about cheating if she's already a side bitch? No. If she's the side bitch, if, she, if, she if get she's mad? already a side piece, should she get mad about cheating? No, because you chose to be the side bitch. Once yeah. a cheater, always a cheater is what I've always heard. That's, so yeah, if he cheats on his his woman to be with you, why would you be surprised if he cheats on you to be with some other woman? You shouldn't, you be. shouldn't be surprised. So it's, yeah. Oh, actually, another question I have about cheating as well. Um, what do you find more intimate, having a deep conversation or having sex? Deep conversation. Deep conversation. Why is it that? Cheating is usually more about having sex than having a deep conversation with a stranger. Well, I would, disagree. I would actually disagree with this uh, because sometimes I feel like that sex is just uh, how she was talking about that men are animals and they sometimes kind of like need it. But when it gets to emotional part, when they have really connection through the deep dialogue or through the things they're sharing or something like this, then it's then it's, I mean, both things are cheating. Don't understand me wrong. It just hurts like, more. Yeah, it's exactly. Emotional. Well, it's, it's like you hear about how men and women are judged differently on, on cheating. It's, mm -hmm. it's often said that uh, women are more likely to forgive cheating than men because when men cheat, it's usually for sexual gratification. Women are more likely to cheat with feelings, so men take it up as more of, of a betrayal. So I'm just saying it's like there's emotional cheating and then there's physical cheating, apparently. So, you know, I, I guess emotional cheating that's hurts, that's hurts more. That's definitely true. Oh, yeah, emotional cheating does hurt more. It's like how you let somebody else, like you had a conversation with somebody else, that's a conversation that, you know, that me and you should have been having. It's like why would you let somebody else feel this, the same way? Like, like I said, I've said before, like why you're letting, you're treating someone else the same way that you're supposed to be treating me. Mm -hmm. And it's like when it comes down to it, if that's the side bitch, she shouldn't be getting that same treatment. Mm -hmm. Does um, dick size matter? And if so, has it affected past relationships as if they dated strictly for the size of their partner? Mm. Yes, it matters. It cannot be too big. Yeah, <laughs> I agree on that. <laughs> it does matter. It can't be too big. I didn't, say, I didn't say that. I think, <laughs> I think it just really depends on like um, how a person knows like how to use it because like if they're just like no good and they don't have like you know like a good size like you know then no. Yeah. But like you can have like you can have like a small you can have like a small penis and know what you're doing and satisfy your lady and you can have a big one and still know what you're doing. It just r matters about if they know what they're doing with it, you know? Right. Why it the fuck did I come back it's to? It's not wait. about the size wait. of the foe, it's the motion of the ocean. Wh yeah. Why is there so much focus on the size of a man as opposed to the tightness of a woman? Well, I think, oh, like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, like, a woman is going to, like, naturally go back to its regular size. A man can't change their size, I don't think. Can they? Have, but what if their regular size is I mean, quite can, like, cavernous, <laughs> as uh, cavernous, Brian likes to say? Cavernous. What do you mean? Or like like if a, a cavern. Woman is, if a woman is naturally just a gaping hole. Like if does that's that, her natural does, 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 does Wait, that here's a perfect happen? segue. Does a woman's body count affect oh. her tightness? No, not. no, 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 because a woman, uh, women will go back to, there's like, let's say I just hopped on Big John's last <laughs> night, right? Um, that's me. And like John. three days <laughs> later, <laughs> I'm like chilling. It's going to, it's literally, go, it goes back to the same size. I mean, I don't know. I didn't even know women could stay like a Well, you've size. heard of the Kegel exercise, but women also can push out a baby and it, apparently it'll go back yeah right. i mean right. it's, yeah. it's not like you stretched out for life just because you had sex with somebody that's bigger like that's not yeah the case. i don't think yeah. it works like, that way it, and no, the, it don't. the other thing i hear is some people think that if a woman has a high body count that the labia gets bigger too hmm? that I mean, ain't true that ain't I, true that makes I know. no biological that sense make, right huh? like, that makes no it biological a, sense a virgin could have look i don't like these terms but they're used there, there's terms like roast, roast beef, beef curtains, which I'm against. I'm a fan of Audis. Just want to say, women, they have, they have. We, you guys were speaking about penis size. Women have preferences when it comes to men's genitalia. I happen to have a preference when it comes to women's genitalia. Hmm. What? Yeah, that's right. I like large labia. What's up? Deal with it. Okay. 
if y'all can like tall dudes, I can like dwarves. Deal with it, Miss oh. NBA Dater. I'm gonna bring that up. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, by the way, I, I, I found like a, a ketchup packet. How much for someone to down this ketchup packet what? for a soup chat? What's that? It's what? Heinz. Heinz ketchup. Well, it's Heinz. We don't want to support them. What if it's Hunts? Is Hunts better? Hunts is anyone ketchup? down to shoot this Heinz ketchup packet? Here, for catch. Oh my god, that's such a bad throw. For what? Gamer hands, by the way. Well, we should catch can, can you just like shoot it right now? Would you eat it? You want me to suck on it? What the fuck? No. Just like. <laughs> That's what she said. No, no. But, like, just, just like eat it. it a little don't bit. suck, don't suck bro. You guys don't have to make it like so sexual. Just eat the <laughs> eat it. It's not. It's an just innocent. Just eat it. Don't make it sexual. Don't just eat it. Just, just put it, it in your mouth. No, don't like, think about it. Just it. put it in your mouth. I can't pour it. Are you actually down to do this on stream? For a donation. Oh, for a donation. Okay. I gotta help you out. Wait, Martin, Marquavius. Wait, for a good Eric. cause. Question. Does she get a portion of that dono, whatever it may be? I have some like three days old cake that you can have in as compensation. You want to give me cake for eating a ketchup packet? That seems comp, that seems commensurate, Sold. right? That seems fair. How ketchup much for the so ketchup sugar packet? Sugar. I don't know, it's probably like five cents or something. Nope. How much for the donation for the, oh, so I do it. What's fair? What do you guys think is fair? 500? For it. <laughs> Just fucking shoot the ketchup. Can we start the bidding? Can we start the bidding? If anybody else wants to get on this, I have a second one too. So, oh. Kelly, I'm looking at you. I oh my god! I, I Jesus actually, Christ! Like, I can't. I throw. love food. Like I, I have no. Like I'm not picky at all. But I will not eat ketchup. Just like straight like, up from at the all. Package. Like eat the ketchup. I already. Mark donated one hundred dollars. <laughs> Eat the ketchup I already three hundred dollars anyways. Let's do let's do a three hundred dollar donation, yeah? Okay. Would you do it for three hundred? Yeah. To, it goes into my pocket, but you're just like a fucking legend helping <laughs> sure. me out. Because yeah. like I'm a I'm a broke college student trying he to He could it. pay you back by getting you a drink after sometime. <laughs> oh wing woman over here. Okay. <laughs> um really quick, Eric, do you recall last stream? I feel really bad about this. It might have been Marquavius. Do you recall someone at the table last stream was stepped away and a super chat was directed at them? It was a TTS, it came in, but she wasn't even there and I said, I'll pull it back up when she's here. And I don't, do you remember that, Eric? Uh, yeah, I think so. It was from last stream. Do you remember if I pulled it up or uh, again? I, I don't remember. It might have been Martin, so whoever that was last stream, it just occurred to me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my God. The chat is on fire. High body count and a long history of being single equals not a prize. It's just the way men view it. It's one of our very few double standards. If you have been ran through and not wiped up, it's just a red flag for men. Word. Oh, wait. Um, thank you, Bads underscore EXE. Appreciate it, man. Uh, we'll talk about body count here in just, in just a sec here. Um, really last quick thing on the whole 10 thing and getting slapped in the face I think you were talking about. Um, in terms of women being able to date across and up socioeconomic hierarchies, um, you're 19, correct? Yeah. Wait, closer to the mic. Yes. You're 19. You're a travel phlebotomist. Yeah. Correct? How, what is that? $18 an hour? It's 21. $21 an hour. Mm -hmm. You are dating, you're dating NBA players, NFL players. It sounds like you're dating multiple of them. Mm -hmm. They're flying you across the country. Um, you're an attractive girl, right? But you're 19 and you're making $21 an hour. Right. You are moving in circles. You are moving in the most elite group of men that there is. Right. High status, physically attractive, athletes, desired by many women. Yeah. Um, what else? Did I say wealthy? I don't know. Um, that is quite a socioeconomic. It's a big jump. Difference. Um, SoCal surfer. Uh, thank you for the hundred. Same for girls. Some girls have huge vaginas. I've been with plenty, and it's kind of messed up to judge someone on their parts. Some girls are tighter, shallower, etc. The girls who are better at at sex know how to blank. Same like guys, etc. Some girls are tighter, shallower. The girls who are better at sex know how to, f I mean, the girls who are better at sex know how to, oh, okay. Um, 
I've been with plenty. It's kind of messed up to judge someone on. Oh, word. I agree. Yo, is this I th SoCal Surfer 805? Do you have curly hair? Blonde curly hair? Do we? Is that, you know who I'm talking about? First name starts, starts with a D. I'm not going to. I'm not going to dox you, but uh, thank you very much for the uh, super chat. Um, much appreciated. I just, so 805 is the area code for Santa Barbara, so it might be somebody, I'm from Santa Barbara, so it might be somebody I know. Um, where was I going with it? Okay, so you're, you got, you're dating NBA players and shit. Um, obviously, men and women are, want different things, but the circles you're moving in, there's not like 18, 19 year old dudes who are like getting flown out who are getting comped trips, who are like getting attention from like really, really, really high status women. Right. It's just not happening. I mean, and part of that just comes down to the differences between men and women. We both tend to value different things in people for whether it's short term or long term relationships. But, um, you know, that kind of plays into your point about, you know, women are able to, and it's, I mean, it doesn't sound like any of them are trying to wife you up at this point yet yeah, maybe maybe they are i don't know i mean they just want to fuck let's be honest yeah that's just what but you're we, fine with it right it, like, you're just kicking it i mean getting, i'm not over here like oh i need to be in a relationship i'm trying to be like wiped up i understand if that's what i wanted but i'm smart enough to know where i can go and look for that i'm not gonna go to no nba player and be like okay i need a ring i need the house i need all this like i'm not well you're to some degree i mean are you, you're kind of living your best life. Right. You're, you're moving in circles and getting attention from the top tier of men, mm -hmm. from athletes who I presume are in incredible shape, physically attractive, really tall, making good money, high status, playing professional, um, pro professional basketball, right. which I, I think is probably maybe the number second sport after football? No, it's the, it's the it, highest paying sport. It's the highest paying it's sport. It's the highest paying sport. Okay. I don't know if it's, is it more popular than football though? It might be higher paying, but it, I, I don't know if it's- I think football's second, but when I recently checked, it was, it was the highest paying. Well, sport. in any case, you're basically- <laughs> Oh my God, Spencer Park donated, Spencer okay. Spencer Park donated $200. Eat the ketchup. We said three. Yeah, but he, 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 he sent a hundred. He said a hundred before. <laughs> Oh, what do you, bro? Is that how you open a ketchup? No. You scuffed it. I tried. I tried. Wait, show it to the camera turning. so they see how messed up you did it. I tried it. turning it. <laughs> You're supposed to rip the little, the corner. Listen, I'm bad at it. It's like opening up a condom. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> what? I can't believe she's doing it. Yo, let's hold it up to the camera. Is it good? Oh my, bro, this chick is. I'm wow. Okay, spit or swallow. Oh, <laughs> Always swallow. Have you seen that? Going back to the, the vagina thing. Mm. Have you seen that curb your enthusiasm thing where it's like, you know, you know when women go like this, you know this thing, when women do this thing. Yeah. For a guy who's small. Yeah. How do you know, it's not. What do you mean? How do you, you know mean? it's not? Like if the well, woman has a bad vagina. Cavernous. Really. I think guys need to start. <laughs> I think it Women do this. Like Guys, gotta start. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can I okay. can I bounce something off of? Cause she said. Uh, sorry, I can't look at you. Wait, but one, one okay. thing. Yo, W's in the chat for Giselle for fucking being a a legend for being a champion. For could, Brian could have opened it for her like a gentleman. I apologize. I, that was not very gentlemanly <laughs> of me. Uh, let's get some W's in the chat. She actually fucking pounded a. <laughs> a Heinz ketchup packet on stream, first ever, by the way. That's, that's like a, uh, that's quite a milestone in this podcast's sordid history. Okay. Clip it. Clip it, guys. <laughs> Clip it and ship it. Okay. Um, what, a, what a G. Okay, she go ahead. said she wanted to become a wife, right? I'm sorry, I can't look. Is that correct? Did I say uh, that? You, you can like look. You wanted, to be wife, you wanted to be wifed up. When did I say that? Is that what you said is what I'm no. asking? No, so I said, I'm not out here like wanting to be wiped up. Like, I'm just vibing right now. Like, that's just not at the tip of my mind. Like, I'm not where I want to be in life. So, 
I'm not better be like, okay, I'm trying to get married. Like, but it's just not off the top of my head right now. If you're not where you want to be at life, wouldn't it be better for you to focus on trying to get there than hooking up with a bunch of random people? Well, what I do in my time um, is my business. Um, so. Well, how, do you, um, how do you plan to keep men interested in you once your looks begin to fade? Um, I think... I'm just going to have to figure that out once my looks begin to fade. But I don't plan on just, like, sleeping around and hooking up with whoever forever. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm just young and turn, and I'm just living my life right now. Mm -hmm. Are you worried that's going to affect your future options, especially, like, with this chat and seeing all the men yeah, so in here and, like, just the culture that this has, that all of these men? It definitely, like, crosses my mind. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I don't care. I do care about it, like, you know, how is my future husband, if I do ever get to that point, going to think, like, how's he going to feel? So, obviously, I feel like I could be a lot worse, but well, I'm not at that point yet. I, I want to address one thing with this, and um, this sort of almost ties into what you were saying about, and what I was saying about how women are able to secure sexual attention from men that are higher than them in terms of socioeconomic status. Um, if you don't, if you don't marry or have a long-term relationship with one of these NBA players, I honestly think you're going to be really unhappy in a future relationship because mm. you've, bec you, you are now accustomed to a certain caliber of man, right. NBA player, tall, good looking, wealthy. Good, uh, high social status, mm -hmm. successful, etc. And then there's a certain confidence that comes with being a professional athlete. Mm -hmm. Like, just in ter okay, I mean, from from we can approach that from a sexual a sexual angle. We can approach it from just personality, all all the components, right? The whole package. Do you think the guy that you're going to marry is going to be an NBA player? It could, it could be, right. it could be, right. but if you don't, you've basically, and I'm sort of repeating myself, you've become so accustomed mm -hmm. to these really attractive, right. like really high, high status dudes, right. the normal, a yeah. travel phlebotomist right. isn't appealing to you anymore from a status point of view. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, like I said, I still do fuck with like regular guys. Like, it's not like I'm strictly NBA players. Yes. You have four NBA yes, players I'm right saying, now. Yes, I'm saying I'm saying that's my type. Okay, I your fuck type with is them. NBA player. Yeah, go yeah, ahead. Go ahead. ahead. I, I believe um, we, we call that alpha widowed. Mm. Um, how much money does a man have to make for you to fuck with him? Good question. Um, Thank you, Kelly. I would say for like a yearly or like monthly. A, like a year salary. Both. How about yeah. both? Okay. Both. Probably at least like a hundred thousand a year. Hundred thousand. Yeah. Hundred thousand a year. Okay. So, um, and, but you're 19, right? Mm -hmm. How many men your age do you are you have any interest in men your age? I mean, yeah, the last dude I was just messing with who's about to be drafted, he's 19 too. So, okay, but I'm talking like normal guys. Normal guys your age are not making a hundred thousand mm dollars -hmm. a year, they're not even making it, they're maybe in college or some shit, right? Um, Lauren, did you want to say something? Oh, I'm just checking out Ruse chat. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're... Go ahead. What did they say? Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so, okay, minim, bare minimum for you mm -hmm. in terms of financials is $100,000 a year. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. The, I mean, actually, have you ever made $100,000 in one year? No. I think, like, the statistic <laughs> is, like, only 17% of men in the United States make over 100000 I think it's mm -hmm. less. Isn't it less than 10%? Shall we look it up? Just I think it's less than 10% of men make, maybe, is it 50, it's maybe 10 or 15. Um, Eric, are you looking at Most of them are in their like 75, like 80s years old. I think old? the average is like 40,000. Do you know this, John? Is it like yeah, 40,000 for average income for a man in the but, US? Yeah, I believe it was 40, but it might have been a little bit more. 45, something, something like, like that, that yeah. yeah. Would you date a guy's 45,000? Yeah. Yeah. Um, 11% of women, no, 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 no. No, well, men. Men. 21%. 21% of men yeah. make 100, mm, 
That does not sound right. CNBC. Can that's you change the question? The so <laughs> Go to Wikipedia. CNBC. Wikipedia is also fake news. Wikipedia, what? Wikipedia, anybody Wikipedia can is so liberal, too. Also, the people who run it. Can you Wikipedia. go to that first question right there? Anyone can submit it. Submit it. So the people who also who ask. run it okay. will actually lock pages. What, and write yeah, what percentage of men make over 100K? 17%. Okay. Oh, that's all right. Really? Yeah, I th obviously it's going to change. Mm -hmm. But what about California exactly? That's for counting example. like dudes in their 60s. That's like counting that. everyone, <laughs> yes. Yeah. But then it's like only 17%. Let's do the delusion calculator. Eric, can you pull up the del delusion <laughs> calculator? Go ahead. It, it, it's a tab. It's one of the favorited tabs. I think it's calculator or something. What was the question yeah, I had about this? Uh, here, we're gonna, we'll fill this out really quick for you and any, any other girls who want to do it, we can do it for you too. Uh, so what, what are the chances of, to find the men of my dreams? Um, ideal age for you, like age range for a guy? I Into the mic. That works for me, yeah. 20 to 40? 20 to 40 yeah, that works. Exclude married? <laughs> you don't care if they're married? I, mean, I thought you said no Steph not. Curry, no I'd LeBron. Not. Marriage is kind of a Wait, into the mic, into the mic. I said I'd rather not if they're married. Okay, so uh, exclude married race. Do you have a preference? No. Okay, uh, minimum height? Let's do 5'8". Five 5'8", eight. Five eight? okay, fair. Uh, oh, Eric, scuffed. Exclude obese men. <laughs> um, no, I would fuck with a bigger dude. You'd fuck with an obese yeah, dude? Yeah, like if he's tall, not nobody like... Not nobody Short like, thick. yeah, <laughs> like stubby, but like say like he got a little, he got a little muscle to him. I don't care. Alignment, in other words. Yeah, like I don't mind. All right, fine. Um, Proportional. Minimum income, put it at 100K. Okay, find out. Might not be terrible, but. Okay, that's 2.5%. What is this even rating at? It's like delusion calculator. Like, what do you mean? Like, that's your that ideal man. I think it's the chances of you finding that ideal man. So, 2.5% of men between the ages of 20 to 40 who are 5'8 and above mm -hmm. who make 100K or more. So, you get three out of five cat packs. Yeah. <laughs> but to be it fair. didn't put in any of her information, like how right, hot it just, she it's just is, like, like how is their information. She is. Well, but this is just pointing out the the proportion of men that, uh, that meet are even out those there. Those yeah, standards. Are, right. So, who's more delusional, the average woman holding out for the rich alpha male, or the average woman holding out for the lingerie model? Wait, wait you mean the average uh, man the holding out for the lingerie? One more time. Who who do you think is more delusional, the average woman holding out for the rich alpha male? which we just saw in that delusion calculator, or the average woman, or sorry, the average, the average uh, man holding out for the lingerie model. Sorry, I screwed it up. A woman expecting, like, waiting for that man is way more delusional. Mm. But How many lingerie models are there out there? I'm just saying, like, when you say, like, you really, do you literally mean lingerie model, or are you just speaking well, about beauty? Well, what I'm saying is that the, the average man can work on himself right. and probably eventually get to a status where he's going to attract all the lingerie women. Right. But the average woman holding out for the rich alpha male, we see how, you know, few, based on that delusion calculator, how rare they are. That's, yes, because so, alpha, alpha males are more... Are more more successful. Rare. They're yes. more successful. They're more rare. It's, that's that's why I said in the beginning that men are the prize because there are way more, there are way less successful high value men than there are beautiful women. And, and throughout history, the most powerful men have usually had multiple the, women. Yes. So going back to our idea of monogamy, would you say that polyamory is almost like where we're headed based on the delusional expectations of women? Um, I wouldn't say that's where we're heading, um, but. Yes, that does play into the delusion of women nowadays, for sure. With the society heading towards polyamory, you were talking about, like for instance, with dating apps, almost all women date the same, like five to ten percent of men. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're referring to? And well, you, not you're not that. all women, but they're all graving, gravitating towards the top men, and we see this playing out on dating apps. For example, most women will say, "I'm only swiping on like." 10% of men, and all women are swiping on those same 10% of men. Mm -hmm. And then I think if you ask, I mean, we can go around the table, like what percentage of men that, for example, you see in real life, do you say, 
I find him attractive. Yeah. So why don't we start with you? Oh, it's and, exceedingly well. And re reminder earlier, you said that you're picky and that you have high yeah. expectations. So in day to day, what percentage of men would you say you find physically attractive? Yeah, or that you're attracted this is a to? really hard one because I do recognize that like I'm not perfect and I don't I don't know if my standards are necessarily realistic either, I guess. But I find such a slim number of men attractive, especially these days. I'm really attracted to masculinity and men just are not masculine anymore. So like it is very difficult to find a man. When you say masculine, what do you mean? Uh, like what are your like what are your what's your definition? Like I of want him to go to the gym and I just want him to have that's don't that's why she read me on. Well, be, I mean, skinny. like working out is really important to me. And then um, having just that super manly drive, like waking up early, business, business, business. Not that, and Brian. But how does, is that, but what is that, is, why does that masculine? Gotta lose some weight. What, what's masculine about waking up early? Ha the hard work ethic. She wants someone who's ambitious. Ambition. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I find ambition. I guess maybe do it's you, not masculine. You, is that a masculine? Would you consider I don't, that a masculine You could trait? be, you, not necessarily, but I, I, what other things are masculine, I suppose? Um, a rugged jawline, broad shoulders, all of the, all of the stereotypical, basic, masculine, okay, so, but Gaston as a human being, okay? But if besides the physical cartoon. appearance, is it, so the masculine, like, personality traits have to do with anything is that what you're looking for I are you mean, just looking yeah, for too. a physically masculine man but we were just talking about on looks mm -hmm. like so you that's that's what that's why i'm asking so like just based on looks yeah i'm looking for mask but the, and then if we're also including personality yeah i would like the uh, masculine traits of protectiveness and um obviously there's some feminine traits that i want like caring and nurturing but I wouldn't want that overboard. I wouldn't want a clingy man. So yeah, I would want masculine masculine men and there's just like a severe lack of testosterone in society these days. I just look around and I see a bunch of beta bitches and I'm not not really into it. Do you think that reason is because um, a lot of women nowadays are more masculine? Uh, so true and also because of our water, Alex Jones. There's plastic, Alex Jones plastic in the up. water. Can I ask you this question? Yeah. When it comes to relationships, are men more likely to be held to a masculine standard than women are held to a feminine standard? Yeah. Yes. That's a damn good question. Yeah, they are. What are those standards and who defines them? I mean, it's so crazy because, I mean, it, clothing is a great example of how society relaxes in women's standards much quicker than it does with men's standards. So, like, for instance, women have always worn, like, dresses for as long as... I know clothing standards until recently. Now it's acceptable for women to wear pants and it's totally normal within society. And yet we haven't slipped with men yet. We are now just starting to see the brink of that. So I just think it's like a slower thing, but it's definitely, it's, it's trending for both genders. I've got a question for you. You said that you like a guy who works out. So are you saying like, he just has to be in like a modicum, I don't know if I use that word right, modicum, modicum of, fitness or are you saying like you want like a really like muscular guy he doesn't have to be like vascular if that's what you're at he doesn't, no i'm saying I just muscular uh i i want a man who's been who's been working out and considers working out a part of his daily routine or at least five times a week routine um do you work out i was yes, just gonna I ask do. that <laughs> i do work out and but you you also said you want a guy broad shoulders chiseled jaw gaston yeah What's that song from the fucking? How's it no going? No one did to like Gaston. That's a banger, dude. I fucking love that song. Let's keep going. Keep going. Um, no, it's a good song. Um, okay, I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, uh, you want a Gaston? Like, so you want a Chad? You want like a yes, ten? Yes, I want a Chad. Yeah. You I want, want to Chad wife. I want a Chad man. I want. I want it all. I want little but cute earlier, little kids did, on a commune with. Didn't you rate yourself a six or a seven? Yes. <laughs> Do you want a guy who's? I mean, it sound, you're kind of describing like a guy who's maybe an eight, nine, or ten. Mm -hmm. Do you want an eight, nine, or a ten? Yeah. Uh, who but, doesn't, but who doesn't you, want the top? But then you think you can still strive. But then you that's can't reach but it. that's where the double standard comes in for you because it's like, how are you expecting 
a perfect man. I'm not like, expecting. How are you expecting an eight, nine, or ten when you don't? I'm not. I'm I'm saying I would I would like that. I'm striving okay, for that. Okay, but then the, the but men, I but would be very happy with somebody who wouldn't be considered your standard eight, nine, or ten. Obviously, that's what I'm attracted to. I feel like a lot of men that are in the eight, nine, and ten range are looking in the eight, nine, and ten range of women mm-hmm. too. D- doesn't doesn't everyone settle? No one gets their ideal. <laughs> yeah. So technically, I mean, but $100. I am a 32 year old man that makes $800,000 a year. Drive a supercar. Let's go. Penthouse. Hell yeah. And I can tell you money doesn't not affect my dating life. Doesn't Doesn't matter how much money you have. Women won't see you unless you are conventionally attractive. Mm. Yeah, I I definitely think looks are kind of like the main primary thing that has to come first. So Spencer, can you tell us a little bit like Obviously, you're a successful dude, 800K a year. That's fantastic. Congratulations, man. Sounds like you have your life in order. Um, obviously, I don't know if you're prepared to submit the photo, but can you tell us a little bit about your appearance? Like, how do you rate yourself? How tall are you? Are you in good shape? Um, I, I mean, race sometimes comes into play here, some, you know, but. Um, so you were, go ahead, John, you were about to. Uh, say oh, I, I was just going to say. Thank uh, you, Spencer. Women will often complain about the, uh, the feminine standards placed on women. You know, you got to have, you know, boobs, ass, you know, you got to have a skinny waist. Uh, which is more unrealistic, the masculine standards placed on men or the feminine standards placed on women? The masculine standards. Well, I think it's harder to get a six pack for, for a man than it is for a woman to go get a BBL. Is, is it harder to grow muscles or just not overeat? It's harder to grow muscles. So oh we, and we should maybe go around the table on this and that's a good line of questioning. So, okay. um, is it harder to be good looking as a woman or as a man? Mm. Define as a man. Mm-hmm. As a man, harder? for sure. Like, <clears throat> like life being harder? No, then, to well, look, to look good, I think you said. Just to be f- considered physically attractive. The steps it takes to be physically attractive. Oh, yeah, man. Definitely man. Yeah, harder. Mm. Uh, define a harder, like, so. Like, like women, f- like to well, be deemed attractive physically. Well, for example, like right. you said, there's yeah. slim. Describing uh, the way that it looks. Oh, what? Well, it, it, it was, uh, was it 50? Yeah. I'll pull it up here in a sec. Oh, let me see if I can hold on. Continue. Go ahead. Look, go uh, ahead. While I pull it up. You just said uh, the like, let's say skinny waist, right? Well, I was gonna say like uh, an example of this. You know, I live in Vegas. You look at the uh, strip clubs, right? Mm. And if you look at male versus female strippers. You know, female strippers, you know, just basically have to be fit and and slender, slender or curvy, I guess you would say, is the ideal body type. What is the ideal body type for a male stripper? He's got to have, you know, he's got to be chiseled, right? He's got to have the body of a Greek god. That takes hours of, you know, you have to be, become a gym rat. You have to be obsessed with that um, and, and diet, nutrition. So, I mean, that's kind of, I think, where I'm going with this. Right, absolutely. Like, I do, th- I 100% agree, men have to put a lot of work but just slightly depending on like physical time and effort on that, I'll agree. But the reason that I'll have hard times agreeing on the harder part for women is because like you said, slimmer waist Mm -hmm. and yes, we can do the surgery, but first of all, cost money to Mm -hmm. earn money, Mm -hmm. not easy. Second of all, yeah, that's a cop out a little bit. Like, would it be as easy physically, like naturally, biologically for me to get that waist? Mm -hmm. I think it would be just as hard for me as for a guy. Mm -hmm. But yes, women, it's easier for a woman to use a cop out in the 21st century. Now, what what if a man had a very successful status, but had a dad bod versus a guy who's just, you know, broke, but he's an F boy? I mean, is it more, is it looks over money and status for you or, you know, what would be? I might be the wrong person to ask because I like dad bod. Uh, you like, you prefer dad bods? Uh, yeah. Well, well, prefer to what? To a scrawny little dude? No, no not, not that. But I'm saying if we talk about, you obviously, I, I seriously doubt that you prefer it over a man who's chiseled. Well, yeah, well, of course, but then there are different like levels. If you, you could be chiseled and very skinny and I will mm-hmm. prefer dad bod over a skinny chiseled, mm-hmm. but of course a good chiseled. Yeah, will okay. be better than a dead bud. What? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, so okay. I want to let's talk about your perfect man here. Mm. Um, so, and also you're an attorney, so you're successful. Not yet. I'm waiting on character and fitness. So you're a lawyer, because yeah. my understanding is is that 
you can be a lawyer but not an attorney. I passed the bar. You so okay, but you will I'm be. A lawyer. But you will be an attorney. If everything. Do you, do you have something true. in your background that you're? I legally don't want to tell anyone that I'm an attorney when I'm not an attorney because then I could be accused of giving legal advice and I just it, legal and also my mom sure. is watching. Shout out to my mom. Yo, shout She's out. An attorney. Shout out Lauren De Laguna's mom. DLG in the chat. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Um, huh. But you will be, I suspect, a high earner, correct? Attorneys uh, make decent money. Yeah. When you are, at, assuming you're... Yes, okay. I will probably be a high earner. And you're a content creator, and hopefully that is successful for you. Um, can you tell us, uh, in terms of... We talked a, a little bit about what you're looking for in terms of physical appearance, but mm -hmm. maybe let's talk a bit of uh, status. Let's talk education. Let's talk... Um, status, education, and income. How much money are you, would you be looking for a potential partner? I definitely don't look at like how much money someone's making. I'm looking at how much effort they're putting in and then also how logical their effort is. Like if they're just wasting time at like MLMs, then I'm, I don't care how ambitious they are. But if they're, you know, if they're working for something and it's, um, it's something admirable, then why not? So for instance, if they dropped out of high school and then went to a trade school and started their own business, I find, first of all, plumbers, electricians, carpenters, these people make very good money. Yeah, especially. they make good money. Yeah, so I don't have any issue with mm. a lack of education or... Okay. Well, that I mean, that's refreshing because, I mean, I think you often, a lot of my impression is a lot of women don't want to date down socioeconomically. Now these tradesmen, they make good money and what they do is incredibly valuable to society. However, I think there's going to be an educational, uh, a, an, an educational unevenness and perhaps a achievement uneven, uneven, I'm not saying. Here's why I disagree with what you're trying to say. Like with men, uh, first of all, I just don't value education that much. That's a fair. lot of the people that I graduated law school with, and I'm sorry before I say this, and I thank you to my law school and to Dean Ferrari and everyone. That being said, a lot of the people I graduated law school with are some of the dumbest human beings I've ever had the displeasure of sitting in a room with, including some of my professors. So um, I just really don't value education, and some of the smartest people I ever met are high school dropouts, so why am I going to be oh wow, you didn't waste hundreds of thousands of dollars in school like I did that I totally regret? You're but excluded from my dating pool. That's not like, what they're asking you is like, what they ask me, how much do you want your desired man to make a year? I really don't care about a dollar. So are you year. saying that, like that? Well, I, I don't, I'm not sure if I totally agree with you, that's, but Kelly, did you want to say something? You have a startup yeah, well, business that's losing money, I could be interested. Well, I'm just saying, you by you saying that you don't care what amount of money that your man makes, do you want kids? I do. So if you want kids, mm -hmm. your man, your husband's going to have to support you and your kids. So your man's going to have to make a certain amount of money to support you guys. Uh, I would agree oh. with that in Go most ahead. cases. Can I just say, though, that I don't think it should matter initially right when you meet the man. For me, for instance, I believe that if he isn't where I would want him to be, I will do everything I can as a woman to support him to get to that place. I'll make mm -hmm. sure that he will achieve whatever he wants to achieve. I think that's a part of a good, healthy relationship, too. Not just expecting him to have it right when you meet him. I love that answer. That's a W. That's I love that answer. It's beautiful. <laughs> You're beautiful. <laughs> That's what Brian's thinking. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I just have a couple more questions for you. So, um, because I mean, and, and it certainly could be the case that you don't really care so much about that. And you make some, you do raise some good arguments as far as, hey, you could be college educated and be dumb as bricks, and it's an indoctrination factory, all this stuff, right? Um, but I do think that there is, they've done studies on this, and generally speaking, I think women, for example, who have bachelor's degrees or who have uh, higher level graduate degrees, for example, masters and PhDs, they've surveyed them and they typically want to date men educationally who are on their level or higher. Mm -hmm. So if she has a bachelor's, she wants to date a guy who's at least as educated, educated as she is. But that survey is done by a bunch of people in the education, like who it are receiving be. education, I, I who are indoctrinated 
indoctrinated by the education. Like, college is very indoctrinating in itself. Sure. And then there's a lot of the, wow, you graduated college. You're a special person while you're in college. So then you get some of that, like, egoness. I don't, I just feel like I don't care about a poll of people's opinions based oh, I want someone who's more educated than me. Sure. But, uh, okay, so that's fair. But I think for a lot of women, they're going to, if they've went, gone to college, most of them want someone who's at least, because th th there's these articles coming out, maybe some of, you, some of you have seen it. A lot of women are saying, I'm, I'm struggling to find men who are economically attractive mm. because women are starting to now, at least in, for example, major cities, women who have never had children, never been married, uh, who are single, between the ages of 18 and 30 are out earning their male counterparts in that same demographic group in major cities across the US. So a lot of women now they're, I mean, since 1980s, there's been more women in college than men. So for pretty much, and now women who graduated in 1980, they're now in, in their 60s, they're retirement age. So we've had equality in terms of college education since the since 1980. There's actually more women in college yeah. nowadays. Yeah, it's like 60 to 40, mm -hmm. I've heard as high as 65 to, 35 so there's more women going to college um, so they're going into they're making more money I think a lot of positive outcomes are uh, disproportionately to the benefit of women in these cases but uh, so in any case you mentioned though that you well let me touch on the physical thing first so I have a couple photos here I want to show you please tell me if like kind of this is what you're and you can look into the camera for this mm -hmm. so I'm gonna raise up oh wait Eric put it over here. yeah we're gonna raise it up here um, is this would you say this is Greg Plitt helping you stay fit. All right, yo, RIPs in the chat for Greg Plitt. RIPs. Is die? yeah. Oh, that's Can so we? Sad. Yeah, it's very sad. There was a terrible train accident, like legit, actually a terrible train accident. This is related to our Patrice. He obviously didn't die from being unhealthy. So, <laughs> um, you can bring him back. So, uh, Greg Plitt, would you? Is this the type of guy you're going after? You said you want a strong, muscular guy. I mean, is this what we're talking about? That is an attractive man. Yeah. Eric. Yeah. Yes. So is that like Is that the only man? Is that like that's peak. Am I going to am I saying I'm only going to settle for just that? No. But yeah, I, I, if he was interested in me, I would consider going on a date with him very quickly. Oh, you'd consider? I would okay. probably. Uh -huh. I would well, very, okay. I'd very quickly accept a date offer. You know what? I have another photo here for you. Um, like Eric, can you swap it? Can you Actually, here, I'll hold it up here first, and then I'll do it. Okay, put it, other one, other one. Eric, take control, man. Um, all right. No, what do you, no, over. Okay, what about Beautiful. this guy? Oh, my God. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone? Is that oh my, right? no. bro. Oh, that Are you Myron? It is, okay. are, are you Myron his aesthetics? Um, he's attractive, yes. Are you Myron his aesthetics? I think he's an attractive I'm, man, yes. No, 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 Myron. I'm asking, are you Myron? His aesthetics. Yeah, yeah. I want you to say you're Myron. I'm Myron. You're Myron. I am Admiron. Myron. Okay, thank I am, you. I am Here, we'll Myron. Do here. <laughs> all right, Ziz for you. Okay, uh, that's Ziz. Okay, all right. So that, mm. that's the type of dude you're going after? I'm not saying, I mean, obviously that would be my peak. I'm sure like if you saw a beautiful woman that was out of your league, you might shoot your shot, right? If someone that is out of my league wanted to date me I absolutely would not say no but but are you holding out no for no absolutely not. but I mean you're you're 29 and you've never had a long-term relationship yeah. you've never had a boyfriend or a girl or it's not so much holding out like I'll meet people and I'll try to get to know them and I just don't like connect with people so. can I ask you a question Go yeah ahead. um do you feel like you're in competition with other women um I try really hard when I notice someone that I think is like objectively prettier than me to like internalize, oh, I might be experiencing jealousy right now. I should definitely try extra hard to be nice to that person. So whenever I, whenever I feel jealousy, like the first thing I do is try to re recognize that I'm feeling jealous and then go out of my way to be nice to that person. Cause usually the prettier the girl is, the meaner other women are to her. So but, I try to be really, I don't know. So, but do my you, competition so with them yeah like I'm not gonna like you know I, I'm like, probably not gonna get that guy if you know if Giselle and I are walking down the street <laughs> Giselle's gonna get that guy and that's okay that's fine like uh, that's okay I'm I'm not I'm okay not being the top 
prettiest chick on this panel. Like, I'm okay. So then I just, that, that I just, you're, the way that um, you feel about that doesn't line up with your standards, I feel like. Because, so, like, you have, you have expectations of, like, a man, but then it's, like, it's not that I'm. It's not that I'm holding out. Mech eighty eight donated one hundred. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Good show, Brian. Giselle loose the tattoos and let's find a ring that fits. I'm making low six figures. Rate myself as a five, but trying to improve. Make low six figures. Ladies, what is the first thing you notice about a guy? Body, facial hair, <coughs> teeth, etc. We'll go around the table really quick. First thing you notice as a guy, and then you guys continue your little back and forth. Go ahead. Just physical? Yeah. How about both? Um, okay, well, I notice, like, how he physically takes care of himself, whether that's, like, if he does his hair or if I can tell he takes care of, like, maybe his skin or his fashion. Um, and then personality-based, I know I observe his actions, the way he treats me or other women, like open the door, like chivalry type of things. That's mm. what I noticed. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. I would just do like, I don't know, like facial. I like facial hair or like, I guess how they, how they dress, but that's the first things I notice. Um, if you see that they like visibly take care of themselves and also teeth, I really like straight teeth. Like if I see somebody with straight teeth, that's super attractive. Um, I like a nice face. Like, like I said, I don't mind a man who's a little bit bigger, but if you got a nice face, then you like a bigger man who's like I seven honestly, feet. I think I do. <laughs> like, yeah. NBA player, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Um. Um. I think I look for hair. The hair first. I look at the hair, and then like their the way they dress. Uh, what I look for. What I notice. I forgot the question. What you notice first? Oh, gotcha. you notice. Um. Then um. It's like the beefiness of their shoulders and breasts. Okay. I agree. I think like overall body, like how tall he is, and also if he's taking care of his skin and teeth, for me it's important. Yeah, first thing is body, second thing is teeth. Ben's Word, thank dead. you for the super chat. By the way, Spencer came in here really quick, so I'm gonna address it. Sorry, Spencer, that we're a uh, little delay on getting to this. Uh, at Spencer Parker on Instagram, Eric, did you pull this up? I'm 6'3", I'm probably a six out of 10. Well, Sp Spencer, wait, actually, before we pull it up, is it okay if we, I mean, he included it, so I'm assuming he's okay if we react to it. I spend more time working than working out. Spencer, confirm or deny? Is it cool if we pull up? You cool if we pull up your Instagram? Let us know. I don't. I mean, I'm assuming it's okay because you included it in the soup chat. What do you guys think? You think it's okay? Yeah. Why yeah. would you say it? Why? Why would you link it? Up. I don't know. Chat. I just don't. I mean, I don't know if he wants doxing, us to. Doxing? No doxing. Chad, is it okay if we pull it up, you think? Or I don't know, I want it. I believe since he announced it through a donation, yeah. it would be okay. I just want to be considerate of He Spencer said yes, Barr. people in chat All right, let's do it. Yes. Eric, do you have it pulled up? Scroll, scroll up. Spencer Park, San Diego, home test box, 007, fast land, oh, okay. Roofing solar investor, That is that a, uh, Rolls, wait, what is, Aston what is that? Okay, I didn't see DB the, uh, a what? DB11. Oh, wow, she knows her Aston I mean, Martins. it's written there, but I also know. Oh, okay, she knows. <laughs> um, let's see that photo of him with the palm trees. Click on it. Uh, you're gonna right have to, away. you're gonna have to go to the video, or wait, no, actually, I don't know how to see that. I can't, we can't. Uh, here, uh, in the sources, just hide us for a sec. The eyeball. Nope, nope, GH5. It's the GH5. It's the GH5. Uh, okay. Zoom? All right. A bit of a. Is that is that a dad bod it's kind of? It's a tortoise of? shawl. Can you swipe? Yeah. Here. There's more go, photos. Go down. There. Oh, there's more. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Those are some cocks. <laughs> okay. Just some cocks. All right. Just here. Get get out of that. Get out <laughs> no. of it. No. Just out 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 X. No 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 no. Go back. Go back. We want to see the rest of his Instagram. Okay, we have uh, cars, that's you passed out, I guess. Um, that's you in, there's a, uh, 
Is that a sex in the city? What are you drinking, dude? What's up with all the fruit? Okay, <clears throat> scroll down. Is this you in the... Oh my God, look at um, this man. Look at that suit. Like He's like a ma people. main character in an anime. Um, they look like different Yeah, people. I know. The, the, yeah, I'm confused on who's... Cl yeah. Click uh, the, the, that one. Yeah. Because who's that? When, oh, uh, 2014. Yeah. 2014. Younger version. 2014, okay. okay. And then uh, click on the, the uh, left one. Yeah. Bro, what? Hello? <laughs> what What happened in... Oh, it is a eight-year difference. Okay. I think you should bring back the emo hair, bro. I think it's a good look. Absolutely not. Just, <laughs> no? You don't, you don't think so, Kelly? No. You're a fashion consultant or what is it? Uh, Stylist? No. Not a good that, look? Mm -mm. Yo, don't listen to her. She works at Nordstrom's like, bro, don't, don't worry, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, it's a good look. Bring it back. See, look, they're all hyping him up. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's like I actually think he looks better older. Yeah. yeah. Don't listen to them. Rock oh, that no. rock that maroon button down with the shoulder pads and the, uh, is that a gray suit? Just keep rocking it, bro. Is this like a cream. Onizuka, great teacher Onizuka costume? Okay, appreciate it, man. Um, so, ladies, Spencer Park, 800K a year, fucking giga chad. Um, you, do you go for him? No. Can, no? no? How did, did he say his age? Hello? What, would you go for him, Giselle? Is that actually, is that your name? Giselle's my real name, Angelic oh. is my online name. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah. Okay. Did you go for him? I don't know anything about his personality, so I can't Makes say. Makes 800K. Assume he's not. He's... Uh, I need more than that. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. What about you? Um, He could be nice, but... Not your type. I also don't know. Not even that. It's like you can't... I'm not going to sit here and say I'd be down if I don't... If I've never met him. Just based know. off of the Instagram and... That he's a giga chad making 800k a year. That puts him in like the top. No, that doesn't even matter. Top top one percent. Mm -mm. What about you? Um, just based off his Instagram, no. Oh, I'm sorry, Spencer. I'm sorry. Go no. ahead, no. Kelly. It's just because Asian guys remind me of my brother. What the? <laughs> and that's why. <laughs> what? Asian guys remind you of your brother. Yeah. Do you, you you don't date Asian guys? Um, I've never no. Really? Mm -mm. Huh, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Word. Uh, why why don't you like Asian guys? Um. Are you are I you a race traitor? A race. Are you a traitor? race traitor? No, no like. It, you wouldn't even date a Vietnamese guy? Um. No, not really. I actually like. I just. I don't know. They just come off. Like I get so close. Like they're just my friends. Like they give me like my brother. Like they remind me so much. Of, like the way that they like they carry themselves. They remind me so much of my brother that Wait. it's like. Go, sorry. Go ahead. Continue. That I have like a brotherly relationship with most Asian, to my, with to most my. Asian men that I that I meet. Wait. Can you scoot your um, scoot your chair into the table so we can get you a little better posture? Yeah. Uh, can, and can everyone push their cups into the table just a little bit? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So it reminds you of your brother. Yeah. yeah. Like, most of the, like, I don't know too many Asian guys because I didn't grow up in, like, an area where there's a lot of Asians. Um, where, where did you grow up? In, like, Calabasas, Woodland Hills. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so not too many, not too many Asians, but, um, yeah, like, they... They, they all, like every single Asian guy that I have, I have met and like I have like some kind of like friendship with, just, they just remind me of my brother. And I, 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 I can't, oh. I don't know, I can't hmm. describe it. <laughs> they remind you of. Yeah, like they have the same brother. personality traits as like the. Oh, well, that's brother, a bit. Like, that's a bit, you know. I don't know. And are then, you like, saying all Asian men are the same? No, 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 I'm not saying that. Just the ones that Kelly. I've, that I've oh. met. The ones that I've met. All remind you of how your brother acts. Most, yes, the ones that I have met, yes, or like one of my cousins or something. I don't know. It's just like, I don't know. What about like a nice Filipino boy? There's a lot of nice Filipino Man, boys. Man, excuse me. Men. <laughs> well, I, you know what I mean. Yeah, there's a. I've, I've met like I've met a lot of them. Yeah, I just. Laos. What about Laos? A guy from Laos. 
Mm, Maybe never, like American born, but Laos. Never, no, not, not from Laos. Cambodian? I, you, do you, no Cambodians? No, most Definitely, of, it sounds like not Vietnamese because your brother's Vietnamese. So that's like, yeah, I'll Vietnamese, immediately. Like, I don't know. It's just like we, we're too alike. Too like, alike. You know, like I'm, I can. I can relate to you so much that I can't learn anything from you. So it's like... Mongolian? Um, no. You, Korean? Mm-mm. Japanese? Mm-mm. Chinese? I'm Chinese too, so I'm Chinese. You're, you're part Chinese, part mm-hmm. Vietnamese. Okay, what about... Um, I'm running out of Asian countries. Japan, China. Uh, uh, Thai? Uh, I've met... No, I only know one Thai. Indonesian? Person. What about like Filipino? I already said yeah, that. Yeah, I've met Filipino that. guys, but just. By yeah. the way, how's my. Uh, how's my geography, guys? It's pretty. Okay. Um, what am I. Uh, where, where was the. Uh, we were talking about if you would date that guy on Instagram. And then we were going I'm, around. I'm missing Asia. like at least one or two of the Southeast Asian countries. Mm. Korea? I hit Korea. Oh. Hit Laos, Kazakhstan. hit Cambodia. But Korea is not Southeast yeah, Asia. Yeah, Korea is not Southeast Asia. No, no, no. He said the, Taiwan. Oh, I missed Taiwan. Thank Taiwan. you. Thailand and Taiwan. I said, I said Thailand. Thailand. You got Laos, you got Cambodia. Cam- I got Cambodia. <laughs> and Vietnam, Southeast Asia. Yeah, Vietnam. Malaysia. Right Malaysia, thank you. Yeah, Malaysian guy. Uh, what about a North Korean guy? <laughs> What do you do? I've never met a North Korean guy, actually. So maybe you're open. Maybe he's I don't know. outstanding. I've, like I've just just based off like who I've met, because like I've said, like I've I I grew up some I don't meet that many people. You know, like my, my high school is like most mainly like white people, and like so they I didn't like experience Burma. No, never Burmese? met anybody. You, so are are you just not attracted to Asian men? Yeah, I would say that too. I'm just. Mm. Huh. And then, like I said, it's just the thing. Like we're just so alike. Like I like learning from my from my man. Like I like learning about I like learning about different culture too. And like I like just experiencing new things. But it's like with somebody, if I was dating like a Vietnamese guy, we relate so much. It's do, you, like, do you speak Vietnamese? Um, I understand it, but I don't speak. Okay. It. Wait. So you you would relate too much to them, and that's. I know it sounds weird. It's just like I. It's just like I can't. Hey, I, it, I can't learn. I can't learn from you, or I can't. You can't teach. You can't really like teach me new things about. You know, like. Cool is that stuff. really a primary like thing you care about, though? Um, learning. Well, learning from a uh, learning from my like my boyfriend. Yeah, I care about that a lot. I like learning from. About I like, their culture. Of course, yeah. I love. Yes. Is that that's a primary like thing you care about? That's a really big. Yeah, it is a big thing that I care about. About I, I care about he if, if he cares about my culture and he wants to learn more about my culture and my boyfriend right now he's black and he he goes to extremes to try to teach me more about black culture and he tries to make me help me understand it better so that I have a better understanding of him. I, I don't think I've ever heard a girl say that the one of the primary things they care about is learning. I mean, hey, that if that's your thing, cool. But learning about a potential partner's culture. Cool word. I, guess. I mean, like, why wouldn't you want to learn about how they grew up and like how what their family traditions are like and how they they want to like I'm pretty, I want to teach my kids about Vietnamese traditions. Sure. You know. What did I, you learn about Black culture that you didn't know before? Um, how deep it is and how much deeper. I honestly like before even dating my boyfriend. Now I I'm not gonna lie. I was probably I was definitely ignorant about some topics and then he oh, made me. Let's get rid of this. Go ahead, sorry. He, it's, he, um, he made me open my eyes more about a lot of things that not, nobody in here is, is black, but like I don't think anybody in this room would really understand. Are you black? My mom's Blasian. Yeah, your mom's Blasian. Um, but like, oh, there's a lot of things that go into black culture that somebody who isn't black is not going to understand unless it's taught to them. And unless, I, I don't know if, if it's like really been taught like that, if you've really learned about it like that, but like, when you when it's coming from somebody who is so passionate about it and is so passionate about you learning about it, you have a deeper understanding. You you form a deeper understanding of it, which is why it means so much to me. Okay. Um, fun fact: my boyfriend is Vietnamese. Oh really? Yeah. And uh, love learning about his culture. Yeah. Very important thing. And is there is something beautiful about like exchanging cultures? Of course. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. What? Oh, 
Go was on. your boyfriend into BLM? Just out of curiosity. Our fucking um, <laughs> he's, yeah, Sorry, he's, I just curious. No, he's very, like, he's very, very, he does, he's done rallies, he's led rallies before, he's led protests, like, he's wow. very, like, passionate about his culture, which is, which was why I would say it's unfair of me to disregard it and not want to learn about it more. Because if he cares about it so much, why, why shouldn't, why should I make him feel like I don't care about it? Well, I mean, I think it's great that you want to learn about his his culture i just in terms of an attraction trigger i've never heard someone say learning about like it would i would not be attracted to someone if i if i could not learn from their culture and if that's the case for you hey that's that's totally fine mm -hmm. but yeah i don't know <laughs> I, I, it's not not just like just the culture thing it's just a learning like learning period like I like to learn from like anything like that he can teach me you know like sure. if we have the same experiences if we're on this like you know if we've done the same thing our whole lives if we're not if we're you know how that people say like opposites attract like if we're like the same then I'm not really learning from you that much like I think well I think opposites attract is kind of bullshit no offense I just I don't believe I think I actually have no I was just saying that in general like you know how like people will say that like that's I'm not saying that's exactly how I feel. Sure. Like, I, I, sure, sure. Yeah. What, let's let's move on from that. There's an let's interesting do comment on the screen. Did you see it by any chance? Which one? Uh, what about uh, an Asian guy who was raised by white parents? Oh, oh, oh yeah, that, that's interesting. Me. Um, I'm same thing. Like, I've never I've never like talked to a guy like an Asian guy who was raised by white parents, so I wouldn't know. Mm. And I just want to ask something about your culture, also. Mm. Um, what do you think about all the American men traveling to Asian countries to find wives. I mean, what do you think about women in those cultures and how they treat their men? I think the reason why they're leaving the country, this country to go <coughs> to a different countries to find wives Hold on, is we'll, because we'll come of back that. Park donated Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Rate my girl at Michaela no L. She gives permission to post Instagram. We are watching this together. In Korean BTW. I also don't hate on the Asian girl. I am not attracted mm. to Asia neither. Uh, Eric, you can go ahead and pull that up. Rate my girl, Michaela. Dot Noel. Is there a dot also at the end, or is that just a period? Do you want to? Oh, well, um, just, just uh, do you think that uh, those women treat their men a certain way because they want to, or because Definitely. they're forced to, or what? Mm, what do you think about that? Not that they're forced to, but it's just the culture. The culture is different. The culture is different in Vietnam than it is here. Like. Um, women, women in other cultures are taught to be submissive to their man. They're not supposed to be the. They're not taught to be the 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 man of the relation. They're not supposed to be masculine. They're not supposed to be dominant. They're taught to be nurturing, caring, like actual like feminine traits. Like we're taught. That's how we're. That's that's how we're taught to be wives. We're not here to cause issues for our, our husband we're not here to cause we're not we're not trying to nag them all the time we're not trying to be on their ass all the time about stuff like we just all we want to do is bring peace to them and that's how i don't in my culture that's all that's that's how i i was taught to grow up that's do that's, you do you think those women are ignorant slaves or are they happy no they're not it's a choice you know obviously like women you know you don't have to you don't have to do that but that's just Culture, culturally, that's how we are brought up. Why do you, Why do you think that a lot of American women can't learn from those women and say, okay, you I know. can't answer that for you because I have no idea why. I think okay. they're just more open. Here, let's let's react to. Uh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No. Oh, let's react to uh, Spencer's girlfriend, uh, Michaela Noel. Okay. Very pretty. Um, cool. Yep. Why is he in none of the pictures, though, if it's his girlfriend? How long have you guys been mm. dating? Confirm or deny? Hello? Okay. Yep. Cool. All right. There, what, what, you want us to rate her? Was that, was that, what was the original question? Eric, do you remember? I think it was. Yeah, that was rate my girl. Uh... I don't know. I, I'd have to see her in person, you know. So maybe you guys can be on the show. I don't know. But uh, if you guys want to rate her, that's fine. Let's do some super chats here. All right, we have to. Uh, we definitely have to get caught up on super chats. Sorry that we're finally getting to these guys. I know it's taken a really long time. Yeah, Twitch first. Yeah, I'll shout out Twitch really quick. Thanks for the reminder. 
Yo, guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a uh, follow in the Prime sub if you have one. You go to twitch.tv slash whatever. If you have Amazon Prime, you can link it to your Twitch. Quick, free, easy way to support the show every single month. That Boy Hawk, thank for the tier one. Ethers, dude, thank for the uh, big raid, man. Really appreciate it. 52 viewers. Welcome, guys. We don't have uh, a lot of Twitch uh, things. Oh, Rids, thank for the Prime. Strenuous Sphinx, thank for the tier one. King, thank for the Prime. One Twitch, thank for the tier one. Oxy, thank for the Prime. Never Lose, thank for the tier one. Papa G Sky, thank you for the five community subs, man. Gifted, thank you, man. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, go over there, follow. Drop us a uh, prime sub if you have one. OG Wello, thank you for the follow. Firefighter, thank you for the prime. Trim Coast, thank you for the follow. Jane, thank you for the follow. Joxy, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Chocolate White, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for the support. All right, let's do these super chats. So again, sorry guys that we're finally getting to these. Um, I know these came in a while ago. My bad, guys. I do try. We're pretty consistent though. Like we will, we do get pretty much every soup chat that's above the threshold. So, um, did we do this one? Did we read no, this? No. Uh, Giselle, my voice is getting a little hoarse. Can I have you uh, read these super chats for me? Okay. Any woman who says content creation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm a captain, you lieutenant, donated one hundred and one dollars. One. Kudos to Scrawny Hawk for asking the good questions. Two. Living your best life today, i.e. being a three hundred and four lowers your chances of finding a high quality husband in the future. Yeah, Looking at you, NBA family. girl. Three. Spencer, your Aston is a GT car, not a supercar. <laughs> Throwing out all the disses today. Wow, I'm a captain. You a lieutenant. Thank, thank you so much, man, for the TTS. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, really appreciate all the support, guys, tonight. You guys are killing it. Uh, just a reminder, mid-chat, I know I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, if you're going to super chat, YouTube takes, uh, YouTube takes a 30% cut. So if you can, you don't have to. It's fine if you super chat, but I'm just throwing it out there. If you want more of your patronage to actually go towards whatever and not in the pockets of woke YouTube, uh, head, head on over to Streamlabs. More of your contribution will go towards us. Either way, we're going to read everything, but just want to let you guys know that that's an option too. And it's 50 and up to read, whether it's on Super Chat or on Streamlabs through a donation. So, okay, we have this one here from, uh, by the way, her and thank you for that $50 Super Chat. Alvin Sam, thank you for the 50. Go ahead, Giselle, if you want to read this. Lawyer girl, woman loved to say she wants a man who is consistent and follows through. But eventually, why do women call men boring and predictable? Um, no, I, I understand. I think it's... That might be a problem with society in our hookup dating culture. Uh, that being said, me personally, I don't find predictability boring. I enjoy knowing where person that I, w I enjoy knowing what's up with my relationship if I ever had one which I haven't <laughs> so would you rather be in a drama filled relationship for the excitement or a boring relationship for the security boring I, I have no desire to be in a drama filled anything I like if if I start dating that's another reason like as soon as someone like I started dating someone in law school he was really great really liked him and then he just always wanted to start drama with me over nonsense so not into it word okay um apparently the the panel is too disagreeable maybe i can get you guys worked up um deal breaker for guy doesn't go won't go down on you go ahead giselle no i've dated someone who didn't want to that's okay what about you what was the question again? Bro, I literally just asked it. Okay. Deal breaker if a guy doesn't want to go down on you. Doesn't like to go down in general, let's say. No, because it's like if like they don't like like it either, like that's cool. That's less for me. <laughs> but he what if he still wants head? Then no, you're not getting head if you're not giving it. Giselle, your thoughts on that? I would still give it. <laughs> of course you would take that. What about you? <laughs> what about you? I don't know. It's kind of like for why. Like if it's like. It just doesn't like it. Why? Oh, that. 
related to this. There was a new news article that came out that apparently oral sex is, and I, this is my, I heard this from, who was it? Who's that guy, that famous actor, the dad of Tr Charlie Sheen, I think? Do you know who I'm talking about? Something Sheen. In any case, he had throat cancer, and he thinks it's from eating pussy. That's what he thinks. Uh -huh. he, th he thinks he got throat cancer because he was eating too much pussy. But actually, it's, uh, mm -hmm. okay, I'm not a doctor, but if you have HPV, I think mm. that it can cause something like that. Yeah, so it can. You can Eric, do you want to find that recent news article, just something like uh, throat cancer, oral sex? Okay, which apparently impacts men more for some reason. Okay. Uh, Is it a deal breaker? Uh, he, found, he found it. <laughs> well, before, uh, wait. The conversation that that's not I don't think that's it a reputable a website. Scroll chapter. down. Wow. For wait, no 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 no. Go pull back. New York po Post, that's slightly more reputable, maybe. Scroll down. Medical news today, that scroll down, let's see what else. How can huh? you Huh? Jerry Springer died of oral sex? What? Huh? When you What's that time? Breakfast Club. Okay, keep scrolling. When you get cancer, can they tell you how you Business got it for Insider certain? Oral sex is the leading risk factor for a throat cancer. Oral sex is People magazine, so it must be true. But guys, you in America usually get the vaccine, so I think you're fine. Oh Our my phone? god, the, the chat is on fire. Foster donated $105. Top of the morning, Brian. Have some money for your inhumane patients. Yo, Victor, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the... Uh, very generous donation. Thank you to everybody who's donating. You guys are blowing me away tonight. Thank you guys so much. Uh, you can't track the cancer, though. You can't what? You can't determine how you got cancer. Inhumane patients. Is my patients inhumane? Chat, I mean, you decide. Um, you can't track how you got cancer? What? Wait, wait. Uh, I just I tried to play a Game Boy earlier. Inpatient. Um, okay, so I mean, if you have throat cancer, what is it? Oroth? What was it called? Oroth? Something? Something? Pharyngeal? Or something? Anybody? Was anybody reading that? Okay. Do, what? Does it make a difference if it's men or women giving oral sex? Is it like the so type of cancer you're saying that you could then trace it to? to okay, if it's the type of cancer, you could then trace it to the vagina. Is that what? I, is what I'm asking versus like? whether it's tobacco versus, like, can you look at the type of throat cancer and determine, oh, that's a vagina throat cancer, you know? Well, I mean, you could determine, I, I don't know if there's tests, but if, you, I think you can test for HPV, and if there's, I assume they do some sort of swabbing, or maybe they get, what, what's it called when they take a... Uh, biopsy? Biopsy, thank you. Um, they could take a bio op biopsy and determine, hmm, there's some uh, HPV here. <laughs> so it's plausible. In any case, uh, deal breaker, if, uh, bro, these chicks are on the, get off your phones, dorks. Okay. Um, deal breaker if a guy doesn't want to go down on you. Did you answer? Um, so after this, I do got to get going because um, I got like a two hour drive back. But um, no, it's not a deal breaker for me. What about you? No. Uh, would not be a deal breaker, no. Hmm. Also not. No. Okay, good to know, good to know. All right, we have some more Super Chats here. We have, uh, did we read this one? Yeah. yeah. Came through. Did, did you read this one, Giselle? No. What about this one? No. Wait. No to the last one either. Oh, we didn't read this one? Nobunaga? No, 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 we, oh yeah, no, no, we Wait. haven't read that one. Wait, Giselle, did you read this one? No. Okay, go ahead, t go ahead. Ladies, some game. If you find yourself being with a lot of celebrities but none has wiped you up, they are telling their celeb group that you're an easy lay and you're just getting passed around. Mm. And once we get through these super chats, we're, pro we're gonna wrap up here pretty soon. So guys, get your last minute super chats in. Thank you, Nobunaga, for the 50, appreciate it. Um, go ahead, Giselle. Robert is right, I'm young now, is not a good excuse to be a 304. Brian and Lauren, please ask Red Girl, elaborate on that. I think it's um. orange. Uh, it's, it looks, it's, it's orange. It's an actually, orange top. They, just they, FYI. It's red on camera. Yeah. I don't know. But um, do you do you have a response to VD cars? 
think I think a lot of people are tripping about the way I spend my time, um, and everybody has their own opinions. Has um, the chat been tripping? Yeah, I haven't been um, reading the chat, so I, I don't have. know. Um, <laughs> You've been locked in on the chat. Okay, <laughs> I warned you guys before the show. Um, I mean, I'm not mad at it. Everybody has their own opinions, so I just feel like oh. um, if I'm young now and I choose to live how I live, that's just how it is. Like, like what, what you gonna do about it? Word. Okay, bead and cheeks here. Go. Uh, thank you for the fifty. Go ahead, Giselle. Ha ha, dependipotamus. Women are typically fat, entitled military wives that don't know anything of military regulations. I'm a prior AD Air Force guy and deployed and lived in many countries and military wives overseas went wilding during those days. Thank you for your service. Thank you, Cheeks. Appreciate it. Thank you for the 50. Uh, go ahead, Giselle. I don't give people my number. Any man on social media has the capability to message you, call you, video chat you, send you photos, etc. Honestly, your boyfriend sounds like a little simp, but I have a doctor who can raise his testosterone levels. I bet oh, he does. Look at that picture. Yeah. Look at that picture. I'm sure he does have a doctor that could Bugs. give him testosterone. Steroids. <laughs> My boyfriend does not need those. Are you saying that a ventide fallacy is on steroids? I mean, I think that's what. Are you are you looking at his uh, <laughs> profile like picture? I he's trying to because he's saying to raise his testosterone levels. So I'm. And he has doctors that can help with that. And he says, do "Yeah, that's what I'm saying." Oh, so okay. I see. I see what you're saying. Do you want to sh sh say anything to ventide fallacy? I think you have a little dick. Oh my God! I mean, uh, a ventide, you can't no stand for that. I know you sent this like Are you saying like, that because of the testosterone, ago. like the added testosterone, does actually make your genitalia shrivel up, right? Didn't think of that. Making my statement more true. I was genuinely thinking that before you said it. Oh, so. nice. No, no, I, no. That really wasn't what I was thinking. But I'm just. Eric, you can try really minds think alike. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What, what, oh my, okay, that's cool. Um, Giselle, go for it. Lower your standards. Everything is so much easier and better when I decided to give my boyfriend a chance. Average man. The complete opposite of what I used to look for. Submitted to a man for the first time and respect his boundaries instead of fighting him. Okay. Thank Sorry, you. You said it's fucked up. I'm just curious why, because I kind of agree. Because she just said... I decided to give my boyfriend a chance, average man. Yeah. Yeah, like, because it's like, girl, girl. that's just like, yeah, why are you, why are you like, oh, like, you were good enough, I gave you a chance. Yeah. How I'm is not, it that, well, I don't know if that career. was directed at you, was it? No, 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 I'm just saying, oh, you're what, just no, because I said that's fucked up when you, she was reading the comment because I felt like she's like saying like, oh, I gave, I just gave him a chance, he's an average man. Yeah, like she uh, just settled why, for him. I, I, why I a, do you need to say that? I have, I have a I question mean, about that. I, I agree, absolutely. Why is dating advice usually about <clears throat> advising men to step up to women rather than telling women to settle for more average men like they did in the past? What do you mean? Like, step like, like women? men are just, it's dating advice is usually about telling men to, you know, they have to sculpt themselves to be what women want. In other words, why are men still expected to be what women want if women are no longer encouraged to be what men want? Well, I, I would say that I think women need to start changing themselves because we're the ones, you, like you said, oh, I don't know if you were the one that said it, but we're the ones with the choice. We're the ones with the choice. The selectors, yes. Yeah, the selectors. we are the selectors, yes. So, we have yes we're gonna have lots of men who are who are like throwing themselves at us just because of the fact that we're women but we are the ones who are choosing which one coach kind of men we want what, what men we want to be with so like and related to that do you think that it's fair for women to complain about men when no. they're the ones choosing the shitty men no absolutely not because it's unfair for us to be choosing and having such high standards because we because women are going to put their standards so high but then they're not realizing that the men who are in those standards are not looking for the, they're not like, these women that are asking for that, these are not the type of women that those men are looking for. And, and do you think that uh, women's delusional standards require men to set delusional goals? Of course, yeah. They have, they set delusional goals, but it's like, I think the change has to be with the women first. Oh, 
I agree. One hundred donated one hundred dollars. Thank you, man. Appreciate hey, it. Brian love the pot. But how you got Tony Hawk on the pain? Definitely in love with Giselle on the right. Having a good wife will make you happy. A bad wife will make you a philosopher. Black Socrates Prowley. Hey, Hundred, thank you so much for the uh, donation, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, and Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 is a pretty good game. Okay. Tony Hawk. Right. There we go. Uh, and then we had this one come in from Eddie Scripto. Oh, wait, what? I'm a captain, oh. you all left and donated $101. It's all love, phony hawk. Brian, please bring him on another show. And Chase, too. Giselle is positively enchanting. Lauren, you're okay, too, I guess. Aw, that's so sweet. You're okay, too, I guess. Aww. Is that just the oh, nicest thing so you've kind. ever heard? Oh, it's, You're okay, too. I, yeah, I, yes, I, it's the nicest compliment. It's like the best compliments yeah. ever. Okay, cool. Um, Eddie Scrippo, thank you for the 50. Brian, you are the Jerry Springer of podcasting, and I do mean that as a compliment to the Asian gal. I respect you for wanting a man who broadens your horizons. Word? Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Okay. Uh, we have here... Uh, let's see. We, we did this one. Uh, Mr. Cappadocia, I think you're the 50. Go ahead, Giselle. Ladies, what's the weirdest thing that you consistently find sexy or look for in a guy that no one would expect? Like, damn, I like me a sexy forehead, <laughs> or I lose it between the knees for guys who played Dungeons and Dragons. No duplicate answers. Yeah, we'll go around the table on this. Um, let's start over here. Go ahead. Uh, can I can I go last? Actually, I need to think. You need to think. Sure, go ahead. Uh, I don't know. That's such a hard question. I think, but I don't know. Like, you know, like when certain people got that like crazy look to them. You know what I mean? Like when they give when they you just look at them and they you just like be like, yeah, it looks a little crazy. So you like, like criminals? That. No, they don't have to be criminals. Oh, my bad. It's just like, you know, you like, you ever seen you? You look at Joe, he's got that like... Who? Joe. The show you. Netflix. Where he's like, he's like a stalker. Like, I'm not saying I'm into stalkers, but he's like a stalker and he's got... Who like the that. fuck is that guy? Who? <sighs> I don't even you? know. You? He's from a TV show. Yeah. Okay, he's... so. It's hard to explain. So, okay, but so he's... You said he's a stalker... Yeah, but I'm like, I'm not into stalkers. Just like but? those people that just like, you look at him and you're like, yeah, he looks a little crazy. I could Haram. vibe with it. It's Haram. But uh, I mean, I've, I've seen studies that women are attracted to a criminality component in men. Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be like, there can be people that's not like a criminal and still sure. kind of. Does that make you feel unsafe you know? though? No. What do you, I think it's more like, um, it's what, oh, go ahead, go ahead. More like, I mean, there would probably excitement. be like, yeah, yeah, a little more excitement, but also like, they are also the type that could probably slap you around. You know? Would you ever do so one of those prison, would you ever do one of those prison dating websites? If, or, he, if he was really cute, yeah, but I mean, <laughs> I mean, would you, would you literally go to the website and troll? Well, sorry, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to press that one. What the, Sorry, go ahead. Would you literally troll through a website like that looking for a pen pal? Actually, <laughs> I've actually looked on it because I've seen it on TikTok uh, at one oh, point. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen it on one point that there was, so I was like, oh, you know, some of them are actually like really cute, but they're like serial killers or something. I can't even say it right. So but, you're you know. not okay with them being a serial killer? I mean, what if they like, just kill, killed like one or two people? I mean, if people? it was like a freak accident, that's different, but like if mm. he had intentions, like I'm going to go in there and... Stop it. You know? Oh, sorry. Get some help. <laughs> it's different. No, I, I, okay. It, what was that? It, the TikTok girl, she was she had a boyfriend in prison, right? And she wanted to promote other dudes in prison. I don't I don't even remember. It was just like, yeah, I think she had a man. She has a man that's in prison. And she's like, oh, the, how I found my husband that's in prison, da, 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 like type of thing. And I just went and licked. Like, what I never about really... that attracted you? Like, what about her TikTok page? Uh, I don't know, because it's kind of it's kind of wild. Donated one hundred dollars. 
Bro, the chick in the purple looked like Lola Scumpy from Big Mouth. <laughs> what is that? It just needed to be said. Big UPS to Boney Hawk. <laughs> Boney Hawk. What? Who is Lola Scumpy? <laughs> Bro, it's that girl. She'd be like, you seen that episode where she's like, I put sunscreen all over my butt cheeks. <laughs> she's like this very like, fuck you for that. But you what? know. Okay. Wait, so I want to see her. The, the other girls yeah. here, do you guys kind of agree with her? Like, it's kind of attractive if a guy's like a little fucking crazy or like a little toxic, has a little toxic or a little bad boy or a little asshole is it attractive. Well, how come a, a little felonious? Like, we can't really disagree or agree with her personal opinion. Like, do, do we share one? Maybe not, but we can't disagree or agree with her opinion. You know? He's asking well, like, would I mean, you, semantics, would you agree like with your in yourself? Would you agree with her? Would you no, want the same thing? No, yeah. but at the same time, like we are different people. You, so right. By the way, reminder, guys, please speak into the microphones. Um, anybody, you were kind of shaking your head. Yes, I, I love mean, men who have committed felonies. I, not felonies. I don't do those no more. Like, you don't I, like, I don't no like more. nobody. <laughs> I can't go out the country with. Like, if you can't have, go to certain countries, I can't do that. Have, have you had experience? Like Previous I've had, experience? I've had... Have you dated a gangbanger? Somebody said, yo, girl, I'm a criminal. Yeah, my ex. Um, Your ex was a gangbanger? He wasn't a gangbanger, but he was... I definitely feel like he was trying to be something he wasn't, and that got him into more trouble than it probably Who Who be. here has dated, <laughs> a, like, a gangster? Mm. Kelly? Or a drug dealer? Or a scammer? Or some, whatever the terms are. Show of hands. Drug dealer, including like selling weed at college, and you didn't. No, even like prop, like selling like, cocaine and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it's interesting because there there is like a subset of women that will like become pen pals with these men in prison mm -hmm. and will marry them, and that that's kind of an interesting pathology, I think. But uh, it's a TikTok I, thing. I think I know the girl yeah. that you're talking about, and they, she is like, "Oh my God, I am so in love. It is so great having a husband." Yeah. And, and you read the comment section; these girls are like, "Oh my God, what a great idea! Yeah. You know exactly where your husband well, is I at mean, all times." I mean, I, mean, think it, I think it's different when you just like message them or something, but like getting in a whole relationship with somebody that you physically cannot see outside of a building, like that's different. I wouldn't be able to do that. Mm. Yeah. Why do, why do men have to put on an act to be the bad boy to attract women, while women have to put on an act to be sweet and submissive to get a man? Exactly. It plays into I mean, male um, femininity and masculine roles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But do you think that is genuine, or do you think it's an act? It's an act for sure. Um, Not everybody usually, is. I wouldn't say it's an act because some men are just naturally masculine. Some women are just naturally feminine. So. Are you able to, like, what signs do you look for to know if it's genuine? Um, just how they are as a person. Like, you know, you can tell, like, you can tell if, like, if he's trying to act hard and all of this, blah, 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 but then he's put in a situation where he needs to act hard and he doesn't do it. He so, doesn't act upon his words. So going back to you, would you prefer someone who's genuinely crazy or someone who's just putting on an act? No, someone that's genuinely, like, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree, like, appreciate I, the honesty. Yeah, like, I like him, like, for real messed up, you know? You want that unpredictability. Yeah. I mean, sometimes, yeah, it's kind of cool. I mean, not really, but like... <laughs> until it's, it's not cool. It's spicy, you know? Until it's not cool. Yeah, until it's, it's an not, but you know, yeah. you're just you know what, dice. You, you know what's interesting to me is, is women co very often complain about men being jerks, men being assholes, yet these are the types of men that they find themselves attracted to and choose, they choose them. And it's just, it's interesting to me that, I, I mean, it's just... You don't see men like jumping like if a if a girl if I detect like any sort of criminality or I detect like and men want like calm chill like we don't want the last thing we want is that kind of energy in our lives so it's just very interesting uh, the differences there and I think one component of it is men who demonstrate a degree of criminality I think it almost plays into like provider protector like a man who's willing to basically break the law to do something he in some view is more capable of providing for you because he's willing to 
bend the rules. And also there's a component of protection too because I think criminality coincides with violence and men who are capable of violence are more attractive to women because women don't want to be with a guy who would not be prepared to protect them in some sort of situation where violence, violence would be warranted. So that's just a very interesting thing to me. But let's move on from that. So we want to get everyone on this question really quick, if you can. Um, if you guys recall what the question was. Actually, before that, before I pull that back up, uh, chat's been dying for us to talk about body count. Yeah, dark triad. Um, it's the uh, dark triad. Narcissism. What, what are the, do you know what the, for the dark triad personality traits? It's narcissism, mm. um, Machiavellianism. Can anyone in the chat help me? Narcissism, narcissism Machiavellianism, and what? Uh, the chat's been dying to ask about body count. Who, show of hands, should, does body count matter? Should body count matter? No. Oh, oh. No, body count shouldn't matter. Is it, here's a different question. Is it wrong for men to care about body count? Or do you object to men caring about body count? I think it really depends on like, <clears throat> sorry, I think it really depends on like, if this man is out there doing whatever, banging whatever, like has like a high body count, he should at least expect to find a woman that's like pure, like really pure to like a body count of like two or three because that's very double standard and it's like, you didn't even try to like save yourself, so why should you, you know? Well, men and women are different. Yeah, yeah, but still, it's double standard. So, well, I'm, I mean, speaking of double standards, do you think that in order for you to des desire, in order for you to desire a trait in a partner, you yourself must possess said trait? Okay. What's the question? So you, you said that it's a double standard. For example, uh, let's say a guy who has a, he has a high body count, right. but he prefers women, he wants a woman with a low body count. You would say that's a double standard, right? You would say perhaps that's unfair, I'm, right? I'm I mean, I'm, so, I'm not saying like he's wrong because that's like how men are going to want it, but I'm saying like you can't have your cake and eat it too, you know what I mean? Well, so I, the question is though, do you think that in order for you to desire something in a partner, and this is a question for all of you, do you think in order to desire something in a partner, you too must possess that quality in yourself? No, otherwise we would all be lesbian and gay. Sure, so I don't think it's a double standard that even men with high body counts want women with low body counts in the same way that, for example, women who are short like men who are tall, or women who have no confidence are attracted to men who do have confidence, or women who are not funny want a guy who's funny. I don't think that there needs to be a reciprocity necessarily in all the traits that we desire in each other. Right. The question I have about body count with men is um, why, why are there some men who will shame women for having high body counts but then also complain how hard it is to get laid. Is that a double hmm. standard? I do find that funny. Like, wouldn't you be encouraging? What, up, up your body count, girl. Include me in it. Like, hmm. you know? That's an interesting question. Did, did, did men want women to be easy or not? But I, I would assume that the difference is there are some, some men treat this like it's a, like a sport. You know what I mean? There are some women who are recreational use only and some women who are wives. And I think if a man is going to settle down with a woman he doesn't want someone that everyone else has had that someone's been ran through but if it's just a quickie it's just fun i don't understand why it would be a problem right okay show of hands should body count matter yes or no hand is a yes. Hand is a yes. oh hand is a yes it doesn't okay. matter though it does it does matter okay i mean i just i it just, I never ask, like, when yeah. like, just be like, how many people you slept with? I sure. think it matters <laughs> scientifically because of pair bonding. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, so just who here doesn't care about body count or how about, here's a better question. Do you object to men if they cared about your body count, for example? No, because I, under, I can understand why a man would not want to be with a woman who's been with so many people. Okay. That's completely Fair understandable. Enough. Uh, same no, but uh, then I should be allowed to judge him based on that same thing. Sure. But, yeah. Sure. Uh, so, 
for those of you, I mean, I guess everyone can answer, but some of you said body count shouldn't matter, whatever. What's your body count? Let's start with you. Whoa, no comment. Come on. No way. Come I on. mean, it's not bad, but it's just like, that's more. Do it. That's more like just secret to me. do it. No. I give you like a range, but I'm not gonna give you like a pinpoint you number. Tomorrow. So just do it. Make your dreams come true. Just do it. Do you want to answer the question though? I feel like my range is like ten to like twenty. Ten to twenty. Okay. Yeah. Body Five. Count. Five. Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Twelve. Private information for me, my boyfriend. Okay. Well, I'm on the same point because I wouldn't want to share it. Not because I had too many, but just it's too private, I think. Sure. Lauren? It's not zero, and I wish it was, and my parents are watching, and just the fact that I even admit that it's not zero, I think is enough shame for my father for tonight. So, 20? Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Because, like... I'm just not going to give my number because my dad's watching and I love my father. What if he, it's, is he on the East Coast? No. Oh, that's good. All right. Okay. Who, who's more likely to lie about their body count, men or women? Women. women. Don't men lie about having oh. more and women yeah. lie about having yeah. less? Yeah. 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 Uh, what's your body count? My body count, which I am disappointed in, it's six. Okay. Well, uh, some of you answered, some of you didn't, but. Multiply it by three and that's the real number. Oh, Joe Cool. I've heard that man. before. Good times. Okay, uh, so there's the body count thing. Boom. Uh, let's continue on with the soup chats, and then let's wrap up here pretty soon. All right, we have – did it uh, – uh, if you guys can try to be quick so just so we can get through the soup chats, did anyone want to come in on this, like a little interesting thing that you find sexy? Mm. Did you f figure uh, out one? Oh, I think that maybe other people would find it a bit weird, but I really love – assertiveness and when they kind of control like everything that happens in my life so like even if we go out to dinner like he's picking what I'm eating or something but that may come across weird to other people that I let another human being decide everything for me and are you talking about like I mean this is within the realm of like the kink community but are you talking about a dom sub e yeah basically yes okay got it so sorry, just like to qualify, would you ever consider being the twenty four seven style lifestyle? Person? Are you talking? Are you like master slave level? What are we talking here? Um, I mean, I'm talking about I'm, when I'm in the relationship, he can order me to do whatever he wants. Yeah. You know? Would you ever be interested in twenty four seven dynamic? <laughs> why, why are you? Why, why are you like <laughs> what? Wait, Twi what? Twenty four seven. He's dominant over me. Well, well whichever one you're into. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm submissive. Yeah, uh, that's how I would hope my relationship is, yes. Mm. Well, I think when, you say, when you're referencing 24-7, you, you're specifically talking about BDSM, right? You're talking like, because for some people, they want the dom-sub dynamic strictly in the bedroom. In the bedroom mm -hmm. But some people, that extends into the broader relationship. Maybe it's not everything, but there's some components that seep into the relationship. And for some, it's everything is within the frame of this dom-sub dynamic, so. Right, yeah, yeah, that's exactly why I'm asking. Yeah. I'm just curious because... Uh, yeah, everything, as far as even my clothing, too, if he wants to choose what I wear, like that, yeah. Yes! That's awesome! Okay, uh, do you have a interesting thing that just gets you going? Mm -mm. Like he... I'm gonna have to pass. He's I got a, think of one. He's got an eye tattoo, like a mm -hmm. teardrop. Or some shit. I don't think that was. <laughs> he eats ketchup packets. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Ryan thing. Oh. I like yes, I like to force my women to just it's a it's like a degradation thing. I just love it when they just Dad like ketchup. consume just odd f food condiments and shit. That just I got a mustard pa packet in the back in the back if you're down, Giselle. Um, Thank you, Henry. Strange you, thing. Henry. Do you like uh, you like it if they can like Three point. I just like them being tall, like like tall. abnormally tall. I like that. Okay. What about you, Kelly? Um, I like when they can, when they like do stuff like themselves and like like my boyfriend will move like his his apartment. Like he moved apartments and he would move all of it by himself. Like when they're doing like super like super manly stuff. Like I like okay. that. I like that. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. All right. 
So he was like, had like a couch and shit yeah, on his like shoulders. Yeah, it's like his whole bed, just like, like, just carrying it down the stairs, like no help. I'm just holding the door open for him, like, like. That got you going? That, yes, that's you're how like, I was like. You're, you're I'm like, like, do you want me to help? No, don't help. Like, I don't even have to yeah. ask if you want, if he needs help, because he's going to say, I already know, like, no, I'm not. Was it the mattress? Oh, he, yeah, he'll, he'll take the whole mattress down himself. Were you, down were, when you saw him doing that, were you like, babe? Put down the mattress. <laughs> Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Okay, yes. cool. What about you? Uh, if he's willing to like get on with my quirks and has like childlike quirks of his own, I, th I find that very endearing. Okay. I like uh, when the guy can cook and does it with passion and like cook something and I'm like, oh, look what I cooked. And you're like, hmm. And it's usually good. So yeah, like guys who can cook sometimes. Good shit. Lauren. I guess a guy who's really strong at math. I have a math degree, so I like what? I like doing math puzzles and stuff. Yes, yeah. None of those are hard equations. Oh, you've got them all figured out. I mean, a one half base times height. I hope I could figure out the area. Oh, wow. Area of a triangle. <laughs> yeah. They, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. 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 All right. We have this chat here from Austin Michael. Giselle, do the honors, please. Ladies, oh, sorry, go ahead. if your man isn't putting boundaries on you, you are not the wife zone for him, in the wife zone for him. It should be a relief for you when mm. a man starts to try and rein you in. It's because he loves you and doesn't want you in a certain light. That's actually a really good point. Like if a, if a guy isn't serious about you, like and he, if he just doesn't give a fuck about you, he's gonna be like, all right, whatever, like I don't give mm -hmm. a fuck. But if he actually is interested in you, I think it's a good sign. So, and that's actually somewhat related to body count too. If a guy is curious about your past and your body count, it could potentially disqualify you. But I think guys who are asking that question, I think women shouldn't view it as, oh, that's weird. He's prying. He's like, why should he care about my past? That actually means that he's probably serious about you if he's asking that kind of question because he's trying to like do a bit of screening. So, whereas a guy who's just like wants to fucking chuck you, like, he probably doesn't care a whole lot about your body count. We have Spencer Park here. Thank you for the 100. Oh, yeah, body counts. We just hit this. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Roma Clips, thank you for the Canadian 50. Can we get a fit check? You're welcome, chat. Um, we, I think we already got a fit check, mm -hmm. if I recall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Romy, Romy yeah. Clips, thank you for the Canadian 50. Merci beaucoup. C'est très bien ça. Merci. I don't know if you're from the uh, French-speaking part of uh, if you're Quebecois or whatever, but uh, merci. Um, we have a uh, pipe in eight. Pipe, pipe and ain't easy. Thank you for the 50. Go ahead, Giselle. For the OnlyFans wannabe moms, when your son or daughter comes home emotionally damaged because of your OnlyFans site, do you take responsibility or blame men for your situation or circumstances? You're the only one with an OF, right? Anyone? Who here has an OF? Uh, your response to piping ain't easy. <laughs> it really ain't. <laughs> Kelly knows. Ooh. This is funny. I would definitely, if I were to have children, that would be something um, I would just take responsibility for. It, but it's also not something that I'm wanting. I'm not really wanting children. Okay, all right, thank you. Uh, you can pull that one back up in a sec here, Eric. Uh, the Mystery of Godliness, thank you for the 100, man, appreciate it. Uh, Giselle, do the honors, please. God made masculine and feminine. The problem with the relationship between men and women today is the lack in the natural order of life. Men represent what women cannot, and women represent what men cannot. Having a lead role only works with a support. Yo, the mystery of godliness. Big thank you for the $100 uh, super chat, man. Really appreciate the support. Thank you, man. Um, word? That is some poetic Socrates shit. Thank you, man. Uh, Giselle, hablas espanol. Un poquito. Un poquito. What was that song we were singing before? The Gaston song? Can you guys sing it? Long? Okay. Um, Mex Carita, thank you for the 50. Love your podcast, Brian, the Twitch streamer to the far right. I love your outfit. Could I treat you to a dinner at TwitchCon? Also, may I slide into your DMs? <laughs> Giselle, that's for you. Thank you for the outfit compliment, but I will have to refuse the dinner. 
I'm sorry. Why? Wow, that's so unfortunate. Oh, because I don't know Carito. anything about him. Will you let him slide into your DMs and learn about him? And then maybe he could send you a picture. Maybe you could be attracted to him after he slides into said DMs. And then maybe you could get dinner. I, I don't answer any of my DMs. So, I mean, if he did, then he would get lost in the abyss. Mm. <laughs> the abyss. How many DMs do you get? I don't know. I don't really check them. Here, pull that. you have your phone on you? Yeah. Just tell, tell us how much are on your requested. Uh, question for the panel on Mex Carito, though. Do you see that photo of him? It's like a mini anime thing, and he's wearing a sombrero. Mm -hmm. Is that like thoughts on that? Do, do you know what Carito right. is? Warcraft rabbits think for the 50. Women's standards, bend time, space. A man who works out all the time, works all the time, spends all his time with me and the family. These expectations plus society haranguing to man up to meet him. Wait, haranguing to man up to meet him equals deletion. Funny watching Brian stagger. Wait, stagger? Swagger? That's obviously a typo he's talking about. My fucking. Okay. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Dav with the big merci beaucoup pour la Canadian uh, 280. Merci. C'est vraiment génial, ça. Merci. My rating. Okay, this is the rating. Um, Latina, black, pink, nine, <laughs> black, pink, 9.5, humble, silent, Bob, 7, art major, sniffles, 6.5, rookie of the year, 7.5, dim, some girl, <laughs> Six. Isn't your thing on Instagram like dim you're a, sum restaurant, your dim yeah. sum restaurant? Okay. Babushka with the six. Her granddaughter with the eight. Brian's hot lawyer sister. Yeah, we're related. We are. With the eight. Um, Tony Hawk and his huge Toshiba laptop. God damn, that thing's a, a tank. <laughs> Holy shit. Brian, closer to the mic. Atlas, 7.5. Apologies for the interruption. Well, thank you very much there uh, for the official rating for tonight, coming all the way from Quebecois, Canada. Merci beaucoup. And then we had Doc Venablis with the 100, with uh, no message there, but Doc, your uh, soup chat is greatly appreciated. Thank you for the patronage. It's uh, very welcomed. Thank you, Doc. And he, he did a subsequent one, too. Another one, Doc, thank you so much for the support tonight, man. Much appreciated. And finally, he figured out how to use his keyboard. Doc, Giselle, you are beautiful, sensible, and classy. My, may I introduce you to my half-Cuban son, Summa Cum Laude. Did I say that right? Summa Cum Laude. Summa Cum Laude. Soon to be lawyer in a sweet alpha male, Patria y Vida. Did I, did I say that right? Is that Spanish? Pa father is life? Patria? Isn't that father? Um, do you want to respond to this, Giselle? I will have to politely decline again. I'm just at a point in my life where I'm... That did nothing, Eric, by the way, just saying. <laughs> just made, made more noise. Okay, <laughs> go ahead, Giselle. I'm not accepting anyone at the moment or seeing anyone at the moment because I want to focus on getting myself to the best place that I can be to be the perfect wife one day. So that's just what I'm focused on at the moment. Okay, and then final super chat, Sugar Bomb B13 with the 50. Giselle wants the Patrick Bateman type. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Please. Have you seen American Psycho? No. Yeah, she, she wants that one. She wants American Psycho. She wants American Psycho. Yeah. I think she does. What is his yeah, type? She wants, <clears throat> she, wants, she wants the crazy eyes. Oh. Here, let me just ask, maybe this is a clarifying question. Do you like Huey Lewis in the news? No. Their early work was a little too new wave for my taste, but when sports came out in 83, they really came into their own, both creatively and artistically. I'd say their undisputed masterpiece has to be Hip to be Square, a song so catchy, most people don't even to listen to the lyrics, but they should. Okay, anyways. Can you hum it for us? Huh? Can you sing it for us? Sing what? The song you just mentioned. Oh, Only if you do the no. Gaston song. I don't know the Gaston Where's my, song. I need to return some tapes. We okay. must break out into song. All we right. can hum as a accompaniment. A what? Hum as a accompaniment. Oh. I don't the know Gaston the song? Are we humming the 
Okay, uh, that's all the soup chats, that's all the donations. Guys, if you want, get your last minute soup chats in, otherwise we're gonna wrap up here pretty soon in a couple minutes. Um, so I'm trying to think, so before we wrap, um, I, and I wish I got to this question earlier, one of the things I often like to ask is, is there anything dating related that you want to get off your chest? I wish I asked it earlier, but the conversation was just flowing, so I know we're, it's getting late here, but does anyone have a final thought or question or something dating related you want to get off your chest? I'd like to just ask the ladies, um, if you, each of you were looking for a quality man, where would you expect to find one? Where? Mm, I would, that's why I want to find a job and look for a man in this circle, like in my career, what I'm pursuing. So because I'm going to be on a certain level and he's going to be on a certain level and then we are going to be both more compatible. No. So yeah, we're going to match each other much more if uh, we are going to be in the same work field. Which is tech. I agree with her. So you just kind of leave it up to uh, uh, fate or you kind of like manifest it into your life or do you actually like want to go seek, seek it out? Definitely not seek it out. More of just like fate like whatever however it happens you know I like to ask women why is it when it comes to their education or their career being assertive and going after what you want is a good quality why not also in dating um, to be honest I don't know I feel like with women like I feel like me saying what I want or me saying what I'm like doing I don't know I feel like that's a big problem. Do you feel like that's people. that's a masculine quality? Like it's just something that that's that's what I'm assuming you would say about that. I just, from what my understanding with relationships, that if one person is going to be the dominant person, and if you are an aggressor in a relationship, then you're taking that dominant role away from your male partner, and then your male partner is not going to be giving you the masculine tr like energy that you're desiring out of a relationship. If I'm constantly pursuing men, I'm going to end up with a beta man. Well, I will say that I, despite me being very submissive, when I know that I like someone, I do make it evident to them. And I do I actually prefer to make the move rather than on me. That's actually surprising because you seem very submissive. I am very submissive. However, I am also peculiar in what I want. And the certain energy that I want a man to give me, I need to pick that out. So that's why, I guess, maybe I'm just picky. I don't know. What is the certain thing that you want? A certain dominant energy that a lot of men seem to lack nowadays. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying that, like, in my past, the, the man that I, one of my exes, who I did approach, that was the best dominant submissive relationship I had, honestly. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but also to answer your question, I think women should be told that. Uh, I don't really believe in wasting too much time. I think the worry, at least for me, would be, even, like, when I was, uh, before I, I had my boyfriend, um, if you just sit around and wait for a guy to approach you, how do you know it's going to be a good guy that comes along? How are you going to how are you going to know it's going to be the right type of for you guy that is going to come along? How do you know it's not going to be a beta that just like got a little bit more holes in the moment and approached you? So I, I think chat donated one hundred dollars. Thirty seven year old combat veteran Iraq AFG. I've never known that men had such hardships to get women. I've always been able to drop the hottest women if for any reason, drama to my life. I don't have an Insta, but rate me on FB Chad Ivy. Pick his tattooed guy, Holdy. Um. Thank you for your service. <laughs> I, I just wanted to follow up on that also. If, if women are the ones who determine that men should lead relationships, wouldn't that mean that women are really the ones in charge? Uh, you know, in Russia, we say what men is the head and women, women are the neck. Correct. So wherever the neck turns, how, the head looks. How can men lead if it's by women's terms? And sorry. And okay. if everyone wants men to lead, is it any wonder why most leadership positions are held by men? There's, there's a lot in there. Which okay. part would you like? To uh, uh, the first part. Basically, how can men lead by if it's by women's terms? I don't think it's by women's terms. I think there should be like a give and take, uh, right? Like, uh, 
uh, like for example the submission right mm -hmm. i personally believe that both partners should be submitting both to each other mm -hmm. to their relationship to you know growing and getting better together so uh no i don't think that it should be um and did you want to answer that second that last part just b basically if everyone thinks that men should you know lead relationships is it any wonder why men also tend to be in a lot of leadership positions just in society? Do you think there's a correlation there? Oh, for sure there is a correlation. There's a lot of, I feel like, like arguments that we don't have time to go into, like okay. biological, like why women might choose to not take certain leadership positions, mm -hmm. you know, or why men would, you know, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, absolutely, it's it correlates. But I also, as I said, I do think women should step up, especially when it comes to choosing the men that they want. Fair. Okay, uh, we're good on super chats. I think we're good on. Oh, okay, I'll read this really quick. Puffy Vegas fifty. I'm gonna rate every girl eight six seven six six seven five seven seven. Which is it? This way? Is it no, that, it's way? that way? Okay. Oh yeah, definitely. Puffy Vegas, thank you for the. Uh, what is your? What is going on in your profile photo? What? The oh, I know, icon. I know him. Oh, that's your homie. Okay. Yeah, rock and roll. And I think we're good here with uh, Streamlabs too. Uh, okay, lawyer girl. Oh, except on drugs. Why am I on drugs? All right. Uh, let me shout out the Twitch people. Then we're gonna wrap here, and then I'm gonna rate. We're gonna rate someone on Twitch. I guess I'm trying to figure out how, how to do that. You, oh my God, Faith! Thank you for the uh, raid. Uh, appreciate it. I know it was a while ago. I know most people on Twitch are like shouting it out as soon as they get a raid, but we're just doing it a little differently since we're primarily on YouTube. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Robo Robert. Jesus, I can't speak anymore. Okay. Robert, thank you for the prime. Fura. Furman. I don't know. Thank you for the prime. Thank you for the bits, guys. Uh, Zombie, thank you for the follow. Keck, thank you for the follow. Uh, three Sparta Kush. Is that like a weed strain? Thank you for the follow. Uh, guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever, drop us a follow, drop us a prime sub on your way out of the live stream tonight. Uh, like I said, if you have Amazon Prime, you link it to your Twitch, quick, free, easy way to support the show every single month. Thank you for the, all the follows, guys. Thank you for all the prompts tonight. Thank you, everyone, for the super chats and donations. Really appreciate it. Um, and I, I'm trying to think, if there, are we going to watch one last video? Do we do a tape video? We could do a tape video. Let's do a tape video, and then we'll wrap. Um, Anyone, anyone else, final thoughts, last chance, speak now? Oh, the ketchup packet, Kelly, shoot it. Me? Yeah, do it, Kelly. No, I Bro. hate ketchup. Huh? I hate ketchup. You don't like ketchup? I haven't eaten a drop of ketchup since I was like three years old. All the more reason to do it right now <clears throat> when you're live in front of like 5,000 people. Mm. I'll Kelly. do it, but they gotta donate $500. Mm. $500 this late in the game? That's a yeah. it could, ask. Hey. I'll do it. She's, like, she'll do it. Well, how would how would you do it? Would you like? Can you do a pour? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know. I'm not like an ant like place. that to do that. But okay. All right. Five hundred guys, and she will eat. Can can you pass the ketchup packet over here, Kelly? Oh, really? So I can hold it up to the camera. Yeah. So, uh, here's the ketchup packet. Heinz, tomato ketchup. It's simply so no artificial sweeteners. So guys, it's I guess the slightly healthier version of the. Giselle, do you just want to do like a two for two thing or what's up? If you want. So you'll do it for 500. How much is this a bidding war? <laughs> How much will you? <laughs> I guess you're bidding for lower, I guess. What's the mm. minimum? Anybody will do it for if, like 10 bucks? If someone maybe did it for another 100. You'll do it, Xenia? Uh, no, I wanted to say maybe you just need to tell her to do it and then she'll do it. I just need a. <laughs> Can I just throw it at your face again? <laughs> Um, <laughs> I feel like it's it's donation worthy though, and and over here she says five hundred. Um, well, Eric, can you uh, let me actually look at the uh, tape videos that we have available to us, and then we'll watch a video, two minutes, get your reaction, then we're gonna wrap. Forty minutes later, okay. Where's the mm. where's the videos? Oh, here we go. Hold on. Uh, let's see. What was the topic? Okay, we could talk about. Uh, we didn't really talk Steven about that. Powder. Uh, there's a short one called Tate Too Submissive. That's we haven't reacted to that one in a long time. Yeah, it's in the Tate folder. So where, where is that folder? In the videos uh, folder, in the podcast folder. 
How much for Giselle to eat a popsicle? I have like a cake. Do you want to just start munching on some cake too? He just likes to watch her eat. What the fuck? No, we we I'm just want like, she's, she's we looks want hungry. Giselle mukbang. I'm considerate. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Whatever podcast is gonna have a spinoff, Giselle yep. mukbang. It's in the works. <laughs> it's gonna be a popular segment. Did you find it, Eric? Yep. <laughs> should we do? Should we just do a hundred for Giselle to eat the ketchup, or actually for um, Kelly to eat the ketchup, right? What? A hundred bucks in my pocket for you to consume this ketchup in packet. In your pocket? In my pocket. Because you're nice like that. Like, you're looking out for me. Come on, Kelly. Hold on, hold on. I'm not yet. There you come. Dude, I have not. I hate ketchup. But, but that's almost why, like, Giselle already had one. Like, you have I... not eaten ketchup since you were three. How old are you? You're 21. That's like two decades, son, with zero ketchup. <laughs> I know. I hate it. Like... When I make my sandwich for my boyfriend, like I pour, I can't even pour the ketchup on it. You can't even be around ketchup. I can it's eat just it. like, I can just. <laughs> She's eat it. like, hurry this shit up. Like, yeah, I can just eat it so we can go to the next topic. Well, <laughs> but but I, I'm kind of I'm like kind of dug in with Kelly here because she hasn't had ketchup since like the Bush administration. Can Wait, I have some water? Oh, can I do it? yeah, of course. Here, uh, do, is there? Yeah, here you go. You can just like pour that in a cup. Is she actually gonna do it? I feel like my friends are gonna like call me a pussy if I don't. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, that's a lot of water. Okay. Here, you can throw the pass the water back over here. Oh, okay. Then. Oh, she needs more. <laughs> do you th are you gonna like vomit? No, I'm not. It's gonna not vomit. that bad. I don't vomit. Okay. Yeah, no. You're you're. She a has no gag reflex. <laughs> Rule number 76, no excuses, play like a champion. Okay, I'm gonna like throw to you like a frisbee. Bro, oh God, Kelly. Your throw is really your bad. So like bad. your aim is really bad. You chucked the ring box like all the way over her head. I, I was testing her. What sports did you play in high school? I need, a, I need a girl with like good fucking reflexes. What sports did you play in I high school? I wrestled. Yeah. I didn't play any ball sports. I, re, first off, you don't play wrestling, you do wrestling. The only sport that you don't play, you do. But unfortunately, I'm not good with handling balls. <laughs> Your hand-eye okay. coordination's a bit off. Or shooting. It's a bit off, but, but wrestling, I can touch a man's body all over the place. Mm. Okay. okay. Um, wow. Yeah, JV, what's up? Junior varsity, let's go. <laughs> All right, let's go, Kelly. <laughs> Nobody even sent a hundred dollars. I don't know if anyone's gonna do it. Mm. For free? She's gonna. Anybody? Is this are, is this abu Are we abusing? Am I am I abusing the chat a little bit? Is this abusive? No, I'm a like I mean I'm being a bit facetious, but is this am I abusing the chat a little bit? Uh, so do you want to just just shoot it? Otherwise, Zenny is gonna fucking rip it out of your hands and. Yeah, because I'm so hungry already. She, it's she's like starving. 12 a.m. and be, we've been here for what like six hours. What are you gonna hours, eat? So when you leave. do it, Kelly. Do it. Eat it. What, what are you gonna eat? eat? In and out. Yeah, yeah nice. Oh you smelled God. it. Oh Why did you smell it, bro? Oh my God. I don't know. I don't know. We're all What's the expiration date? This is like I just got this. It's fresh. Don't smell it. Just go crazy. Just. Pour it. Just do, just like do like medicine. one and done. Here, I'll do it for you. you want me to no, 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 no. Let, no, no, no. Kelly has to do it. She hasn't had oh, ketchup in like 20 years. No, I feel like this is the easiest thing to do. Just like. Just don't breathe. Just don't breathe. Yeah, don't breathe. Just hold it. And then okay. drink the water. Let's fucking go. Good for you. Can we all get a round of applause for Kelly? <laughs> it's good for you for overstepping your fears. Let's fucking go. Okay. Uh, I don't think... Oh, super chat? Yeah, let me read these and we're going to wrap. Okay. <laughs> Wait, this one? I started with the girl in the black. Hey, Puffy Vegas. Thank you, man. Fif appreciate the 50. Max, thank you for the 50. Giselle, how would be the best way to interact with you? I would like to get to know you even if it is just as a, fr who, as a friend. I respect your answer to dinner. dinner. My profile picture is my Twitch logo. It is Carito, but Mexican, hence Mex Carito. Your response? I mean, I will be at TwitchCon, so if you approach and say hello, I, am, I will say hello back. <laughs> when is TwitchCon? 
October, the end of October. Do you have a booth? Nope. I'm just going to go. That'll be fine. Good times. All right, sweet. Okay. Oh, the tape video. Okay, run the tape video. And also, too, I worry if I'm too submissive, will he not respect me? Nah, no, 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 no. Get, get rid of that. Get rid, get rid of, of that. that. Get rid of that. That shit. won't respect yeah. me, crap. That's not real. Is that yeah. real? Really? Uh, you know what? So many women say to me, you're so, Andrew, you know what? You're so rich, but you're smart, and you're actually very intelligent, and I know you'd get really bored of, a, like, a robot. And I'm sitting there thinking, bitch, I wish to God you were a robot. <laughs> You better shut the fuck up. We talk about star signs? Oh yeah, I'm so glad. Tell me more about by Sagittarius rising, you idiot. I don't give a fuck. Give me a robot. All men want robots. That's all we want. Yeah. Four wives, robots, inshallah. Yeah. Put the put the put the burk on. Yep. What are you talking about? We don't care. Two coffees. That's, that's it. It's yeah. nice and easy. There's yeah. no such thing as too submissive. There's no such thing. There's, I'm never going to look at a beautiful woman who does everything I say and go, you know what? You do too much of what I say. I want to go get some disagreeable bitch. <laughs> okay, your guys' reaction to that. Um, let's start over here with Lauren. Go ahead. Uh, I think generally the concept I would tend Closer to, to the agree. Mic. The concept I would agree with, but overall, no. Because if he genuinely just wanted to F a robot, he could purchase a robot. They, they exist. Go purchase a robot then. Yeah, go go fuck Kiki. Like, Kiki's a nice, beautiful, blue-haired bitch. She's single. She just doesn't have knees. <laughs> Fair. But I guess it's okay. Uh, your response to the video? I mean, if someone likes to be a robot, then I think it's their choice. But elsewise, I agree with Lauren. I think there's something scary about being like wanting to like any of your humans that you care about to be like robots. Um, yeah, that's my view. I don't think he's literally saying he wants his wife to act like a robot. I think he's just saying like, that's just how like, if you're continuously giving what your man what he wants, then that's a continuous thing. Like a robot is gonna continually, continuously do the same thing, so. I don't think that's unfair of him to ask for, I don't think it's unfair of a man to ask for his woman to listen to him all the time. Yeah, I, th I mean, I think he just wants a really submissive woman mm -hmm. that doesn't really challenge him and just kind of. Well, we're not supposed to challenge, that's not what a purpose of a woman is supposed to do. You're yeah. not supposed to challenge your man. Well, I, but a lot of women do challenge men, but most men don't want a challenge. We don't want to be challenged. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Wouldn't you say people grow when they're being challenged? Yeah. When mm. we when I say challenge, I mean nobody wants no man wants a girl who's gonna nag at him. Oh, fair, fair, fair. You no, don't have to be a bitch. No guy, yeah. no guy wants a girl who, if he's like just picking at every little thing he does, or it's like, oh, you can't do this for me. Why? Like, no man wants to have always have to deal with that. I ask, uh, why, why should men believe that women will submit in a relationship when they can't even submit in an argument? They. If they if a woman can't just shut up and say okay, then they're no, they can't be submissive. There's no that's not a submissive woman. Like if you can't listen to your man and simply say okay, and be okay with that, and that's it, that's the end of the argument. Then, you know, I don't think you can be with an alpha male. But we hear the expression, you know, the need to be right. No, there is in a relationship. There is no need to be right. It's if you're if you're in a relationship with someone, you don't work things as not you're right, you're wrong. You're two people. You're two people working into one relationship. And I would also add that in the relationship, right and wrong is when you are not being good to each other. So like whatever, it, like right depends and wrong depends. As long as you are being like on the same page, you're understanding each other. That by definition to me. Well, you know, don't we have good. the don't we have the expression being the bigger man? Aren't men more likely to concede even if they're not wrong? Uh, when you say being the bigger man, do you mean like a woman's just like like just saying, like just dealing with what the, what her man has to say and saying like okay? Well, I'm like, saying that you know men will often. I think. It, it, or I don't know. Do you think that's? Well, I think it works a lot. It works very well in a woman's favor to just shut up and just be like okay, like you know, just to be submissive. It works very very well because it's gonna make the man want to do things for you more, mm -hmm. because it's like. If you're giving the man everything he wants, why wouldn't he do it in return for you? It's that simple. You, we have, women have power in their femininity, and we, you get more power for being more feminine. You get more power for being more nurturing, more caring, more, more sweet. You, 
if you're bickering with your man all the time, why is he gonna wanna be, me why is he wanna be nice to you? He's not gonna wanna do that. Yo, can we get some W's in the chat for Kelly over here? I wanna see W Kelly or Welly. Let's see Welly in the chat. She fucking downed. That's her first catch up in two decades. <laughs> and she's based. Okay. Um, <clears throat> But she doesn't post her boyfriend on Instagram, so it's kind of like, you know, <laughs> but, you know. Uh, okay. Your take on the video. Yeah. Um, I don't mind. I really don't mind doing whatever my man wants me to do as long as I'm being taken care of. I feel like it's not just a one-way street. I got to prove myself to be a wife first. Like, I feel like we can work together because that's what it's about. If I do choose to be in a relationship... <clears throat> Can he show me that he want to take care of me? Can I show him that I want to take care of him? That's I definitely that. agree with you. Yeah, like that's just yeah. I'm you guys same. agree? Yeah. yeah agree. Okay. Wow. Well, surprising. Uh, Giselle, what about you? I don't really have any issues with what he said in the video. The I mean, comparing it to a robot is a bit silly, but I think he was trying to exaggerate how submissive he would want his woman. Right. Yeah. 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 I don't think he literally there. wants a robot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The sentiment was there, but I just, it was. He, I think he, he could have worded it. He one step too far. He could have worded a bit better, but I think what he's saying is accurate, yes. Yeah. I think just one thing on, on this that, I, that occurred to me is, uh, you know, I think with feminism and kind of the modern view on things men are in a bit of a tough spot when it comes to leading and being dominant and women following and being submissive a lot of women want a guy to lead you know how often do you see girls on dating apps for example i don't know if you're on any dating apps but you frequently say at least i frequently see women saying they want a guy who's decisive they want a guy who's plans the date sets the date sets the time meet me here at this time, pick me up, all this stuff. Um, a lot of girls will say, I don't know where I want to eat. They want a guy to make these sorts of decisions. They like that leadership in men. Mm -hmm. However, I think women, some women are struggling with this, like with, when it comes to feminism and being told like, basically, the, what's the term? Basically being told, hey, uh, you're a strong, independent woman. You don't need a man. But I think biologically, women want men to lead, but I think in today's society, so I'm starting to repeat myself, sorry guys, it's like a lot of women want men to lead, but they don't want to follow. Have you ever heard of a notion of a brat in BDSM? Yeah, I've heard of that, yeah. Right, so what would you? Are you within the confines of BDSM? Well, in the question, like the question you were asking, well, I don't think, think most people are not like, don't play with BDSM, so like. Well, Brad, okay, so it, it is in the context of BDSM, but it's actually described. Okay, within the context of BDSM, I don't like brats. No, 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 but it describes like something psychological, like you can take it outside of the sexual connotation alone. So basically what it talks about is like pe women, specifically mostly, um, that do want a man they could follow but they don't want that man to, like, they don't want to give in. They want the man to fight. Because how do we check that they're a strong leader otherwise? You know what I mean? So mm. if, I, like, I want my man to be dominant, but I don't want to just submit. I would want him to make me submit so that I understand that I can. Like, this is the type of dominant man. I think we're talking about the concept of conditional femininity, where a woman wants a man to come along, and if he's the right man, he you know, exhibits his dominance and then he'll magically unlock her femininity you know, and then she could fall at ease <coughs> into her feminine traits, basically. Simply well, just donated oh, $100. Just like... Big shout out to the Raw Dogs heading to Cambodia next week, the three amigos. Thanks for the entertainment, ladies. I personally married a virgin 26 lady and best thing I ever had, smile, peace out. Simpy, simpy to simp, thank you for the $100 super chat. Congrats on your uh, bride. bride. I don't know, the, I'm not sure the Cambodian thing next week, the three amigos. Who's the raw dogs? Not sure. Thank you, man, really appreciate the support. Um, final thing, if you guys want to continue and then we're gonna wrap. Oh, did you have a response to that at all? 
Uh, I forgot what you said. I'm so sorry. Oh, just just the idea of just conditional femininity. Basically, the idea that the, the man's masculine role is static, the woman's feminine role is conditional. Where if the right man comes along, um, basically, you know, I mean, you know, man can't say, okay, I, you know, dress in women's clothing, and all of a sudden, one day when the right woman comes along, I'll unlock my masculinity and I'll exhibit that for you. But women. It, it's almost like I asked this, this question, why is it when a woman doesn't have a man, she often, often has to take on a masculine role, but when a man doesn't have a woman, he doesn't necessarily have to take on a feminine role? I would argue because in the society, like the masculine traits are the ones that get you further in a lot of things. So men don't need, the, need to have that versus women if they wanna be alone in the society. They often would because so just- So wouldn't that mean that masculinity is more essential for survival than femininity? Yeah, from that perspective, yeah. So why is masculinity labeled toxic? I never said that. Well, I'm not saying you did, oh, but right. why is our society, I mean, we're getting conflicting messages some, in our society because we want men to be the, you know, women want men to be like these hyper-masculine alpha males now, but then also masculine is toxic, so I don't know. I think you and I should get some time and have more conversations. Come on my I show. I love your questions. I would love to answer all of them, but I feel like we're making everybody, you know, irritated. Okay, I know, we can yeah. go down Let's, the rabbit hole. Uh, <laughs> Okay, let's wrap it up. Um, okay, guys, uh, for those of you on Twitch, I'm going to send you sh here shortly after I get through a little bit of this outro to, I know normally we don't do e-girls, but a couple people aren't on. I'm going to send you to a streamer called Jenna Earth. Go, uh, go say what's up to her and then uh, tell her she should come be on the panel. Um, so, guys, last call. Hit that like button, please, on your way out. Thank you for tuning in tonight. You could have been anywhere in the world but you're here with me, I appreciate that. Thank you to everyone who super chats and supports the show, really means the world. Thank you for all the support tonight, guys. Uh, your patronage is deeply appreciated. You know, YouTube is uh, kind of making moves against some of this, uh, you know, a bit more, uh, I don't know how you would categorize us, but you know, they're, YouTube's pretty woke, so thank you guys. Um, big thank you to the panel, guys. I know we had a long show tonight, so appreciate your patience. Thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you for coming, really appreciate it. You guys were a great panel. Uh, thank you to our chat mods, thank you to Eric, thank you to everyone who's helping out with the show. Uh, shout out to Nick, behind the scenes, big dog. Appreciate all the support, the help, man. Um, let's see, oh, any women who wanna be on the show, DM at whatever on Instagram. Guys, we will be live again Sunday at 7 p.m. Pacific with an insane panel. Some big names, I don't wanna reveal them yet. I try not to reveal the, the names beforehand. Got, a, got some really good guests coming. I mean, I have a really good lineup for the entire month of May. Um, pretty much really solid guests almost every single show. So be sure you tune in Sunday, 7 p.m. Pacific. Um, for those of you on Twitch, I'm gonna send you over to uh, Jenner or say what's up to her. She's playing Valorant. And if you can uh, let her know, she should come on the Whatever podcast. I'm starting the raid over there. Um, oh wait, we're ready to raid in seven seconds. Um, hold on guys, gonna send you over there in three. Two, one. Thank you to everyone on Twitch for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. I'm sending you over a rating now. And uh, let's see, last thing. Okay, uh, for those of you still here on YouTube or on Twitch, thanks again for tuning in. And uh, did I, I didn't miss any soup chats. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Eric? I think we're good. We're good. Okay, perfect. Yeah, guys, thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Hope you guys have a good night. Good night, guys.